what's up with a happy Roblox family. trimmers. Ugh. You kids poison those cookies. Now you're gonna pay. Get back here, you little brats. Ah, Grandpa, no! No, 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 no! We, we didn't poison the cookies, we promise! Yeah, Grandpa, we did it! D -d 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 Don't try to get us! You're going to daycare with the other little baby brats. Daycare? Grandpa, we're way too old for that. Well, get used to it. Because it's where you're going to go now. You don't want to babysit us anymore, Grandpa? Seriously, my feelings are kind of hurt. Daycare. <laughs> That'll teach you. Ew, Grandpa farted. Okay, maybe daycare is not so bad. That fart smells really bad. What's going on? Oh my gosh. We're at Twilight Daycare. And he turned us into toddlers. I knew that Grandpa guy was evil. He's not a real Grandpa, Molly. He can't be. <laughs> you thought I was your actual grandpa? <laughs> this is just how I tricked you to stay in this daycare. Forever. Um, ew, that girl just threw up on me. <laughs> I want my mommy. <laughs> See you later. Wait, why does he want to... Like, keep us here forever. I don't know, Molly. I'm just glad he put his teeth back in. Uh, can you back up? You're full of puke, and I don't want any more on me. I just want to get out of here. I'm not a baby anymore! Well, you're still crying like one <laughs> for being so grown up. What? Is her name Karen? What's her name? Because she seems like a total Karen of a caregiver. She's grumpy. I'll go with this lady. You seem nice. Um, you look like an alien, sort of, but... Molly, try to be nice to these people. I'm trying, but I have to go poo-poo. Oh, boy. This isn't good. That guy took over our grandpa's house, made us think he was his, our grandpa, and basically locked us in Twilight Daycare forever. Uh-oh. Gotta go poo-poo. Where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? I can't read because I, I reverted back to being a toddler, so now I don't even know where the bathroom is. Wait, I found the toilet. I found the toilet. I'm so happy. Ow, why did I fall down? The toilet's so high up. Why did they make it high up when you're a baby? And why is this girl following me? She's following me, and she thinks it's funny to barf on me. And I'll just let you know that I don't find that amusing. Oh, but that little baby is super adorable. Cookie fan Brianna, you are cute. Cute little baby. All right, where's my sister? Daisy! <laughs> Daisy! Okay, my sister already found a way out, I guess, and I'm just stuck here. I can't believe this. This is like the worst day of my life, and uh, man, I feel kind of tired. No, I can't fall asleep. I have to find a way to escape. Have to find a way to escape. Wait, there's Daisy. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm going to get a drink. I'm so thirsty. And also, you miss story time. Daisy, who cares about story time? We have to get out of here. That evil grandpa, he's, he's going to take over the world. What? I don't think so. He's just old. He can't take over the world. He's too old. Daisy, old people are so smart because they've been on this planet for like a thousand years. They know all the tricks of life. And, 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 and I don't know because I'm just a baby. So I can't tell you exactly what they know, but they know a lot. Okay. Whoa, Molly, you need to chill out. Ugh, it's nap time. Daisy, you're getting stuck as a toddler. You don't want this. That evil grandpa's cursed us. We got to get out of here. Come on. 
Oh, my sister is so dramatic. Come on, I think I know a way. Look at this. Baby, escape. <laughs> and that evil grandpa thought he was smarter than me. Come on, Daisy, let's get out of here. Hey, you two. Um, I don't think you're supposed to be out of daycare. Hey, wait a minute. Weren't you just a baby like a minute ago? This is a weird place, but we gotta get out of here. We gotta get away from that psycho grandpa guy. Uh, Molly, I just be quiet now. What? Why? No, he is psycho. Also, he's ugly. Super ugly. Molly, somebody's behind you. Um, I don't know who because uh, everybody here I don't know. And also, I need to brush my teeth. Yuck, they feel kind of gross. Are you calling me ugly? Ah! Oh my gosh, it's Psycho Grandpa. Psycho Grandpa, Psycho Grandpa. Hey, did you put your teeth back in? Now you're only half as ugly. I'm going to trap you in this daycare forever, you little brat. Now back inside. Oh my gosh, Daisy. We're going to be stuck in here forever. We're babies forever! I have to go to the bathroom. Um, well, you're potty trained, right? I don't know, Molly. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, wait. I get to brush my teeth. Oh, this is fun. Brush, brush, brush. Brushing my teeth. Wait a minute. I don't know if I can. I don't know how to brush my teeth. Wait, how do I forget how to brush my teeth? Add toothpaste to the toothbrush. Oh, okay. That I have to do first. So how do I do that? I don't know how to add toothpaste. Okay, maybe I gotta put the toothbrush over here. and then. I don't know how to do this. It's really annoying. <laughs> Molly, you forgot how to brush your teeth? Um, uh, well, I got turned into a toddler. What What am I supposed to do? I can't make this go! Oh, okay, I don't know. Can, can you help me brush my teeth? Okay, now I'm also hungry. I'm hungry and my teeth are green. This is not good. Not good at all. Who took the cookies from the cookie jar? Well, I, I did, and I'm going to eat them. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Take that, annoying grandpa. <laughs> That's the first thing that's made me happy in about an hour. <laughs> Ooh, it says prankster above my name. Well, that I am. That I am. You know what else? I'm going to try to leave again. I totally am, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it, Grandpa. Oh, he's standing right out there. Seriously? You're just camping out out here? There's no camping in Roblox. What? You're a prankster? Did you eat my chocolate chip cookies? You are the worst kid ever. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? I also have bad breath. <sighs> oh, you need to use some denture clean. I don't wear dentures. I have all my real teeth. And guess what, dude? I'm running away. Hey, get back here. Oh, that stinks, though. Maybe I should let you go and just keep your sister. Get away from my sister. Ooh, wow. this looks fun. Daisy, look at this. They have big slides and stuff. Okay, I want to go up here. Oh, this is going to be fun. Whee! Ow! Ow! Okay, that kind of hurt. <laughs> My plan is working. She forgets that she's not a toddler. <laughs> um, okay. I am really loving this playground. Uh, except for I can't move because I fell down the slide. Oopsie. Ooh, this looks fun. Whee! Hey, want to play with me? Hi, Molly. Yeah, I'll play with you. I'm hungry. I want food. Wait a minute. How'd we get here? I don't know. Who cares? We're babies. We're babies forever. I feel like we were going and doing something, though. What was it? Oh, no. I live at Twilight Daycare now. Me too. I love it here. Now, where's my bottle? <laughs>
seven bears to open the secret door. I'm Baby Robbie. I can just walk through there. <laughs> no, you actually can't, Molly. You have to find seven of these bears. Fine. I'll find seven bears, and then I am going to open that secret door. All right. I need a crowbar for there. And also, I need 15 candies. I have to collect everything. Oh, I love these kinds of mazes. They're super, super fun. Look at that! A teddy bear and a bunny! Oh, wow. I'm doing really good. Okay, one, one um, teddy bear. Holy guacamole, guys! I thought this was an obby. Turns out, no. It is not an obby. It's like a piggy escape game, I think. Yeah, Molly, but um, Baby Robbie is coming near you. So if I were you, I would move on out of there. But but I'm going to get another teddy bear right about now. Oh, he was too afraid of me. That other Baby Robbie was like, what? There's another Baby Robbie? Yes! I am another big Baby Robbie. And I have a big stinky diaper. Whoa, more candy! Hello. Ah! Oh my gosh! The baby Robbie looks evil. Look at that, guys. It's like zombie baby Robbie. Look at that. Ah! They're crawling all creepy and stuff. Daisy! Hi, baby Robbie. I mean, Molly. Um, so far, I only found two teddy bears. Nine, five, three. Let me in here. Nine, five, three. Um, go. Wait, it says it's right. Incorrect. Whatever. I'm just a baby. How am I supposed to know where to go? <laughs> There's another teddy bear. Do, 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 do. All right, guys. So far, I picked up three of the teddy bears out of seven. And I'm hoping I can find some more. Let's go in here. Uh, okay, where am I? Oh, I'm back where I was before. This is confusing. This daycare is so confusing. And I have a dirty diaper again! Guys, look, I have a pencil that goes, like, right through my brain from one ear to the other. That cannot be good. I'm just saying. There's that evil, evil, evil one! The evil Robbie. Alright, guys, I need to find a... What? That's a huge... Ah! It's a huge baby Robbie zombie! Robot or something. Ah! Oh, he's creepy. Get him away from me. Oh my gosh. Alright, guys, I'm gonna collect this teddy bear if it's the last thing I do. Yay! Uh oh. I am not safe right now. Definitely not. Alright, I think I escaped that creepy baby Robbie. There's so many baby Robbies running around here. I don't know. Who is who? What's going on? OMG, guys! I just found, I think this is a gear. I just found one of the gears and I can't run any faster because I'm a baby. Uh, um, I don't know where this gear goes though. I just need to get back to the safe zone. Oh my gosh, I'm so lost. Oh, that one's locked. Okay, I need a key for that, but let's go find where this blue gear goes. All right, guys, I just also found the blue key. Ah, no, get away from me. I'm doing so good right now. Oh my God, guys, I actually found the blue door. Yay. Oh, I got a piece of candy for that. <laughs> so I got a piece of candy. I found the blue door. Where's this gonna go? All right, guys, I have no idea where I am. Oh, it's to the green door, okay. These games are so hard. I'm gonna make it happen though. What? Oh, the balloons pop too? But I'm a big fat baby. How am I supposed to get across here? All right, there's a red door. What's in there? I wanna see. More candy and some other cool stuff. Ah! Oh, wait, look, I can go through here because I have a blue key. There is a crowbar, guys. I just found the crowbar and more candy. Anything else good in here? Uh, there's a, what is that? Oh, it's a little Fighting Nemo toy. That's adorable. I'm just making sure there's nothing else in here, guys, that I missed, but I don't see anything. So, I have the crowbar, which means I can go back now. Ah! Ah! Okay, I made it. 
Phew! I can go back now and use a crowbar. Oh, it took me back to the safe zone! Bum, 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 bum. All right, I know now where I can use the crowbar. Cool. Which wait? Which way did I go out to get to the crowbar? That's the question. I think it was this way. I think. <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering how to get to things when I'm in games like this because they just seem like everything looks the same, and I know they do that. Just a trick, you guys. But I'm doing pretty good. I have not heard from Daisy. I think baby Robbie may have gotten her. I don't know. No, but I'm still here, Molly. But barely. This game is harder than it looks. It sure is. And I'm so slow because I'm this baby. So I'm just like crawling like mega slow. Now, where was that platform that went up to the crowbar section? I know it was around here somewhere. Ah! Oh, there's the zombie baby Robbie. Bah! If it gets too close to you, it just like tries to kill you. Obviously. But that baby is a zombie baby and it crawls really slow, so. Guys, I don't know where I'm going. Ugh! One eternity later. And there's the creepy zombie baby. Alright, that was a dead end, guys. Let's go back this way. See if I can go around this way to the red door. Red door! Where are you? <gasps> there you are, red door! I knew I'd find you eventually. Oh, candy. Yes, I'll pick you up. Thank you very much. We're going to have six candies now, guys. Six candies. What is that thing? OMG, it looks like kryptonite. Is this to place it on the table? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Um, okay. Did it work? It says place it on the table. It's just kind of like making me frozen there. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to, I think I'm supposed to find all of these shapes. I want to place this here, but it won't let me. Okay, look, guys, here's the other shapes. Pick up. And let's put it up here. Dun, 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 dun. I think it worked. All right, now we have to go find the blue circle. I think that's up here, guys. Holy guacamole. Oh, look at that bacon hair prisoner. Poor guy. I wonder what he's in the big house for. I'm just checking it out up here, guys. I'm trying to see. Oh, there's another bacon hair. They're like cloning bacon hairs here. Look, there's another one. Now let's go put this on the table and see what happens. I think I still have to pick up that green piece, though, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. See, it's like, like it's too close. I don't understand how to pick this piece up. Did I already? I can't really tell. Finally, I picked up the black, guys. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. It took me forever. There was like a little glitch in the game right there. And honestly, oh, Daisy, hi! You finally caught up to me in the game. Uh, yeah, Molly, and now I'm learning circles around you because I got all seven bears and it makes you super fast. Well, I'm this big, silly baby, so I'm gonna be like slow as can be. And I don't know what doing all those shapes did, but Oh, um, gee, it opened up some stuff. I figured it might, guys. I figured it might. All right. Oh, I got some potion. What's that do? A red flask with red fluid. Bum, 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 bum. All right, Molly. Let's get out of here. Ah, better. All right, I still have three more bears to find before I can actually get super speed. And what? There is big baby Robbie. OMG, this is crazy. I've got this red flask and this green key. I don't know where any of these things are. I'm just doing my best, guys. I think I'm doing pretty good. If you guys think so, too, slam the like button. These games are actually really difficult, but I like figuring them out. So, let's just follow along the green wall. Maybe the green wall will lead us to the green key. Or, I mean, the green door. Then I can use the green key. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh my gosh, what's all that stuff down there? 
Oh, there's a teddy bear. Yay! Oh, God, there's big baby Robbie. I better just duck into the safe zone really quick. All right, I'm in, guys. Did he get out? Okay, good. Ah, no, he's, like, right behind me again. Ah, no! Did he get me? Oh, I hope not. Okay, wait, can I go through that blue door? Yes, I can. Let's go. Ah, get off me! Whoa! That made me feel kind of like I was going crazy. All right, where'd this lead? Guys, there is a green door in here, and there's a red door that I haven't unlocked yet. Look at this. It's like someone's birthday party. I just got the hammer, and I want a party hat. Can I have a party hat? What's that? Ooh, candy. All right, I don't see anything else in here. Oh, it's a Huggy Wuggy doll. Huggy Wuggy was a blue fuzzy fuzzy. Guys, if you haven't heard our Huggy Wuggy song, make sure you guys go to the um, So Geeky channel. You can hear our Huggy Wuggy song. You guys will love it. I'm going to go over and use this red door. Ah! Oh, look at that. More candy. My favorite thing in the whole world. Don't tell my mom, though. <laughs> Um, all right. Is that all that was in there was a piece of candy? I think it was, guys. I don't see any more teddy bears or anything like that. Oh, wait a minute. What? All right. I've got... What's that? Oh, a blue fat flask and a red one. And now... Um, I already went through the blue door, so I don't think I need to go through there again. Whoa! <laughs> I think I have a propeller on my head. I think I got everything in this room. Yeah, I came in here. Because, guys, remember that giant, like, I don't know what that is. A raccoon or something? I don't know. I'm walking so slow. Wait, it's saying that there's still something in that red room, I think. What did I miss in there? Or is that on the other side of the wall? I can't tell. No, it's definitely on the other side of the wall, guys. Oh, look at me! I'm outside the game. I'm outside the game. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Staring longingly at the portal to leave. And, 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 and then this giant crazy baby is chasing me. Ah! No! No! You will not eat me, baby. You will not. Uh oh, better crawl in here. And quick! Woo! That saved my diaper tail. <laughs> is he gone, guys? Is the coast clear? Look at this, guys. It's some sort of electrical wire. I wonder what will happen when I push this. Should I, guys? All right, I am. <laughs> it turns something on. I'm not really sure what, but I think if we follow this electrical line, maybe we'll find out. Oh, another teddy bear at the end of the game when I don't need super speed anymore. <laughs> well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Wait a minute. Why won't it let me push any of these buttons? Hmm, it obviously opens this door. Oh, those were just the lights to tell me which ones were left. <laughs> oh, that was so ignoramus of me because here are the buttons that I need to press. And there's got to be one more somewhere along this circuit. All right. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. What's that? You can unlock that? What do you get if you unlock it? Whoa, no money. Don't go down there. Wait, Daisy, is that you? Yes, I already won the game. But don't go down there because there's a giant... It's a trap. There's a giant baby Bobby down there. And he will annihilate you. Thanks for the tip, Daisy. Having a sister is sometimes annoying, but also sometimes useful. Whatever, Molly. I'm always useful. Ah, well, why didn't you tell me that baby was about to eat me? Oh, I'm back as myself. But now I can get super speed. <sighs> okay, well, this is working out okay, I guess. Um, here's my super speed. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm so fast now. Whoa, whoa, get away from me. You can't catch me. I have no idea if I'm going the right way, though. <laughs> I'm just running for my life. Guys, if you want to know, it's 395. And, oh, it's a conveyor belt in here. This must be where they make all the candy. Guys, should I go in here? I'm not sure I should. Okay, it won't let me. What is this about? Guys, I don't know what's going on in here. I was hoping there'd be a piece of candy in here. Oh, look, it's like gears. Oh, I have to put the missing gears and I have them. Bum, 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 bum. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Wait, what? They're making, ah! 
Oh my gosh, what was that about? Uh oh, this couldn't be good. Oh, I just got a badge. You fell into the abyss award. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Let's do that again. I want to fall into the abyss again. Daisy, what are you doing? You said this was dangerous. Let's go in the basement. Show that, but Robbie, who's boss. Um, I don't like this so much. What happened down here? Ah, Daisy! D I got eaten! Oh my gosh, Daisy, are you serious right now? And, and now I'm in jail? Okay, retry. <laughs> Why do I listen to my sister? She always has the worst ideas. All right, guys, now that I'm back here, you guys know I'm going to be baby Robbie so that I can show you what it's like when he crawls really fast. And he doesn't crawl really fast. So I'm resetting my character because that is lame. There, I said it. Sorry, but lame. It won't let me reset my character. All right, now I'm going to crawl to the exit mega slow. Yay. One eternity later. And here I go. Whoa, where am I? Buddy, I know this isn't the ending that you had hoped for. Um, yeah, considering this is creepy, it looks like it's going to bring more of these guys to life. Buddy, I think we have to give them th th the formulas, the potions. Oh, let's see. Poor liquid. This is too weird. Too weird. Okay, got it. And... Bum, 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 bum. Now what? Now we have to press the go button. Don't say I didn't warn you. You got this, Molly. I believe in you. Well, Daisy, that makes one of us. But I'll tell you something, Daisy. I'm never going to give up. And I'm never going to surrender. Because I can do anything. If you put your mind to it, whoa, 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 you can do it. Um, then they come faster at the end, though. How is that fair? Whoa! Okay, you can have 29 more of my Robux, and then I'm done. I'm so done with you. <laughs> now, guys, I need you to slam the like button if you haven't already. And hit the subscribe button, okay, guys? We love our fans, and we make super fun Roblox games. Oh, no, DZ died, too. Okay, where's the first one going to come out of? Yeah, goodbye. Here's the next one. Bye. Next one. Bye. Next one. Bye. 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 There's too many! Ah! Guys, I can't beat this game. I tried. I really tried. Are you giving up, Molly? No! But right now I need to go eat a piece of pizza because I'm starving. And I'll see you guys next time! Bye! Alright, guys, I'll be dropping you off to stay at your grandpa's for the weekend. Yay, grandpa's! Sounds fun. He always feeds us lots of Oreos. I know. Oreos are delicious. All right, guys, we have arrived. Make sure you take all your belongings from the back. Um, does that include all the cookies and cupcakes and everything? Molly, did you bring treats to Grandpa's house? You don't need to bring treats to Grandpa's house. He already has some. I know, but sometimes it's not enough. I need more Oreos. More cookies, more cupcakes. Ay, ay, ay. Grandpa, we're here. I hope you have some milk to go with those Oreos. Hey, look, there's Grandpa in there. Grandpa, hi. I'm so happy to see you right now. Whoa, Grandpa, are you feeling okay? Your teeth look a little creepy. Who are you guys? Um, Grandpa, are you okay? Yeah, Grandpa, we're your grandchildren. Do you not remember us? Aw, oh, look at the little dog. Wait. I don't have any grandchildren. Wait, Grandpa, when did you get a dog? Do you not remember us? He used to play baseball with us. And feed us Oreo cookies. Oh no, he's gone senile. I don't remember no baseball games. Get out of my house. Grandpa, you're hurting my feelings. Molly, I think we better run because if, he, if he's senile, maybe he's going to get you with his pitchfork, Molly. Don't run upstairs. Just, oh my gosh, run this way, Molly. Come into the kitchen. Ooh, the kitchen. Now you're speaking my language. Daisy, how did you get back there? Let me... Ugh. Molly, you ate too many cupcakes. You won't fit alongside the refrigerator. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just hide on this side. Does anybody see Grandpa? 
Oh, I don't see him. <gasps> Look, he was making lemonade. Something's definitely wrong with Grandpa. He's just standing there. Oh, no. I think he's got Santa. Wait. It, it, is that you? Yes. It's me, Grandpa. I think he recognizes me, Molly. Oh, golly. I didn't recognize you, kiddo. Come here. Sit and have some lemonade. You must be thirsty. I know I am. Okay, his cray-cray moment is over. Now he's back to normal, I guess. Grandpa? Do you need some cuckoo pills? Grandpa, are you okay? Oh my gosh. Look at Grandpa's face. I'm gonna get a close-up of it. Whoa, Grandpa, you look... <laughs> you look terrifying. Alright, I guess we're supposed to take some, some lemonade. All right, younglings, now that you guys are all settled, I have some work to do outside. Hey, I didn't get any lemonade. Would you like some help, Grandpa? No, I think I can do it myself. Plus, I think you should take a look around the house. After all, you should know where everything is if you're staying here for a few days. Um, Grandpa, this isn't our first time here, but okay, we'll look around. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Hi. That dog is so adorable. When did Grandpa get a dog, though? Oh, look at here's a picture of our beautiful grandmother. Why she was wearing hair curlers on the day of her um her photo being taken, I'll never know, but you know, whatever. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, don't break the bed. It's all we have to sleep on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I can turn the lights off and on. Daisy, look at this. Boing, boing. Yeah, Molly, you're a troublemaker. What do you want me to say about it? Did you guys just hear that? Hear what? Did Grandpa fall asleep? Is he snoring in his chair? No, Molly, Grandpa's outside working. Duh, remember we said that. Oh, maybe it's the sound of his chainsaw then or something. Grandpa, are you okay? He sounded like it came off over, from over there. Maybe in the bar. Well, let's go inside and see. Where are all the other grandkids? Yeah, it seems like there was a lot more of us at one point. Well, must be they got homesick and went home or something. G -g -g Grandpa? Grandpa! Oh my gosh, I knew he was acting weird. Grandpa, are you okay? Marty, why are you hiding behind me? I don't know, it just scared me, I guess. Grandpa! Grandpa, are you okay? Just a little scratch. Nothing too serious. Hey, would you go grab me my first aid kit? It's somewhere around here in the shed. I forgot where, though. Well, it's no surprise you forgot where. You are a little senile these days. Molly, I got the first aid kit. It's okay. Here, Grandpa. I hope this helps. Yeah, me too. Thanks for getting that for me. No problemo. Um, can we have something to eat now? I'm starving. Molly, wait. It's not time to have a snack yet. It's always time to have a snack if you're me. Hey, can you guys fix up the tractor? I pretty much did a good portion of the work. There are a few parts laying around, and once those are placed in, the tractor should be good as new. Sure! Just go inside and get some rest, Grandpa. We'll fix your tractor up in no time. You guys are the best, thanks. <clears throat> Ew! Grandpa fought it on the way out! Well, he's old. What do you want me to say? Oh, you got the engine before me. Okay, fine. Is there any other pieces that we need? I was trying to get the engine, but the other better grandchild took it before I did. Well, that's the last part on. Let's see if we can get this thing up and running. Grandpa's going to be so proud of us. Yeah, if he's awake long enough to say good job. Oh, speaking of being awake, huh, that was a lot of work. I think I want to go to bed. Yeah, me too. Let's make our way up to our room. Oh, look at all these toys. This looks so much fun. All right, let's go. Let's look in the toy box. Molly, it's not time for fun and games. It's time to go to bed. Even you said you were tired. Did you guys hear that? I'm like, guacamole. What was that? The whole room shook. All right, let's get out of here. This place is creepy. Sounds like it came from down the hallway. Grandpa. Grandpa. I got you guys. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, no, here he goes with one of his senile episodes again. Um, Molly, I don't know if it's that or if he's just really trying to get us. Huh? What? What? Whoa! Guys? What just happened? 
I told you, Grandpa's gone senile. He's gray gray. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't remember anything. Why are we in the barn? All I can think is, Grandpa went crazy. He said, I got you guys. And then he threw us out here in the barn. I don't know, but Grandpa's gone mad. We should find a way to get out of this barn. Yeah, Grandpa definitely has gone mad. I remember Grandpa telling me that he had a certain key that could unlock the barn doors. I just don't remember where it is. Well, when you guys find it, let me know. I'll be up here taking a nap. Marty, you're going to help us find it, duh. Okay, I'll help you find it. Picky, picky. Never mind, I found it. Good job, Forrest Gump. I mean, Forrest Bump. <laughs> Great, now let's get out of here. What if Grandpa's outside there, guys? We haven't thought about that. And I'm right. He's got a flamethrower. You guys thought you could escape that easy. Let me make it harder for you. Grandpa, just calm down. You need to take some medicine. You're gone crazy. Um, we need to get out of here. He just set the barn on fire. Any ideas on how to get out? Um, what do you guys think? I don't know, Molly. You come up with an idea. Okay, let's climb out that window. Come on. Molly, hurry before the whole place explodes. Um, I'm stuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to die. Not today. Oh, thank goodness. All right, this looks like an obby, guys. Um, we can do this. Correction, Molly. You always fail at these obbies. And then you'll have to spend all of your money trying to survive. Well, it's just because it's timed. It makes me so nervous. Ah! That pitchfork is sharp. Grandpa set up quite the obby booby trap. He sure did. It's kind of rude, actually. Oh, God! I knew it! I knew this was going to happen! Here we go, guys. 25 full books of Molly's just gone. Gone, gone, gone. Well, wait a minute. It doesn't take you to the end, guys. Oh, no. That's bad. Wait a minute. Shouldn't it? I, I respond. Shouldn't it take me to the end? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so it's complete the obby. All right. I'm just going to respawn right here. I don't know why it didn't respawn me where it was supposed to, but whatever. Molly, at least you you had enough Robux to survive. Wait, quick, run to the cornfield! We can lose it there! I'm like literally plowing into every single car. Oh my god. Ah, oh, Daisy, I don't like this. Molly, just try to avoid the cars. I'm trying, but oh my gosh, there's so many of them. What? I, I got hit by a car? 75 Robux. I can see all of my money dwindling as we speak. I started with like 400 Robux and now I'm like poor. Oh, look at Daisy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks funny. All right, let's go through the cornfield. Come on. I think we lost him. Jeez, I never thought my grandpa would go so crazy. Where do you guys think we go from here? And have you guys also noticed we're down to only three grandkids left? I don't know, but we have to get out of here somehow. Let's try to find a way out. Whoa, that was dramatic. Holy guacamole, Daisy. All right, we have 88 seconds to escape. Daisy, I think we should go this way. All right, no one believes me. Whatever. You guys go that way. Yeah, you go that way, Molly, and spend all your Robux. Go ahead. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, crud. No, Daisy, that's a dead end over there. And that's a dead end. Oh, God, I don't know how to get out of here. We're stuck forever! Molly, quit singing songs. We have to try to hurry. We only have 60 seconds. And you're running low on Robux. Yeah, she's got a point. But, guys, I'm wearing my Power of the Unicorn shirt, so everything should be fine. Come on, guys, say it with me. Power of the Unicorn with your sparkly horn. And that should help us get out of here. See? It works every time. Wait, is this where we came in? No, Molly, we definitely made it out. Forrest Bump, you made it too. I'm so happy about that. Get in. I can give you a lift. Oh, Packstabbers Tax Service. Tax Services? No, Molly, not tax services. Taxi services. You guys look shaken up. Let's get you back home. <laughs> Are you sure you don't do taxes while you drive us? Oh, we got the good ending. Net, net, net. That's awesome. All right, who wants to see the bad ending? Let us know in the um, comment section below, and we'll play again. Okay, guys? We'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, my gosh. Can I believe my eyes right now? Molly, are you actually doing your homework? Yeah, I'm trying.
trying to be good students. Wow, congratulations, Molly. Yay! Hopefully you can actually succeed. Well, uh, <laughs> no promises. Whoa, I wonder who that could be. It's probably Brookie. She texted me earlier and said her mom is going on this health kick, so she's only putting fruits and vegetables in the house. Yeah. And she knows we have donuts. <laughs> Coming, Brookie! Hey, where's Brookie? Maybe she's already in the kitchen eating a donut. No, no, Brookie. Wait, what? Did Amazon deliver a package? Oh boy, I love presents! Maybe my mom got me one because I've been doing my homework lately. Whoa, Molly, where's Bookie? Um, she's not here, but... You got a present, I know! Hey! Did Bookie bring that? No, it was just out front. I think maybe Amazon delivered it. Let me see that. To Molly and Daisy? From a secret admirer? <gasps> Someone wants to ask me to the dance. La, 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 la. Well, then why would it be to both of us? Oh, yeah. Good point. I thought it was because I was doing my homework, but... You always do your homework, so why should you get a prize? Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't seem fair. Well, let's open it and find out who it's from. Daisy, it's an invitation. An invitation to what? I hereby announce that you've been invited to a royal sleepover? What? That's amazing! Yeah, but who invited us? Love your secret admirer. I don't know. Hmm, something seems kind of fishy about this, Molly. I don't know if we should go. Are you kidding me? I know exactly who it's from. It could be for some crazy person <laughs> who just wants us to go to their house. Or it could be from that new famous YouTuber that just moved into Brookhaven, but she wants to keep her new friends on the down low, so she's invited us over to her mansion. I don't know, Molly, but you could be right, so we should at least go and check it out. And the sleepover's tonight, so we've got to go pack a bag. Come on, Daisy. This is so exciting. Why did you put the package in the elevator? Oopsie. I didn't mean to stash the box in there. I guess I was supposed to take it to the trash. <laughs> now it's stuck in the elevator. Okay, that's kind of funny. Come on, Daisy. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right, all right. I'm ready, Molly. Jeepers, creepers. I still don't know about this. Daisy, you jumped over the railing. You're not supposed to do that. Mom said you'll get a timeout. Well, I'm just so excited. I couldn't think as to wait. And I just want to get to the sleepover. I thought you thought it was going to be creepy. Well, I'm not sure yet. But I can't wait to find out. And look at Molly. A limo actually came to pick us up. Holy guacamole. Fancy. This is going to be an amazing sleepover. I just know it. Come on, Daisy, get in. Molly, seriously? Are you going to hang your head on the sunroof the entire ride? Whee! <laughs> Whoa, it's freezing out here. But I don't care. This is amazing. <laughs> Daisy, are you driving? Well, the driver decided that he was going to not show up, so I'm just going to drive us over there. I have the address and everything. Well, drive careful. You don't want to chop my head off on one of those bridges. Well, then you better actually get in here. Can't. Have to have so much fun. Whee! <laughs> Never drove in a limo before. Whee! <laughs> Holy macaroni! Is this where the sleepover is? I think so, Molly. This is where the address was. Wow. I bet they're going to have the most delicious pizza ever. Oh, great. What are you losers doing here? What are we doing here? What are you doing here? I'm here for the exclusive sleepover. Duh. And you guys are way too well losers to the sleepover. Oh, yeah? Well, here's our invitation, Sarah. We got one, too. Wait, you got an invitation, Sarah? Uh, yeah, duh. Hey, guys, what's up? Brookie, what are you doing here? I got an invitation to a really cool sleepover at this amazing mansion. But wait a minute. I thought this was a hotel that closed down years ago. Well, obviously somebody bought it and moved in here and made it a house. I think that's amazing. I don't know about this, guys. 
Something is telling me in my tummy that this isn't play. What are you talking about? It's probably an invite from that new famous YouTuber that moved into Brookhaven. That's exactly what I told her, Sarah. Whoa. We actually thought of like for once, Sarah. I don't think so. I would never think like you. You're an ignoramus. Hey, look, we all got invited to this sleepover, Sarah, which means we all need to get all long. I don't know, Maddie. I think we should go home. Don't be ridiculous. This place looks amazing. Who's going? Um, I am. I am. And so am I. Daisy, get around. Okay, fine. But only because I don't want you guys to get in trouble without me. Come on, guys, let's go. Whoa. Look at this place. Yeah, it's amazing. What was that? It was the sound of the door locking. Wait, what? No, no that can't be right. Like, let's nobody panic. I mean, it's probably just a lock-in party. Those are very exclusive. Yeah, guys, look at the size of this television. It's amazing. Uh, Brooke, I don't think that's a television. I think that's actually, like, where you check in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oopsie. It kind of looked like a TV to me. But look at this. They have an indoor pool. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, um, I'm sure it's just one of those lock-in parties. Right, Daisy? I don't know. I told you I felt really crazy about this before we got here. And now it's in an old abandoned hotel. And where's the people who are hosting the party? Yeah, that's a good question. Where's the host? What just happened to the lights? I, 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 I. G Molly. This is freaking me out. Yeah, me too. Oh, wait, the lights just came back on. Maybe it's just short-circuited. Now, where is that host that's, like, supposed to be here to celebrate this sleepover with us? I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Maybe they didn't hear us show up. Um, I think they heard us because, well, uh, the door locked. Molly, I think I just saw the host! What? 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 Ridiculous. There's nobody standing behind Sarah. Oh, this is so lame. Where's all the pizza? Oh my god! Did you guys just see that? It was like a ghost or something. Ah! Oh my god, this was a really bad idea. Ah, ah. The doors are locked. We can't even get out of here. What are we gonna do now? It's, 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 it's a ghost. We are gonna try not to panic. Okay, everybody huddle together. We have to decide what to do. <laughs> Welcome to my sleepover. <laughs> Let's see if you can survive the night. That's it. We're all gonna die. Don't talk like that, Brookie. As long as we can stick together, there's four of us, and and, and we outnumber her. Yeah, but she's some sort of creepy demon or ghost or something. We're not gonna survive this, Molly. I told you we shouldn't have come here, but you never listened to me. Well, I just think the sleepover is lame. Of course it's lame! It's given by a ghost or something! Well, guys, let's just think about this, okay? We just have to try to survive the night, and then maybe the doors will unlock in the morning. I've seen this movie, I think, before. Really? I don't know, but one like it. So let's go upstairs and see if we can find a bedroom. Well, we can't barricade the door or anything because the ghost can still get in. No, but we should try to get some rest. I mean, I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of the ghost. Well, first maybe we should check the refrigerator. I'm hungry. <laughs> a few minutes later. What? No refrigerator? This really is a creepy nightmare sleepover. Wait, I smell something. It smells kind of like food. Ooh. <laughs> Score. Mm, that's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Molly, that could be poison. Stay away from that. Doesn't taste like poison. It tastes very good. Ay, 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 Molly, come on. Let's go up to the bedroom that we could find and 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 try to get some rest. Molly, if I have to be trapped in a creepy hotel with anyone, I'm glad it's my BFF. Aww. Me too, me too. Okay, let's stay in Emerald Room. That seems like a good room, right? Wow, everything's so green. 
Ah, she's in this room. Nope, Emerald Room is a definite no. Definite no on the Emerald Room. Let's find a different one. Holy guacamole. Next floor, please. Ooh. The Royal Room. This seems pretty cool. I am, I am royalty. Wow. This is a pretty posh bathroom. Yep, this one's a go for me. And if there's no ghost, that's even better. Look at this artwork, though. That artwork looks like it has eyes. It's kind of creeping me out. Molly, where's everyone else? I don't know. Maybe they got lost on the way. Or maybe they're not royalty, so they can't stay here. <laughs> Molly, I don't think that's it. But seriously, though, what's up with the artwork in this hotel? Like, this is art? It looks like a prison cell. <laughs> they need to upgrade their art here. Um, where is my sister, though? And where is Sarah? Wait, how do I get out of this room? All right, here's the door. Let's go see if I can find them. Daisy, Sarah, where are you? Come on, we're in the royal room. Molly, did you find Sarah and Daisy? No, I think we better go back to the first floor. Maybe they got lost on the way here. After we saw that ghost, everybody sort of just scattered. Rookie, look, it's a grown-up. Hi, hi, I'm Molly, and, and I got this creepy invitation. Well, I didn't think it was creepy, but it's actually creepy. And, 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 and I, I... Molly, slow it down. He can't understand anything you're saying. Okay, I got this invitation to come to a sleepover here, but when I got here, all there was was a creepy ghost, and she locked us in! Creepy ghost, you say, huh? Mmm, I see. Can you help us? Call 911! Or open the door or something! <laughs> <gasps> Molly, why is he laughing like that? <laughs> Seriously, why are you laughing like that? Do you have, like, a laughing thing that you do? Like, is that how you laugh? <laughs> yeah, his laugh is pretty weird. <laughs> Molly, I don't think that was a, I don't know, that was a grown-up. <laughs> I fooled you. Can you see me now? <laughs> no one could ever see me. I was a lost soul. Lost soul? Did she used to go to our school? Oh my god! It's the legend of Moby! What? What are you talking about? The legend of Moby! Everybody knows the legend of Moby! Yeah, Molly. She just disappeared one day. They said everyone bullied her so much and didn't pay attention to her that she literally vanished. <gasps> what? Ah! Ah! We're stuck in this hotel with Crazy Marie? Ah! Molly! What are we gonna do? I don't know, but I would say, whatever we do, no one falls asleep. Do you understand? Yes, Molly. I won't fall asleep. Trust me. Well, I'm kind of tired right now. So... Wake up, Brookie. This is no time for sleeping. And where is Sarah? I don't know, Molly. But I think maybe we... She took... Brookie! Don't close your eyes! Don't! Oh, sorry. I'm just so sleepy. I didn't get enough sleep last night. And so tonight I was like wondering if I was going to be able to stay awake for the sleepover. And the answer is probably no. Well, get serious about staying awake because there she is again! Ah! <laughs> I just, just want, want to be seen. Let's play. play. I never had a sleepover. Blah! Molly! Sorry, I tried to hold it in, but when I get nervous, I sort of fart a lot. <coughs> Ew, Molly, that smells like a bean burrito with rotten eggs on top. <laughs> uh, oopsie. I don't know where Sarah is, but Marie is not going to take us down. Huddle in close, friends. We're about to discuss our plan. Oh, uh, Molly, you still smell like a rotten egg. Why are you making us come in close? Well, unless you want Marie to hear us. My plan is this. Look, everybody knows what happened to Marie. Everybody ignored her or bullied her, and she just sort of disappeared. So maybe if we listen to her and tell her we'll be her friend, she'll stop haunting this old hotel. I don't know, Miley. That's risky. I don't see how we have any other choice. I mean, she's got us locked in here. Yeah, she has a point, Daisy. You have to try. Okay, well... I, I guess we can try. All right, let's split up. Absolutely not. Are you crazy? Okay, well, 
if we want to have a chance of talking to her, we should probably do it one-on-one. -on -one. We don't want her to think we're going to bully her. She's got a point, Daisy. Okay, I'll go upstairs to one of those creepy rooms. I'll go to the kitchen, because if we send Molly to the kitchen, she'll get distracted and just want to eat food the entire time. Hey, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. <laughs> okay, I'll stand in front of the elevator, because that's where she seems to appear the most. Just remember, be really nice. <gasps> okay, okay, don't be freaked out. Hi, Marie, it's me, Molly, and, um, I don't know where you went. Maybe back into the walls or something, but... I just wanted to say I know what happened to you at Brookhaven High, and it wasn't your fault. You were probably a good person, and everyone ignored you. And when you tried to say, hey, I'm Marie, people bullied you. That wasn't fair. Go away! You'll never be my friend! No, no, listen. I can be your friend, Marie. I promise, I'm a good friend. I mean, I don't do my homework very often, so don't ask me for tutoring, but... I know how to have fun. I know how to make pizza. Pizza, Marie. Remember when you used to love pizza? Wait, did you like pizza? Are you lactose intolerant? Too much talking! I don't like talking! Well, um, maybe you just need someone to listen. I'm a pretty good listener. Do you want me to listen? Oh, well, I guess so. Ah! Oh, you're creepy looking. Thanks, that's not a real good way to start a friendship. No one has seen me for 50 years. Whoa, really? No, just kidding. <laughs> it's only been 10, but <laughs> you believed it, which is kind of funny. Jeez, I can't imagine why nobody wanted to be your friend. Also a joke! <laughs> okay, don't make me go back to ghost status, because I will. Whoa, calm down, calm down! Anyway, my name is Molly, and... My sister Daisy's here, my best friend Brookie, and, well, Sarah. She's not the nicest, but, you know, we tolerate her. <laughs> um, well, do you want to be my friend? <gasps> of course I'd be your friend. I don't know if I could ever go back to Brookhaven. I mean, everyone teased me and then just ignored me. Well, you could be our friend, but you have to stop being a ghost. I, I can try. You can do this. I know you can, Marie. Just think happy thoughts. Think I have friends. Marie, you're doing it! Marie, you did it! I feel so, so human. That's because you are human, Marie. And you're important. And you matter. Oh. I've never had a friend like you. Uh, but could we never go back to that creepy Marie where you talk like... And also, um, you're like a ghost? Yeah, that was pretty creepy. Sorry about that. And where's our friend Sarah? Oh, um, I just heard that she was kind of a bully, so I, uh, stuck her in a wall. What? Uh, Bree, you probably should undo that. That's a little bit psycho behavior. Okay, okay, no problem. And also, would you mind unlocking the door? Yeah, but you are gonna be my friend after you walk out the door, right? Marie, of course. Uh, you know, you don't have to force me to be your friend just so I can leave. We'll just be your friend. Oh, I see Marie is back to her normal self. That's good. Um, try not to be crazy again. Uh -oh. Hey, it wasn't all her fault. She had a rough childhood. Well, thanks for me, my friends, guys, and coming for my coming to my sleepover. Well, it was definitely the most creepiest one I've ever been to. <laughs> so you win an award for that. For sure. But Marie, we're here for you. We're your friends now. Oh, I'm so bored. All that's on TV is boring news. Let's see if I can change it to something else. Cooking, no. Ooh, the brightly colored unicorn! Oh, man, it's a rerun! I'm so bored! Oh. Molly, quit whining. You're gonna be so happy in about a minute. What? Why? Are we going to the water park? Are we going to Disney? Are we going to Hawaii? No, no, and no. Then why would I be happy? Because Grandma's coming over! Wait, what? 
Grandma's coming over here? Yeah, Molly, you guessed it. And, you know, she's pretty awesome and cool and stuff. Yeah, I'm never bored when she's here. Plus, I'm getting so hungry, and she'll make something delicious. Oh, Grandma, are you here? Whoa, who is that? G Grandpa? Well, hello there, Molly. Um, uh, Grandpa, you look and sound a little different. Um, what are you doing here? Where's Grandma? Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Grandpas are super fun to hang out with. Now you're going to invite me in? Grandpa, how come your eyes look a little bit, well, red? Ah, your head looked creepy. It was like turning around almost backwards. What are you talking about, Shilly? Come on, invite me in. Okay, Grandpa, come on in. Daisy, it's not Grandma, it's Grandpa. Say what? Grandpa never babysits us. He doesn't know how to babysit. Well, we don't really need babysitters anymore. We're too old for that. We just needed someone to hang out with us, you know. In case, you know, we catch the house on fire or something. Yeah, true. Grandpa could do that, I guess. G Grandpa? Eh, maybe he just moves kind of slow, but I don't see him. Where, where is he? Well, I'm making you a snack. <laughs> Ah, uh, Grandpa, hot dogs? Well, I guess that's what Grandpas know how to make. You couldn't make cookies or something? No, when I was your age, all we ate was hot dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was quite the whippersnapper back then. Grandpa, <laughs> whippersnapper? What's that? You know, I don't really know. It's just something that old people say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is just weird. Daisy, Grandpa's making us hot dogs because we're whippersnappers or something like that. Oh, hot dogs, Grandpa, I don't really eat hot dogs. I don't like them. You need to eat these hot dogs. You know, when I was a kid, we didn't complain about what we ate. We just ate what our parents gave us, and that was just it. Well, our parents don't normally give us hot dogs. Well, they were in the fridge, Daisy. I mean, who was going to eat them? Oh, Grandpa, these are... These are really burned. Oh, a burned hot dog. I'll pass. Um, Grandpa, could I have some yogurt? Yogurt? No way. Yogurt's not good for you. <laughs> if you want to grow lots of hair on your head, then you gotta eat hot dogs. Grandpa, then you should definitely eat more hot dogs because you have, like, hardly any hair on your head. Molly! <laughs> aren't you the funny one? Since you're such a jokester, why don't you go do the laundry? What? No, Grandma never makes me do the laundry. Well, Grandma's not here! Whoa, Grandpa, you're being kind of weird. You better do what he says, Molly. He's got evil-looking eyes. Okay, Grandpa, I'm gonna go do the laundry! Not really. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Ooh, I love this game. Oh, whippersnap. What? I told you to do your laundry. That's it. Now you're going to have to do 6,000 push-ups. 6,000? Well, that'll take me a long time, considering I can't even do one, Grandpa. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I don't care. I've got a quite a long time to wait for you to do them all. Actually, no, you don't, Grandpa. Uh, by the looks of you, you're going to be dead next week. What did you say to me? Well, you're old, Grandpa. How much longer could you possibly live? Oh, I'm in perfect health. Trust me. Come into the backyard, Molly. I'd like to show you something. <laughs> Um, okay, what is it? Oh, a snowman in the pool. Oh, you kids always have time to do silly things. Like snowmen. Grandpa, why are you swimming in the pool? I like to keep myself strong by torturing myself with cold water. Um, okay, Grandpa. But anyway, follow me. Wow, Grandpa is pretty spry for being, you know, a million years old. What's this, Grandpa? Oh, I've just been doing a little digging in the backyard. Go take a look-see. Um, Grandpa? 
Are these prisons? You put me in prison? Grandpa, how could you? Well, <laughs> if you hadn't noticed, I'm not your grandpa. Wait, then who are you? Wouldn't you like to know, Whippersnapper? <laughs> Daisy? Daisy, help! I'm stuck in the, in the, I don't know where I am, underground in the backyard. Daisy? Daisy? Just follow me, Daisy. I've got to show you something I've been digging in the backyard. What is it, Grandpa? Daisy, no! What, what's going on, Grandpa? Oh, just go take a look, you'll see. <laughs> oh, wow. Daisy, no! Daisy! <laughs> now you're both my prisoners. Daisy, th 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 that's not our grandpa. You don't say, Molly. You don't say. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Um, An evil grandpa who's very ugly and old. <gasps> Molly, don't make him mad. Well, I'm Sarah wearing a grandpa mask. <laughs> what? Sarah? And you losers fell for it. What? You pretended to be our grandpa, but you're actually evil? Okay, you just need a timeout. A timeout? <laughs> I don't think so. Club Brooks is open to 2 a.m. tonight. That's awesome. Dan, I'm home. Are you ready for our date night? <laughs> this cat show is my favorite. I know, right, Dad? It's awesome. Look at you two couch potatoes. Aren't you guys going to get up and do anything tonight? Um, I was just thinking we could have date night here, like chilling on the couch, watching this favorite cat show of mine. Absolutely not. We're going out to Club Brooks. Oh, man, great, I'm home alone. Wait a minute, what happened to Daisy? Honey, I told you this morning, Daisy had a camp out with all of her friends. Well, why didn't Molly go? I don't like camping. I don't know, it's just like, I think about like all those bugs in the tent and... Seriously, you don't like camping? Actually, uh, not really that much. And also I was thinking, ah, being home alone while you guys have date night sounds pretty awesome to me. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, Molly, but, um, you have a babysitter. Wait, what? A babysitter? I, I, I wasn't expecting a babysitter. I kind of would have went camping if I had known I was going to have a babysitter. Besides, I don't even need one. I'm old enough now. Sorry, Molly, but we just have to have someone come and hang out with you just to be sure you don't get into any mischief. Me? Get into mischief? <laughs> very funny. Yeah, very funny, Molly. You getting into mischief. Who would have thought? Like, I think about it every single day. Okay, maybe I get into a little mischief, but it, it's not that much, right? Um, slam the like button if you're watching this video and you think Molly gets into mischief. Uh-oh. Everybody's slamming the like button. Um, guys, you're supposed to be on my side. Yeah, no, they know you're a mischief maker. Okay, Molly, well, you have a great night. Mom and I are going to live it up at Club Brooks. Okay, Molly, um, call me on my cell if you need anything, okay? Ugh, <sighs> fine. That's all right. I'll, I'll just watch my show and ignore this babysitter. That's what I'll do. Look at that cat. It's like, meow. <laughs> Super funny. Hello? Is anyone home? Huh, what? No, no one's home. Go to the next house. I don't need a babysitter. Ugh. You little brat, you're not watching any TV on my watch. Did you just call me a little brat? That's right, brat. You're not watching any TV. But, but, but it's Friday night. I always watch cool shows on TV on Friday night and just chill out. I don't think so. Get off the couch. What? This isn't your house. You can't boss me around. Actually, I'm the babysitter, so I totally can. Now get up. Wow. Rude. Here, why don't you do some cleaning? No, you're the babysitter. If, if anyone does cleaning, it's you. My parents pay you money, you know. I don't care. Here's the broom. Oh, man, I don't, I don't want to. I don't care what you want. You're not in charge. I am. Now be quiet while I watch TV. And get out of the way. I can't see anything. Oh, my gosh. 
This this babysitter is just it's just mean! Oh, I wish my mom and dad were here. I would tell on her. It's okay. I'll just go have a snack. Like she won't know. She probably won't even want to feed me something real for dinner. What could I have? What are you doing? Don't drink that. That's mine. What? No, it's not. My mom bought it for me and my sister. Well, when I'm here, everything is mine. Now give it to me. Um, no. <laughs> yes, give it to me now, or I'm going to ground you for the rest of the night. Okay, fine. I already drank off of it. I don't care. I just want it all. Glug, 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 glug. Why are you going to feed me dinner? Because I'm hungry. What do I look like? You're made. Make yourself something to eat. Or better yet, don't eat anything at all. Um, okay. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm not that hungry. Holy guacamole. This babysitter's so evil. Huh. She doesn't know about our secret elevator. I'll just go upstairs and hide in my room. Huh. What a crazy lady she is. Where are you? Oh my gosh, guys, I've got to hide. But first, I have to eat this donut really fast. Mmm, delicious. Okay, where should I hide? Where should I hide? I know. I'll just hide right here by the bed. She'll never find me there. <laughs> if you don't tell me where you are right now, I'm going to call the police. Hello? Yeah, call the police. Then I'll tell them you're the rudest babysitter ever. What? I just heard you. Are you over here? I know it! What are you doing? I fell off the bed! Ah! I don't care and I don't believe you. Seriously? You don't care if I fell off the bed? But I'm laying on the floor and like... Ah! I don't really. Seriously. Now, get up, please. Oh, man! Why are you crying? Because I just... I never met somebody so mean before! <laughs> If you don't stop crying, I'm going to make you do more chores. And I'm also going to ground you. You're the biggest, you're the most evilest babysitter ever. Yeah, I've been told that before. <laughs> I take pride in being the most evil babysitter on the planet. <laughs> well, you're really good at it. <laughs> stop crying. I'll give you 30 seconds. Okay. I have 30 more seconds to cry. Oh my gosh. No, I changed my mind. Stop it right now. Okay. Maybe if I have some candy or something, I'll feel better. Ooh, Doritos. That'll make it better. <laughs> Stop eating that. You're not supposed to eat that. Why? why? I, I want to eat it. Stop eating it. Give me that. It looks delicious and I want to eat it. Oh my gosh. You're taking all my snacks. You really are rude. Ew, what was that? Um, there is a mouse that lives under the bed. That was not. You farted. Okay, I have to use the bathroom. You need to ask me permission before you do anything. Um, can I use the bathroom? Oh, just go. <laughs> I was just faking it. <laughs> Now, I have some privacy so I can call my mom and tell her how evil this babysitter is and that she can come home any minute. Come on, Mom! Pick up! Pick up the phone! Oh, she's probably having a great time dancing at Club Brooks. Mom, pick up the phone! Okay, I'm going to redial her. Hello? Mom! I, I need to talk to you. I have an emergency. What? what? What is it, Molly? Mom, this babysitter is evil. Molly, don't be dramatic. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sorry you have to have a babysitter. You won't have to have one forever. No, Mom, seriously. Please come home. Seriously, Molly? Is everything okay? No, I need you to come home. Okay, we'll be right home, Molly. Where are you? Hey, what are you doing on your cell phone? Um... Nothing. I was just seeing if I had any homework. I, I called my friend to see. No calling friends. No calling anyone. Now, come on. I have more chores for you to do. Okay. Yeah, I'll do all the chores. You will? That's a better attitude. Where are you going? You have to go this way. Duh. Boy, you're pretty silly. Even though this is your house, you don't even know where you're going. Now, get the broom out and get working. Okay. I'm I'm working. Good. 
<laughs> See, your Friday night totally stinks, doesn't it? Um, yeah. <laughs> Molly, what's going on here? Hey, are you making her do chores and being rude and evil to her? Yeah, Mom, she is. <laughs> Well, if you don't like my method of babysitting, you don't have to hire me again, but you still owe me 200 bucks. 200 bucks? You must be Looney Tunes! I wouldn't pay a babysitter $200 for an hour! <laughs> Especially not a bad babysitter. I'm not a bad babysitter, I'm just strict. Okay, what did you feed my daughter for dinner? She didn't feed me anything! Is this true? Uh, yeah, I mean, she doesn't need to eat, does she? Uh, yeah, she does. What What else did you have her do? Chores. And then she had, told me I'd ask permission to go to the bathroom. You're a horrible babysitter. I'm giving you a one-star review on, on Google. Sarah is a bad, evil babysitter. What do you think of that? Whatever. It's not like I like this job anyway. I'm going to get a job at the car wash. Car wash? Man, I feel sorry for those cars. Here's your broom back. Uh, you can keep it. <laughs> I don't clean houses. Get out of our house, evil babysitter, right now! Whatever. My $200. Yeah, right, you're not getting 200 bucks from me. Cheapers, Molly, I'm sorry that babysitter was so evil. It's okay, I I'm just glad you guys could come home. Come on, Molly, let's watch your favorite cat show, all together. <sighs> I'm so glad you guys are home, seriously. What an evil babysitter. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> now finally I get to watch my favorite show. Wait a minute! It's not on! Ah! My mama here! My mama here! A mommy! 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 Mama! Mama! Hi, baby Kira! Did you have a good day? I don't want to go home. I had to get you my fun. You don't want to go home because you had so much fun? Oh, sweet girl. I'm so glad you like your new preschool. Well, like, I can't come in today. Uh, no, it's, uh, I, I, I can't work tonight because I have my twins. That's why I'm here picking them up from preschool. Uh, no, I don't want to lose my job. Okay, all right, I'll come in. If I can find a babysitter. Oh, hi, you must be a new mom too. Yeah, I'm Lorelai. Oh, well, I'm Laura. Our names are almost the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a really bad day because my boss wants me to work a shift because one of the other employees got sick and I don't have anyone to watch my twins. Well, I'm sure we could have a play date with my daughter and you could come pick him up at my house later. Does that work? Oh my gosh, you do that for me? Yeah, that would work great. I don't think so, Mom. Nope, nope, nope. What do you mean, baby Kira? You love playdates. No, 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 no. I think a bad idea. No. No, I want you. Baby Kira, what's got into you? I'm sorry, Lorelai. She probably just needs a diaper change or maybe a bottle. No, I don't need anything. I, I don't want to have a playdate with the twin. Baby Kira, don't be rude. Besides, I already told Lorelai, so just try to have fun, okay? All right, Lorelai, I'll text you my address and you can pick up the twins after you're done with your work shift. Thanks again so much, Laura. You really saved my life on this one, or at least my job. No problem. I'm the right thing that mom. Those twins, they're evil. What? They're evil? <laughs> they're just babies like you. Don't be ridiculous. Here, baby Kira, take your passy and try to be very sweet to the twins. See? Isn't everything all better now? I don't think so. Okay, Megan and Tegan, you guys can sit in the third row. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelts. I want to sit next to her because she smells bad. I don't smell bad. I smell like, um, uh, like my bath bubbles. Oh, yeah, she does smell really bad. Baby Kira smells like a piggy. <laughs> They're not funny. Quit teasing me, Megan and Tegan. Mommy! What, Baby Kira? What's going on back there? They're being made to be already. 
Oh my goodness, you little kids are something else. Just try to get along, okay everyone? We're gonna go to a super fun diner for dinner. Then we'll go to the park. Oh boy, we're gonna book a fun diner. Mega and Tika, you're gonna love it. I'm so glad I got this mom bus. Turns out I really need it. <laughs> La 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 Ew, her singing's bad. I know Tegan, her singing is really bad. Hey, don't talk about my mommy that way. Okay, girls, each of you can get something from the menu for dinner, and then you can each have a dessert. Oh boy, I love dessert, mommy. Thank you. You're welcome, baby Kira. Megan, Tegan, what would you like from the menu? Mama, mama. Wait a minute, baby Kira. I just asked Megan and Tegan what they're having. Okay, I'll wait then. I'm going to have an ice cream. And I'm going to have some pie. No, girls. You have to eat something for dinner first. Baby Kira, what are you going to have for dinner? Maybe the girls will have the same thing. I'm going to have uh, a cheap burger and... Um, and how about a vegetable? You want to pick a vegetable? A fruit salad. Yeah, you can have a cheeseburger and a fruit salad. Those are great choices. Okay, Megan and Tegan, what are you going to have? I'm gonna have, like I said, an ice cream. I I gonna have pie. I told you they were evil. You did this to me, though, Mom. Baby Kira, go sit in your chair, please. They aren't evil. They're just being a little naughty. Wow, that's the biggest cheeseburger we ever saw in my whole life. Oh, wow. And the fruit salad looks good, too. I don't know why I did it, Robert. She's so annoying. She still talks like a baby, Megan. I know, Tegan, she does. No, oh, what's this? I'm not eating this. Well, I ordered it for you since all you wanted to order was dessert. I got you some tacos and I got you some chicken and salad. Doesn't that look really good? No, I don't want to eat that. It looks gross. You're a bad babysitter. I told you they were evil, Mom. I told you. Baby Kara, sit down and eat your dinner. It's not nice to call Megan and Tegan evil. I think they are, though, Mom. I think they are. I'm not eating anything unless I have my apple pie. Um, okay, well, um, I guess you aren't eating anything then because... You can't eat apple pie for dinner, and you're gonna get very hungry. Oh, wait, you! You're rude! You're rude, lady! I wanna go home! Whoa! Now my mom can see how evil they really are. One hour later. Okay, girls, you only have about 30 minutes. It's starting to get dark, and then we're gonna go back so your mom can pick you up. I'll get a swing on that swing. Oh, there's one for all of us. Whee! No, I want to swing on that swing. Get off of there. Don't push me. Ah, Megan. Oh, Megan, you pushed me. I'm good, you. Ah. Well, you should have gotten off the swing. Oh, my God. Baby Kira, are you okay? Are you okay? I, I can't move my foot. I think I broke it. Oh my gosh, Megan and Tegan, you guys are being extremely naughty. And now you pushed her up the swing and, and, and she's probably really hurt. Oh my gosh, you guys really are evil. <laughs> we are wondering if you are ever going to figure it out, lady. Okay, I need to call your mom. And then I need to take baby Kira to the hospital. Mom, it really hurts. I need you leave you. Well, scratch that. I think I'll have to take these girls to the hospital and call their mom from there. She's not picking up. Megan, Tegan, don't let me see you doing anything else naughty today. For reals. You girls are going to make me crazy. Now, come on, baby Kira. Let's get you to the hospital and get that leg looked at. Megan, Tegan, keep up, please. We're coming. Cheapers. You're so bossy. <laughs> My leg really hurts. <laughs> oh, baby Kira, I'm so, so sorry, honey. I love Milo. 
Um, Megan, why don't you go and get baby Kira some water here? Here's some money. You can get it out of the vending machine. It's just around the corner. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, sure. I do it. <laughs> Tegan, I dare you to get in that x-ray machine. No, Megan, I dare you to get in it. <laughs> I can't wait to see what all your bones look like. I bet you won't even have a brain. Oh, whatever, Megan. I will have a brain. <laughs> look at you. You are saying I dare you to see and I'm a big doctor that says... Um, hmm, nope, you have no brain. What? Yes, I do have a brain. Nope, see, you don't. I don't see a brain in there. Whatever, I definitely have one. Look at all these adorable little babies being so quiet, Megan. I know what you mean, Tegan. <laughs> Let's got some trouble. Let's have a rock concert. La, 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 la. I sent you for a bottle of water and you're wrecking the entire hospital! Ah! Go get the bottle of water right now! We got your water! And maybe now you can grow a new leg! <laughs> oh my gosh! You two really are the most evil identical twins ever! I need to call your mom and have her come pick you up right away! It just keeps ringing! Oh, wait, I think it's going to voicemail. Hi, you've reached Lorelei. I'm currently in Cancun and I'll be back next week. Can't believe I found someone to watch the kids. I needed this break so bad. Leave a message after the beep, but I probably won't check it till next week. Lorelei, you come get these evil twins right now! <laughs> a princess. I'm gonna be playing the princess story and there's even a deluxe princess castle. Um, I don't know if I can be a toddler. Um, and, and, well, where's my hair? Okay, I did, first of all, I need to have some hair and then I can go do the princess story, but uh, let's go back to my avatar because, um, I'm missing hair. Let's see, something that looks just like me and my hair. Okay, that's better. Now we can go read the princess story in the library. I'm so excited. It's going to be so adorable. I just know it. Ooh, I'm taking out a book, guys. Once upon a time, there was a princess picking magical strawberries to help her mom. Hmm, there should be enough strawberries, I believe. But out of nowhere, a scary-looking dragon jumped out of the bushes. Ah! I'm the hungry dragon, and if the name doesn't make it obvious enough, I'm hungry! Don't even think about it. There for my mom, the queen. Come on. Just give me one. No! And you shall not pass to the other side. Oh no! What am I gonna do now? Okay, I have an idea. Hey, Hungry Dragon, did you know that if you look at the sky for 10 seconds, it becomes pink? Wait, really? I gotta try that. One, two, three, four. Whoop! That's my cue! Have fun! Nine, ten. Wow! It did become pink. How's that even possible? Finally, the princess arrived at the castle. Bob, I brought you some magical strawberries to cure your cold. Oh, yes. I'm afraid you brought me way too many, though. I'm not going to be able to eat all of these. I can help. Wait, what? You followed me all the way here? Yeah, what can I say? You're not you when you're hungry. All right, I guess I'll give you some magical strawberries for your waffle. Yay! And they all lived happily ever after the end whoa that was an adorable story i loved it okay now it's time to go see if i can get one of these amazing castles but first i kind of want to have a snack and i haven't been in here in a while guys look at this there's a lot of stuff in here now oh it's a toy bottle 
Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to be drinking that. <sighs> okay, I got a little distracted because it's time to swim. And I wanted to see this new pool that we have. Holy guacamole. I can't swim. I'm in the water. Somebody help. <sighs> okay, well, I'll just, I'll just swim over to this floaty and sit on it. Hopefully someone will come rescue me like a teacher. At any point, is anyone going to come? No? Okay. Okay, I'll just spend the night out here in this pool instead of in my princess castle. Somebody come rescue me! I'm a princess, you know! I deserve to be rescued! One eternity later. Finally! Ah, and I was rescued by a unicorn. My day couldn't get any better. Now, unicorn, I'd like to go to my princess castle, okay? And also, I need a bath. And also... <laughs> the hiccups because I'm starving. Oh my, it looks like, well, you need a bath. Look how dirty you are. That's right, servant. What? I'm not your servant. I'm your caretaker and I'm a unicorn. I don't know what that is, a caretaker, but um, I'm a princess. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you're a princess. I am a princess, believe me. I believe that you're a unicorn. Well, everyone can see I'm a unicorn. I have a horn. <laughs> I need to go party. I need to go party. Okay, okay. I do need to go to my princess Psst. castle. <laughs> a princess castle? Are you really a princess? Yes, unicorn. And you can live there with me if you want to. Ooh, that sounds pretty amazing. And since I just came to planet Earth from Unicorn Land, I don't have somewhere to, to, to sleep yet. So I guess I could live with you at your castle. Oh, that would be amazing. Okay, Unicorn, let's go. Whoa, this place is amazing. I know, right? I love this place. Oh, it's so happy. La, 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 la. Look, I even have my own doll's room. Not now. We're going to go into the bounce house. I've never been to a bounce house. And as a unicorn, I always wanted to. Whee! <laughs> this is fun, right? <laughs> oh, it seems like you're tired. No, I don't want to go to my room. Well, I think you should. You're probably just so sleepy. Come on. Let's take a night-night. I want to go night-night. You're me, unicorn. La, 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 la. Are you feeling much better now? Hmm, Princess Daisy? I'm feeling a lot better, but I need diaper change. No problem. I'll definitely give you a diaper change. <laughs> Is that better? You're the most magical unicorn ever. And now you need something to drink. Glug, 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 glug. Would you like some more? No! I'm a princess and I'm grumpy! What? Don't, don't, don't spit your milk out at me. Naughty baby. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you. Sometimes I'm grumpy though. Sometimes I get really grumpy and I don't know why. It's just because you're a human baby. But don't worry, unicorn babies are like that too. La, 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 la. Listen to my unicorn song. I like your unicorn song. It's really pretty. Hmm, you're not stopping to cry yet. Hmm, I don't know why you're still crying. I don't know what to do. Human babies are sometimes very confusing. Do you want to go down the slide? That'll be fun. There's a slide. Okay, wee. Can I have some food now? I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Give me something to eat, lady. Well, um, I think we can go down the slide one more time. Do I look like I'm... Ah! Oh, why are you throwing me down the slide? Oh, rude unicorn. Okay, now I have to run away because it's unicorn. Oh, boy, there she is. Oh, my gosh. There's no escaping you. I can't get up there. Damn it. I want to have something to eat. Okay, okay. I just thought we'd get a little exercise before we had a snack. You just had a bottle. But I'm still hungry. Don't take me down the slide. Oh my gosh, she doesn't know that I need something to eat apparently. Food, 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 food. Damn it, I need f 
Uh, okay, this... I'm starting to think this unicorn might be evil. I want something to eat. See, I'm standing in front of the food. Can I have it, please? I'm crying. I need food. But unicorns just want to have fun. Come on. Let's go in the ball pit now. Or we could make a picture. What do you want to do? I want to eat food, you crazy unicorn. Okay, I guess it could be time for a snack, right? No, um, yeah. Yes, finally! She's gonna feed me. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I thought this unicorn was gonna stop me forever. <laughs> ah, give me more, please. Open your mouth for the airplane. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations to you. You're a battle unicorn, ma'am, and you feed your baby. Holy guacamole. Okay, what should we do now? I don't know. This is, um... This has been really fun, Unicorn. Why are you trying to put me down? She's leaving me in my crib. I'm not even... Hey, lady! Okay, the Unicorn has abandoned me. I don't know why. I'm going to sneak out of my crib, though. I'm going to sneak out when she least expects it. Floor is lava room! You know I want to play that. Click here to erupt the volcano. <laughs> what up? I'm going to get out of here before the lava gets me. Did she just leave me here? Where did that Unicorn go? Oh my gosh, lady, you're not supposed to leave me home alone. I need medicine. I'm sick. She locked me in here. Oh my gosh. Help, I'm stuck in this crazy unicorn's house. Okay, I think I can get through here. Can I crawl, maybe? <gasps> I got out, guys. I got out. Okay, that unicorn was sort of cool as a mom and also maybe a little evil. <gasps> Look. I thought that was my castle, but it wasn't actually my castle. It was her house. I'm going home to my castle, and the unicorn can't live there. Hello! It's Princess Daisy! Please let me in! Hello? Uh, Mom? Is that you? Mom? Okay, just let me ring the bell. This isn't your house. Oh my gosh! Everybody thinks I belong to their unicorn now! Mom! It's me! Who are you? And why are you here all alone? Bob, it's me, Daisy, your daughter. Hmm, I don't think I know any Daisy. I'd better make, take you to the adoption center. Bob, I'm Princess Daisy. That evil unicorn has put a spell on you. What? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, I don't know anyone named Princess Daisy. I'm your daughter. I don't have a daughter. Why are we roller skating? You don't roller skate, Mom. What are you talking about? I roller skate all the time. I love roller skating. Okay, something crazy is going on. That evil unicorn has put a spell on my mom. Where are we going, lady? Here, I'm giving you some medicine. Well, even though you don't remember that you're my mom, at least you took care of me. You say that I'm your mom, but why do you think that? Because you are. I don't remember being your mom. That's because that evil unicorn put a spell on you. I thought she was nice, but turns out she's an evil one. Oh, poor baby. Ew, what's that smell? <coughs> Ew, you smell like a stinky doo-doo. And your teeth are dirty. That's because the unicorn didn't brush him. Could you brush him for me? Of course I'll brush your teeth. But now we need to, well, take you to the adoption center. I don't want to go to the adoption center. You're my mommy. I'm sorry, sweetie. I think you must have gotten a concussion. I'm not your mommy. You are my mommy. You have to believe me. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Where are we? Well, I'm about to take you to get you some new clothes and make you look presentable for your new family. But, but, you are my family. Now hold still while I pick out something adorable for you to wear. Mom, snap out of it! There. What, you, you're giving me different hail? But, what about my blonde, my, my, why did I say blonde? Because now I am blonde. I don't want to be a blonde. I want to be redhead and pink tails. I look adorable that way. I'm just not happy. This unicorn has ruined my life. Silly unicorn. I I should have never talked to that unicorn. <laughs> oh my. Well, 
This outfit's pretty cute. My mom has changed. She wants to make me into somebody that I'm not. I want you to look just like me, sweetie. So that way you'll get adopted. Well, since I look just like you, why don't you adopt me? Well, <laughs> you, um, I don't know. You are my mom already! Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Well, I guess there might be some truth in this. But if you were my daughter, you'd have blonde hair. No, I have red hair like dad! And like grandma? Um, okay, well... I can't believe it! This evil unicorn put a spell on everyone! But I have to break it if it's the last thing I do! Sorry about this, Mom, but I'm running away. I don't think she even noticed. I guess I don't mean that much to her yet. But I will when she remembers who I am! Okay, now where's the exit door? Here it is. I've got to run before she gets me! Hey, little girl, you can't just run away! I have to learn how to break the, the curse that the, the evil unicorn put on my family! It says in my spell book that if I pick this special white flower, then I smell it. The spell should be broken. <sighs> I hope that worked. I really do. Mom? Mom, I'm home! Who's this? Wait, who? Who are you? This is my baby. And wait, you're that adopted baby. No, I'm your real daughter, Daisy! Daisy? Is that you? The special flower is working. The unicorn spell is where we go. Oh my gosh, Daisy. Oh my gosh, are you okay? And why do you have blonde hair? Because, Mom, you were tricked by an evil unicorn. Well, let's get you cleaned up and get your hair back to normal. I'm so sorry that unicorn put a spell on me. It's okay, Mom, but we have to be careful from now on. Evil unicorns exist, and and we can't let them ruin our family. It's okay, Daisy. You can dry your tears now, honey. Everything is going to be okay. I hope so, Mom. I really hope so. <laughs> So I want credit for it, you know? <laughs> Where's my math book? Where's my math book? Oh, I can't find my math book! Okay, um, maybe I left it in the chair. No, where was I studying last night? Think, Molly, think. Oh, wait, I have to go to the bathroom. Maybe it's in the toilet. Math book! Are you down there? <laughs> Just kidding. Although sometimes I'd like to um, flush all of my school books down the toilet. No, it's not on the desk. Wait, what's that on the table? I think it's my math book! Yep, it, it sure is. I'm just going to pick it up, put it in my backpack, and away I go. Molly, hurry up. The bus is here. Coming. Good morning, everyone. It's good to see you here, especially you, Molly. You're actually on time. <laughs> yeah, and I did my homework. Can you believe it? Oh, my gosh. What'd you do with Molly? Who are you? <laughs> Guys, today, mathlete tryouts are happening. I know all you mathletes would be amazing at that. Yeah, uh, more work and homework. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey, Molly. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, I sat next to you. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I see you sat next to me. S sitting in that chair is, is nice. Oh, really? Why? Um, uh... Is it because I, I'm sitting next to you? No, 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 that's not why. <laughs> it's because you're sitting under the heat duct, and so you stay nice and toasty. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay, class, please take out your math books. We're going to go over lesson number three. Math book, math book, math book. Wait, here it is. O-M-G. I accidentally brought my diary. Oh, my gosh. It talks all about my crush in it. Okay, I'll just put it back in my backpack and tell the teacher I forgot my math book. Did Molly just say that she brought her diary to school? <laughs> I bet there's some awesome secrets in there she doesn't want anyone to know. And that's exactly why I have to read it. <laughs> when her back's turned, I'll steal it right from her backpack. Mrs. Stevens, I forgot my math book. I'm sorry. I, I, I brought the wrong book with me, but I did my homework. It's okay, Molly. Do I have to have detention? No, you don't have to have detention. Really? I finally managed to not get detention. I'm super proud of myself right now. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Molly has a crush on Luke. <laughs> this is perfect. Dear Luke, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Molly. <laughs> Dear Molly, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to prank her so good. <laughs> hey, Molly, you could share math books with me if you want. Really? Wow. Uh, thanks, Luke. No problem. Okay, class, you guys can head off to English. I don't want you to be late. Yeah, that would be a tragedy. <laughs> Are you even paying attention? Hello? <sighs> Is she sleeping? Huh? What? Huh? Wake up. Huh? What? What I miss? Pretty much all of English class. Here, Luke wanted me to give you this letter. Really? Yeah, he said it's pretty urgent. Okay, thanks. No problem. Don't say I never did anything for you. Wow, a letter from Luke? I wonder what it says. Dear Molly, please meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. O-M-G. I think he's going to ask me to the school dance. Best day of my life. Okay, everyone. Class is dismissed. Wow, it's the end of the day. <laughs> Guess I need to meet Luke in the auditorium. Oh my god, there's Luke. I'm kind of nervous. He makes me feel like really shy because I really have a crush on him. Hey, Molly. Oh, hi, Luke. Hey, um, so, uh, you wanted to meet me here? Wait, what? No, you wanted to meet me here. Uh, no, Molly. Um, I got your letter. <laughs> I didn't write you a letter. You wrote me a letter. No, you wrote me a letter. Sarah gave it to me. Attention, Molly and Luke. What is going on? This is Sarah, and I want you to know that <laughs> I read your diary, Molly. Ah! What? <laughs> That's right. I'm going to read you guys a little bit of what Molly said. No, Luke, cover your ears. You don't want to hear this. What? Why? And why'd you write me that letter and now you're saying you didn't? I didn't write you the letter. I'm guessing that Sarah wrote you a letter from me. And then she wrote me a letter from you. Why would she do that? Oh, I can only take a guess. Okay, here you go. Dear Diary, Luke is so cute. Huh? You wrote this, Molly? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. This is really Molly Diary. It's not Daisy or baby Kira. I really like Luke. He's cute. He's adorable. He's smart. He is like an amazing football player. Love, Molly. Oh my gosh. I'm humiliated. <laughs> By the way, losers, I have locked you into the school for 24 hours. <laughs> Have fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm mortified. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe she stole my diary and read it out loud. Hey, Molly. Ah! What are you doing here? This is the girl's bathroom. Well, no one else is around, and, 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 and you ran away before I could even say anything. Wow, the girl's bathroom is much bigger than the boys. OMG. Get out of here. Um, wait, I just want to tell you something. I, I like you too. Wait, what? You do? Yup, I do. I think you're cute and amazing and smart and funny, even if you don't do your homework. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, and I'm kind of glad that I'm stuck in the school with you for 24 hours. We can have, like, a first date. This is a date? Yup. If you want it to be, that is. I totally do. Aww. Maybe we should go to the cafeteria and, well, eat pizza. I love that idea. <laughs> Let's eat all the pizza so that they don't have any for lunch tomorrow. And they'll be like, where's all the pizza? And we can secretly laugh inside because we'll know the answer and they won't. Wow. Complex, Luke. Okay, let's do it. I always thought you were kind of simple, but now seems you have a whole plot line going here. Ooh, this pizza's delicious. Mmm, it totally is. Molly, 
I hope that we can be the best of friends. Me too, Luke. Mm, this is really good. So, um, what do you want to do now? Uh, eat more pizza. <laughs> Duh. Molly, I never knew somebody that liked pizza as much as you. Well, we're going to eat it all so all the students wonder where it goes tomorrow. You better get eating, Luke. Um, yeah, I'm full already. <laughs> I can totally eat more pizza than you. <laughs> hey, want to go to the gym and play some basketball? Sounds like a great idea, except for I just ate all that pizza. I'll probably throw up. Nah, it'll be fun. Come on. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I forgot where the gym was for a minute. <laughs> now that pizza went to my brain. Okay. Let's see if I'm better at basketball than Luke. Um, you probably are. I'm really good at football, though. I'm not really great at football. Whoa! Good shot, Luke! I'm having so much fun right now. Me too. Um, Luke, um, we didn't think about something. What's that, Molly? Where are we gonna sleep? Um, well... Ugh. Well, I don't feel so good. Why? Oh, no. You ate too much pizza and then you jumped around playing basketball. Uh-oh. I don't want to throw up on our first date. That would ruin everything, wouldn't it? Um, you better run to the boys' bathroom. <laughs> I'll set up a sleeping area. Good idea, Molly. We definitely have to sleep here till the morning. Wait a minute. No students allowed. <gasps> Perfect! Yes! In the janitor's room, there's a bunk bed. I'll let Luke choose if he wants top bunk or bottom bunk. Are you feeling better, Luke? A little... I don't know why I ate all that pizza. Uh. <laughs> um, Luke, I was wondering, um, are you having fun on our date? I'm having a great time on our date. Yep. Well, I want to show you something. Uh, I'm not looking forward to sleeping on the bleachers. No, no, no. Look what I found in the janitor's room. Bunk beds! Do you want the top bunk or the bottom bunk, Luke? I'll take the bottom. Okay. Ugh, ugh. This ladder is kind of broken. I can't climb up the ladder. Uh, uh, uh. Here, Molly, I'll take the top bunk. Are you sure, Luke? Well, if I can climb up the ladder, sure. Well, Molly, this was a great first date. I agree. But you know we're probably going to get detention tomorrow for being locked inside the school. But it wasn't our fault. We'll just tell them Sarah did it. Yeah, if they believe me. I'm always getting detention. Plus, we ate all the pizza for school tomorrow. Yeah, we might get detention about that. But at least we'll be in detention together. And, uh, Molly? Yeah, Luke? Would you like to go to the school dance with me on Friday? Um, uh, uh... It's okay if you don't want to. I would love to! Great. This 24 hours stuck in the school with you has been the best 24 hours of my life. Ditto, Luke. Ditto. Daisy, Daisy, we're little babies again. I know, Molly, are we adorable? Oh, look, we only have one tooth. <laughs> I have a hiccup from drinking a bottle. <laughs> Molly, I heard that we have a new nanny today. A new nanny? I hope she's nice. She's not nice. She made me cry. Whee! Oh, my gosh. She sounds really mean. Are you, are you guys sure we have the same nanny? Yeah, we do have the same nanny as you, and she is really mean. Oh, no, Molly, I don't want to have a new nanny. Well, it looks like we're being babysat at the space station. Okay, this is just weird. Molly, where are you? Uh, Daisy, I'm feeling a little funny. <laughs> Molly, are you the crazy nanny? Um, no, not at all. <laughs> well, that didn't sound very promising. I will kill them all! <laughs> Where is everybody? Come on! Uh oh, there's Daisy! <laughs> oh. <laughs> all of you must die! Oh my gosh, Marley, you're crazy! I can't help it. I was made into the nanny. <laughs> 37 babies left to go. Hmm, where could they be? Hmm, 
Where are all these babies? They're very tricksy. You guys are going to have a permanent time out. <laughs> Here, baby, 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 baby. Here, baby, baby, baby. Okay, I can't go through there. Which means they have to be somewhere around here. They're hiding. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. OMG, I hear a baby. I hear one. Ah, oh, there's so many doors everywhere. How do I know where I'm going? <gasps> there's Daisy! <laughs> Molly, please! I'm your sister! Not anymore. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where'd everybody go? Hey! Did you guys escape? Well, Molly, if you snooze, you lose. Okay, where did they go? They had to have gone in one of these rooms. La 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 la, I'm gonna get all these babies. Don't sing while you're evil, Marley. It's just weird. Um, if you think I look evil, slam that like button. How could you not think she looks evil? She looks very psychotic right now. Hmm. Oh, babies, where are you? They're never gonna escape. Not ever. Ha ha ha. Ooh, I should put out a trap. Okay, I put down a trap. Hopefully one of these babies crawl on it. But I did see a baby go in here, so I'm after them! Where is everybody? This is making me very mad. Marty, you don't have to do this, please! Oh, yes, I do. Oh my gosh, I can't find anybody. Maybe you're terrible at being a nanny. But I mean, you are terrible because you're a crazy murderer, but you know. Okay, I am getting really mad. Ten seconds till all the vents are closed. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan to me. Oh, babies, where are you? Oh, look, this is where they escape. Good, they can. Okay, um... If anybody sees a baby, let me know because I don't see any anywhere. They're very good at being um, mischievous. Are they hiding in the air ducts or something? Hmm, I'm too big to fit in there. Are you in there? No, I don't see anybody in there. Oh, a bottle. I'm kind of thirsty. Here, baby babies. Here, baby babies. Oh my gosh, I just saw one. <laughs> what? Daisy's escaped? No! <laughs> See you later, Stinkle. How did she escape? Daisy! I'm gonna get you! Oh my gosh, they're all escaping. What? Did I just lose? You're the worst evil nanny ever. Well, truth is, I don't really like being an evil nanny. I did get two babies, though. Yeah, Molly, you're evil for it, too. Molly, payback is awful. Wait, what? Why am I in this hospital? Because, Molly, that's where I put you. <laughs> Daisy, is, is that you? <laughs> no, I'm the nanny. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh. Wait, who needs coffee to wake up? The doctor? Hey, we need your help. Okay, I need to find him some coffee. And, oh my God, there's Daisy. Ah! Daisy, don't you dare come near me. Daisy, don't you do it. What are you doing? Come here, little baby. Don't you want to hang out with the nanny? <laughs> Not particularly crazy. Oh my god, she's nuts. She's gone crazy. Now you know how I feel, Molly. When you were the nanny. Oh my gosh. Ah, there she is! Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. Ah, ah, ah. This is scarier than I thought. <laughs> Wait, where's this go? I don't know, but I feel sort of safe in the tunnels. Hey, can I look in these drawers? Where's some coffee? The guy needs coffee to wake up. Wait, did the tunnel close? Oh my god, I think the tunnel just closed. Wait, no, there it is. It's really dark, so I couldn't see anything. Is it close clear? Ah, no! Ah, ah! <laughs> Daisy, you psycho! Molly! Ah! Okay, I'm just staying in the tunnel forever. <laughs> I'm never coming out of the tunnel ever. 
Okay, which way do you guys see her? Do you see her? Ah! Uh. <laughs> I outsmarted her. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't! Ah! Molly, where are you? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where's all the other babies? Did she kill them all? Okay, I'm just gonna pretend I'm a patient. Okay, she's she doesn't know where I am. This is a good thing. Ah! She's coming to the wall, curtain thing! Ah! Okay, back into the vent. Back into the vent. <laughs> oh my gosh. She can't get you in here, so, you know, if you have to hide from the nanny, you can be like a little mouse. 100 seconds left until all the vents get closed. Ah! There she is again. She's just gonna wait outside this vent. That's so rude. Okay, I'm hiding, I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Okay, look, I can scream, guys. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what good that does. OMG! Maybe a close. Oh my god, Daisy! Please spare my life! I'm your sister! Don't you dare scream near me again! What? Why? Because it paralyzes me! Really? Oh wow, well, it's good to know. Thanks! Oh my gosh, where's all the other babies? They're hiding in vents, I bet. Oh my gosh, let me out, let me out, let me out! Wait, there's the babies! I see babies over there, they're hiding. Okay, I'm hiding here too, that seems like a good spot. Nope! Hey, Molly, you told me, you told the nanny where I was. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's a key. Oh, there's a key. Where's this go? Ah! Daisy! Ah! Oh, man, are you kidding me, Daisy? <laughs> See you later, Molly. Okay, that was insane. All right, I'm going to watch Daisy get everyone else because she's just mean like that. Look at her. She's getting all the babies! <laughs> I think Daisy's a way better nanny than me. She's psycho! What's she doing now? Oh, she's rattling her baby bottle so that um everybody comes to her. <laughs> I'm the best nanny ever! Or the worst one since you like killed everybody! I did! I really did! <laughs> Molly! Neither one of us is the nanny this time! Oh, thank goodness. I was a little tired of being evil. Come on, Daisy. Let's go this way. Molly, I don't, I don't know if you know the way. I mean, you were a terrible nanny. Yeah, but I'm a pretty good baby. Wah! Wah! Uh -huh, see? Molly, just try to find the keys as fast as you can. I'm trying. I gotta stay away from that creepy nanny, though. Sector D. Wow, this place is huge. Whoa. Okay, that just goes back out into the hallway. Good to know. All right, I'm gonna go into this room at the end. See if I can, um... Oh, look, I found some uranium. I don't know what that's gonna do, but... I'm about to find out. Molly, you've never really been good in science class. Uh, maybe you shouldn't find out. I'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? You can blow us all up! Oh, yeah, well, there's that. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Oh, my God! Okay, it's not the nanny. It's just a bush, but that's the nanny! Wah! Okay, I lost already. Oopsie. <laughs> well, I'm still in the game, um, and I'm doing okay. I, I mean, the nanny hasn't gotten me yet. Well, that's probably a good thing, Daisy. I mean, when the nanny gets you, it's terrifying. Not even gonna lie. Molly, I put the uranium in. Well, I'm glad that my, um, my... My mission to get the ura uranium did something. Look what I did, Molly! Now I can get the key card almost. Great job, Daisy! Keep going! I could get it to level three. OMG, Daisy is doing amazing. Wait, there's a creepy nanny. Be careful, Daisy! I see you, Molly, I see you! You've got a key card to your right, you missed it! Oh my gosh, um, Daisy, this is bad. The nanny's about to get you. Nope, I went into the I went into the vent. She can't get me. Be careful, she's probably waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew it. She's evil. She got me good. I know, Marty, you're gonna be in a permanent timeout. Daisy, be careful. I'm gonna like just gonna look around for you. Get that key card, Daisy! She's right behind you, Daisy! She's right behind you! Thanks for the update, Molly. It's good to have you on my back. Guarding my back, I mean. Whoa, I just see a main key card. 
Do you see? I see the thing for the main key card. I know. I see it too, Molly. Yes. OMG. Okay. There's a vent there if you need to escape. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna like try to see if I can see her. I don't. Yeah, I don't see her anywhere, Daisy. I'm like a second set of eyes for my sister right now. She's got the main key card though. Now she just needs a crowbar. You got this, Daisy. Guys, if you believe in Daisy, slam that like button. I think she can do it. She's got to find the crowbar, and I don't know where she should look for it. Um, no, Daisy, I don't think it's in there. I wish I could just be like a ghost and like go around without getting killed and find everything to help my sister right now. Even though I'm annoying sometimes. That's what you say anyway. I don't think I'm annoying at all. Yeah, you're an annoying sister. Trust me. Molly! But I don't want the nanny to get you, of course. Okay, nope. Wait, wait, wait. Was that a crowbar? No, okay, no. No, no. Molly, you're confusing me. I only have like less than two minutes. OMG. Be careful, Daisy. The vents are going to close. Well, there's a blue key. Oh, my God, Daisy. She's behind you. Molly. Oh, my gosh. Daisy, you almost won. Yeah, but then I did it and she got me. Did you see me crying? Totally. Cry, baby. Molly, the nanny got me. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye. from my baby sister baby Kira from her daycare and she said that there's a substitute teacher today and her substitute teacher is crazy and she called me to pick her up so guys I'm gonna go find my baby sister and see what's going on oh my gosh is that the substitute OMG she looks like evil or something all right let me open the gate and see if I can find baby Kira why is my face on the board that's creepy get back here kids you can't ever leave <laughs> Whoa, evil substitute. Baby Kira, is, is that you? <laughs> Baby Kira, it's okay. It's your big sister, Molly. I don't like that you, Molly. She's crazy. I'm so happy to see you. Why are you so tall? Oh, no, I think I had a growth spurt. Why can't I have a growth spurt? My little baby sister is as tall as I am, and she's a toddler. Maybe that's just the daycare. Ah, uh, no, but we have to escape this day crazy. Oh, she looks kind of crazy. Come on, follow me. I know exactly how to get out of here. Well, I think. Now, don't be afraid. This is an obby that she's created, so you can never leave this daycare. But we're going to get out of here, baby Kira. I can get eyes. I can be good at Abby's. I like Daisy. What? You're like Daisy? No, you're like me. I'm, I'm good at Abby's too. I I up here, Molly. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I want my mommy. <laughs> Ow, you kind of hit me, baby Kara. I know you didn't mean to, but be careful when you're punching open those vents. Sorry. I just miss mom. Don't worry. You'll see mom soon enough. Trust me. If it's the last thing I do, we're going to get away from this crazy lady. What are you doing, baby Kara? I can hide because what happens if she comes back? Oh, yeah. She's coming. Oh, my gosh. We're going to die. I'm going to die. Ah! What an evil monster. All right. Let's just go over here and see if we can escape really fast. Molly, you have to push your button in order to escape and she's going to get you. No, she won't get me. Oh, she Ooh, ah! That lady's face is creepy. I didn't even push the button. She's she's on the phone. Who are you calling? She called pizza delivery. What? She's calling pizza delivery? Oh, ha, ha, you didn't get me, crazy lady. Wait, how do I get out of here? Ah! Okay, um, so I pushed the button, and but I have no idea where it goes. Ah, where am I? Right there I am. It says push that button. What is it? Open this door, maybe? That is so tricksy. I can't figure it out. What are all these things on the wall? What is going on? I don't know how to get out of here. Come on, Molly. We got escape. I know we got to escape. I just don't know how. You see that door and that door. Where's the other door? Where's the other door? Where's the door? Oh, wait. That door finally opened. Must be I didn't press the button enough or something. That was weird. Baby Kira, there you are. Build your way up. Okay, let me reset the blacks. Do you really need my help getting out of here, baby Kira? You're you're way ahead of me. I need your moral support. My moral support. <laughs> my toddler little baby sister just said moral support. That's funny. It's stuck there, though. I don't need this last one, do I? Um, no, 
I'm gonna just carry this forever. You can't go through there, put, put the block down. Oh my gosh, there's so much building we have to do. Okay, now we have to go up here. I'm gonna take this block and go up into the vent because she's locked all the doors. This crazy psycho! Mommy, you blocked the bad. I know my blocks are bad, I know. It doesn't really matter though, baby Kara, as long as we can get out of here. Can we get ice cream? Of course we can get ice cream. I'd love to get ice cream. Wait, do you have any allowance? Nah, it's your real. You have allowance. Oh yeah, Um, I might have some allowance. I'll have to check. But right now, oh my gosh, I dropped that block. OMG. Oh, my blocks fell over. Um, okay, so that didn't work exactly as I thought it was going to. How about like right here? Do you guys think that'll work? I hope so. Yes, it worked. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, baby Karen, don't be afraid. We're just in an air duct. Everything's gonna be fine. I killed the dog. Oh, don't worry. It's not dark down here. It looked like I was like head punching that thing. That was crazy. All right, obviously you can't go through the door here unless you find a key or you gotta turn a vent or something. I don't know. What's this thing do? Oh, you can't, you can't do anything there. Hmm. Oh, we gotta jump up here, baby Kara. Come on. You're smaller than me. Yeah, well, Daisy doesn't seem to think so. She thinks I'm an ignoramus. There's so many valves. What do they all do? I guess they're just for show because they're not on or anything. All right, I think we have to go up here, baby Kara, and then climb up these these pipes or something. Don't really know. You're not helping, Molly. I'm trying to help. Okay, maybe baby Kara can figure it out because I can't. Okay, I know we gotta go here. I this way, Molly, up this way. She said ice cream, now it's distracting me. Okay, I got it, baby Kara. I got it, Molly. Yeah, okay, you figured it out before me. You're so smart. You're like a baby genius. Oh, be careful, this is electrified. This lady really is psycho. All right, where now are we gonna go? Cause we gotta keep going around. Okay, we gotta turn these off, apparently. <laughs> Baby Kara kicks them. Ah, oh, wait, no, that didn't turn those off. Be careful, if you die, you gotta do it all over again. Um, da -da -da -dum -dum -dum. I don't know where I'm going. I think we'll go this way, open the door. Oh yeah, I think you're right, I think it did open the door. Did we go in this door yet? I don't think we did. It's a blue door. No guys, look, we haven't gone in this one yet. Ew. Oh my gosh, I think it's the janitor and he looks just as evil as a- Ah, baby Kira, why are you pushing me into the sewer water? I scared. Okay, yeah, but you don't need to drown us both in the sewer water, yuck. All right, this guy looks like her brother or something, Ben the janitor. Ben the janitor looks evil. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go right now. Oh, I've got to take him down. That's what I got to do. Oh boy, oh boy, can you get up here? No, ew, he's letting out farts or something. <laughs> I'm just standing up here getting him. Oh, he's crying. Oh, and then he exploded. Come on, baby Kira, you got this. I know, I okay. Okay, can you believe how gigantic baby Kira is in this game right now? Oh, it's the classroom. It looks like we didn't need like these different letters or whatever. Oh, look, baby Kira. This is how you're gonna learn your uh, ABCs really quick if you wanna escape. <laughs> I think we have to put him up here on the board. See, B. B as in ball. B as in ball. Very good. And then this one's A. Where do you see an A? Over there. That's right, over here. Okay, so now we're gonna stick up the letter A. Boink. Okay, we gotta find letter C. Did you find it? I found it, right? You did find it. There's letter C. Okay, now let's take letter C over to the C pin board. And boink. There we go, it opened the door. Awesome. Something tells me that that lady's gonna be after us soon enough. We better get up here on these pipes so that she can't catch us. Oh yeah, there's an air duct up here. Come on, baby Kira. I can't, I can't wait for me, I'll be alone. Well. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you alone, not ever. You're my baby sister, I'm gonna look after you. Okay, I kicked that one. <laughs> you punched that one. Something looks and smells gross. She farts a lot. She farts a lot and there she is. Oh my gosh, I've got to push another button. I don't know how I'm going to do this without her catching me. Come on, baby Kira, let's go. Um, okay, okay, there's an arrow. Apparently we have to go up through here. Baby Kira, did you make it? You rude little, uh, well, I oughta. There's baby Kira, okay, she's behind her. Ha ha ha, my move. Sorry, I didn't mean to almost get you. We do we trap her in there? Oh, that's kind of funny. All right, now what are we going to do? Go through this door or something? Oh, no, she's back. Back again. <laughs> yes, she's back. Oh, man. What did we do wrong? I'm confused. On the pipe, Molly. Oh, yeah, let's get on the pipe. But then where do we go? Because she can get us. 
Good thing my baby sister knows what we're doing. Oh, another vent. So we just tricked her into following us there. And now we're going to go up into this vent. See you later. <laughs> my, I'm still afraid of the dark. I know you're still afraid of the dark. It's okay. All right, let's go. Man, there's a lot of like going into air ducts in this game. Speaking of air ducts, look at this, Abby. Boing, boing, whoa. Boing, boing. Whee! Don't skip any of the blocks or you'll fall to your death. That's basically how these go. Holy guacamole, holy guacamole, holy guacamole, flying in the air. Oh my god, I died. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's try that again. Try not to die. Oh my gosh, I keep dying. Okay, maybe I'll go over onto this one and then ah, I died anyway. Hey, you stinky at Abby's. Well, I'm not stinky at Abby's. What you smell is your own diaper. Yeah, that's it. I potty trained now. Yeah, you're sort of potty trained. Sort of potty trained. <laughs> whoa, 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 no! Come on, my skate catch up to us. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Whoa, I think you have to jump at right the right time and I apparently don't know what the right time is. Cause I stink at this game, I stink at this game. I'm just gonna hurry. Oh, hurrying worked. Okay, cool. Next time I'll remember, just hurry. Maybe Kara is like jumping on top of me. All right, I see a button we have to push. This Abby loves its buttons. Pushing all the buttons. Why is it like that buttons? I don't know, that's how I say buttons. Buttons. You said bye. Oh, <laughs> very mature baby Kara. Okay, I think we jumped down here. Whee! Baby Kira is already doing better than me. And she's a preschooler. Oh, it's like a big jump. How are we gonna make it up there? Believe in yourself. I didn't I didn't believe hard enough. <laughs> One, two. Buckle my shoe. Okay, you're watching too much uh YouTube Coco Melon. Hiya! Okay, let's go, baby Kira. I believe like this is the exit. I think, maybe, I hope. I come in my I come in. Um, what's this say? Use metal planks to go across. Oh, okay. No problemo. Watch this. I bet Daisy taught you this. Ah! <laughs> Don't walk off the edge. That's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Maybe I should have called Daisy to rescue me. What? No! You shouldn't call Daisy to rescue you. I'm your best sister ever. You think of getting out of here. Well, we're getting out of here so far, aren't we? Oh my gosh, everybody's a critic. You okay, baby Carrie? You got it? A super heavy buy, okay. Okay, good. We need a cupcake and an ice cream after all this work. Never thought. Oh no. I lost my plank. I lost my plank! Uh-uh, you're in trouble now. Ugh, <sighs> this is where Daisy's plan doesn't work so good. Okay, let's do, let's try to build this again because obviously I stunk the first time around. You have to be lined up exactly right or uh-oh, down you go. Wait, I think we're supposed to put it over here. What more, Mari? You can do it. Okay, this is where I messed up before. Phew, I did it. Congratulations to me. And then I died. <laughs> Uh-oh. Every two of come up back right here. Yeah, unless I came back right here. Walk across right here, baby Kara. You're gonna die. Okay. Oh, this is a speed run. Oh, man. Warning. 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 This is a speed run. And I die every time because I can't turn in time. Like, how am I supposed to be able to see where I'm going? Wee. That time I did. Congratulations. You only died again. Oh, OMG, this is harder than it looks, peoples. Did I make it? Oh, good. That's good news. Okay, use the fans to go up, up, up. Okay, I bet these are gonna have lasers in it. Just a guess. No, no lasers this time. Oh, that's good news. Wait, I forgot about baby Kira. Are you okay? Okay, there she is. <laughs> Sorry, baby Kira. You forgot about me, but I'm your sister. Ow, don't punch me over it. Holy guacamole. I didn't mean to, I was trying to punch the fan. Uh-oh. That's a giant milk. I told you I want one. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Glug, 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 glug. Bah! Ew, my, that gross. Ooh, speed run. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm still speed running. We're out of here, baby Kara. That milk gave me so much energy. Whoa. Oh no! Ah, now I've got to drink the milk all over again, but I don't mind because it's delicious. I forgot what it was like to drink from a bottle. Mm, look at this close up. Glug, 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 glug. Ah, that's good stuff. Whoa! All right, guys, let's try to do better this time. And by us, I mean me. 
<laughs> Why are you laughing over laughing? I'm not laughing over nothing. I'm laughing over myself because I am a comedian and super funny, I think. Oh my gosh, I almost died there again. Yes! Oh my god, do I die, boo? What? No, I don't. How did you do it, Dinky, too? Ooh, the exit! Baby Kira, I did it! I rescued you from this evil daycare! Okay, but where is she gonna be? I don't know. She's nowhere. Oh boy, yes she is. Why is she here? And why don't I have a way to protect us? Robo Betty 9000. Okay, Robo Betty. Time for you to go down. My, she can shoot back at you. Be careful. Holy guacamole. That is evil. Ah, she's right after us. Oh man, when she sends out those like giant waves of scary. Yeah, that's just scary. Oh my gosh. Ah! I'm trying not to like get touched by them, but I can't see where she's going. What's she doing for her head? Ah, she's throwing things at me. Okay, she's getting really mad now. Oh, she killed me! All right, I'm gonna stay back here and see if I can get her from here. Okay, she might just corner me. She's an evil one. Baby Kira, did you escape? I am almost escaping, yeah. Okay, Baby Kira, I don't think you needed me to rescue you. Whoa, I tried to jump. I didn't. Whoops. You evil monster. Ah! Okay, I didn't jump again that time. I am stinking and killing this lady. Take down the robot! Ha <laughs> ha! I beat her that time, though. Okay, now's the time to start aiming at her and firing. Oh my gosh, is she ever gonna explode or what? This lady is psycho. I'm trying to get away from her, but I can't. She just keeps going and going and going and going and going. Oh, guys, I've almost taken her down. Almost, guys, almost! Run! <laughs> Evil buddy. Oh, it killed me at the last minute! No fear! Okay, guys, this is gonna be the time I do it, I think. I hope. Okay, she's trying to hit me with that thing. And then she tries to hit you with this thing. And then you've gotta hurry up and hit her with your thing. It's just, it's just like, it's evil. She's evil. Stay away from Robot Betty. Okay, I'm just, I'm hitting her right now. I'm like, whatever, we're not playing no more. You're going down, lady. You're going down, down, down. Look at her, she spins around too. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of getting nervous right now. Where's she going? Did she jump outside or something? That was weird. Here comes that giant wave. Guys, I'm going to take her down on this round right here. Yes, I took her down. Oh, I rescued my baby sister. Well, she sort of rescued herself. Come on, into the monster truck. I just got the winner's badge. I'm so excited about that right now. Here goes baby Kira. Oh, we're getting out of here. We're going to go get an ice cream. I rescued her from that evil daycare lady. No more substitutes. That's all I have to say. OMG, we made it. We made it. Breaking news. Molly has successfully escaped Betty's nursery. Yes. This is awesome. Thanks, Molly. You're the best big sister ever. Aw. Love you, baby Kira. I love you and all the Star Squad fans. Me too. Star Squad fans are amazing. All right, guys. We'll see you in our next video. Say bye, baby Kira. Bye, baby Kira. No, I meant say bye to the fans. Bye, bye to the fans. Yeah, exactly. Bye, guys. channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys yeah dizzy i was trying to tell them we're playing a new game i know but i also wanted to tell them to su subscribe <laughs> today we're playing a brand new babysitter game new story and new monster wait what there's a monster dizzy there's always a monster in these story games come on get with the program here yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just trying to pretend like, you know, what? A monster? No way. Not in a Roblox story game. Yeah, never in a Roblox story game. So come on, guys. Let's check out this new um babysitter story. Hi, kids. I'm Riley, your new babysitter. Ah, Riley, I'm a poop on my diaper. Molly, you're potty train. Good grief. Your parents went on vacation for a few days, so I'll be taking care of you guys. Oh my gosh, why is that little girl hitting me with a bat? <laughs> We're the naughtiest kids you could ever babysit. I set up a scavenger hunt so you guys can explore the house and stuff. Doesn't that sound fun? Like, more fun than hitting me with a baseball bat? Find the lollipops hidden throughout the house, okay? All right, fine. I'll go find some lollipops. Oh, I found a lollipop. Lady, can I eat these when I find them? Lady, don't eat them. You have to share with everybody. I'm not sharing. Pfft, sharing? Who does that? 
Obviously, you're still a baby if you don't know how to shale, Molly. All right, I found so many lollipops, guys. Oh, I think I'm going to find the last one. I did. Did anybody else even look? Great job, everyone. You found them all. You mean me. I found them all. Hey, I found one, too. This house is awesome. Hey, who's this guy? He's um her boyfriend, I think. What's in here? Do you have any snacks? I'm hungry. <gasps> cookies! I just found the cookies. I just found the cookies. What do you guys want to eat? Oh, we weren't already supposed to eat? Because <laughs> I just ate some cookies. Okay, pizza for sure. I love pizza. Pizza's my favorite. Pizza's my favorite. Look at all these presents. Did you guys not have Christmas yet? Because, um... I can take all these toys off your hands if you wanted. Okay, guys, so everyone voted, and it looks like pizza won the vote. Yes, we're having pizza. Molly, stop singing. It's driving me crazy. Be quiet, you baby. Oh, she's being mean to me, Riley. All right, guys, here, eat your pizza and try to behave. That'll be easier said than done when it comes to Molly. Mmm. This pizza was delicious. Thanks. Can we play now, Riley? Uh, Molly, I don't think that's a boyfriend. I think that's just like a teacher's helper or something. Oh, I don't know. I think that's the guy who created the game, but... Sure, head into the play playroom and we can get started. What games are we going to play, huh? Ooh, there's slides. That looks like so much fun. So this game is called The Floor is Lava. Don't touch the ground and let's see who can win. Ready, guys? No, there's nothing to get on top of. What are we going to avoid the lava from? Go. I'm going to stand on this piece of carpet over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, make room for me. <laughs> I don't want to die. Oh, my gosh. The floor actually turned to lava? I can't believe that that's not an insurance issue. Oh, boy, Molly. Oh, one of the kids died. Seriously? Ooh. This is not good. Wait, I just died. That's because you weren't paying attention, Molly. Uh, guys, I have no Robux. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to get some Robux, but I'm all good now. Molly, look, the only other player that survived is Wednesday Adams. Wait, what? Yep, Molly, it's true, Wednesday Adams. Holy guacamole, her name is right there. I don't know if it's the official Wednesday, but, you know, I can't believe we're playing this Roblox game with Wednesday. That's so amazing. Wednesday, get over here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Maddie, she's an expert when it comes to lava. Whoa, she almost wasn't an expert right there. <laughs> she caught her shoes on fire even. Woohoo! I'm doing good this time because I don't want to spend any more Robux. OMG, look at all the lava. Oh, wait, is the lava going to be higher this time? I think so, Molly. That's why they gave us blocks like this. Whoa! This is a way for them to get some um, extra money, I think, or something. Because you have to spend Robux when you die. Very tricksy of them. All right, I don't want to play Floor is Lava anymore. Daisy, hurry, 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 Daisy. Come on, Wednesday. Oh, my gosh, we made it. Ha, <laughs> ha, Riley. You can't get rid of us that quickly. Molly, it's not over yet. Oh, my gosh. This Floor of Lava game is getting kind of serious, don't you think, Riley? Oh, you kids are just fine. Great job, though. Holy guacamole. I don't want to play that again, Riley. That was scary. I think it was awesome. What are you talking about, Time? You didn't even play the game. Can we play again? What? No, wait. Is your name Frantic Whale or is your name Wednesday? She's thinking about becoming Wednesday Adams. Come on, guys. It's getting late. I don't think we should play that game again. But if you go to sleep now, we can play again tomorrow. Yeah, Wednesday, you would want to play The Floor is Lava. <laughs> Us sort of normal people, well, we would not want to play Floor is Lava because we don't want to die. Head to the bedroom. Okay. I'm going to sleep on the purple bed because I love that color so much. I can't get on the top bunk, though. That's where I always sleep. I can't sleep on the bottom bunk. It's too weird. This is where Daisy sleeps. Good night. Uh, good night. He looks like he's going to the beach or something. Now I kind of want to have a dream about the beach. Shh. <laughs> Hey, did anyone hear that? Why did you wake me up? I was sleeping so good, Daisy. Sylvia, I heard a weird noise. Oh, no. Here comes the part of the story where the monster tries to kill us all. Maybe it was just Riley. Um, I hope. It's the evil snowman. Ah! An evil snowman? Holy guacamole. Ah! Why is he chasing me? Because, uh, Molly, he's evil. Maybe you could take out your bat. No, I'm just going to keep running and hopefully he doesn't catch me. Run, run as fast as you can. The snowman man can't get me. He's after you, Daisy. He's got something against my sister. Hey, get away from my sister. You're starting to really annoy me there, snowman man. 
Oh man, I totally knocked him over the head. <laughs> I should get some hot water. Yeah, that's what I should do. Should get some hot water and, and melt ya. What do you think about that? Crazy, creepy snowman guy. All right, it says just survive the evil snowman. Wow, he is evil. He looks like Elsa on a really bad day. <laughs> oh boy, Molly, save your jokes for another time. We're trying to escape this no guy, not give him bad jokes so we can throw tomatoes at us. Throw tomatoes at us? Yeah, never mind, Molly. Holy guacamole! My health is at half percent. If somebody's going down, it's gonna be you, Mr. Snowman. Ah, you're making me mad right now. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Ugh. Wait, where'd he go? Oh my god, I'm about to die. I better eat some pizza. That'll make it better. What was all that noise? I told you guys to go to bed. Aw, oh, yeah, you didn't men mention the haunted snowman guy. Thank goodness you're here. We saw a monster. We really did. He's not even lying. Yeah, an evil snowman. It was attacking us. What? An evil snowman? Oh, please. Get back to bed now or else we won't play tomorrow. All right, fine. Don't believe us. But when I die, my mom's going to be really mad. Well, that was mean, wasn't it? Yeah, this Riley babysitter, she's not the best babysitter in the world. Whatever, guys. Let's just go to bed. Or else Riley won't let us play. All right, kids. Come on down for breakfast. Come on. All right, fine. You know I love breakfast. But is that evil snowman going to be there? Molly, I doubt it. You know they only come out at night. What would you guys like to eat today? How about breakfast pizza? Molly, you love pizza. Uh, well, we only have four options, and a squid sandwich is not my favorite idea. Yeah, a squid sandwich for breakfast? Ew. Ew, that sounds gross. I know, right, Wednesday? Oh, yeah, breakfast pizza! Woohoo! My favorite. I like when it has, like, um, eggs on it, bacon, garlic. I wonder if she made it like Mom does. I don't know. Let me try it. Mmm. It's pretty good. Um, I'm lactose intolerant. I can't eat this. Oh, man, Wednesday, you're going to be very hungry if you can't eat breakfast. Come on, guys, let's play hide and seek. Go into the playroom so we can start. Is this one of those games if we don't hide right and you find us, we die or whatever? Because um, the floor is lava. was kind of creepy. What? I got five coins? Awesome! Don't know what I can use those for, but, you know, whatever. I'll seek first so you guys go hide. Um, okay. Already tested this out earlier, guys. If I can just... Molly, let's go hide upstairs. We don't have to hide in this room. No, I'm going to hide here, I think. I I don't know. I, I was able to climb up here before. I can't seem to climb up this thing. Wait, wait, wait. Molly, come on. You're going to get caught. Never. Oh, come on. I could climb up here before. I know it. Molly, just come on. Whoa, look. A key. Wait, I'm, I missed out on a secret key? Yes, get up here, Molly. This, this must unlock the basement door. OMG! Where's. What do we do if we go to the basement? Get killed by the monster, that's what. I think we should unlock the door. What? No, Tom, that's a bad idea. Tom. Oh my gosh. Okay, Tom, whatever. Who's got the key, Wednesday? Do you have it? No, Tom has it. Alright, Tom, unlock the door. I think this is a bad idea, though. We should hide down here. The babysitter will never think to look for us down here. Oh, look! There's a Santa hat. But I can't put it on. I wish I could, though. Whoa, Molly, this looks like a great place to hide. I don't know, it's kind of giving me the creeps. And why is there this huge, like, safe here? I don't think we're supposed to be down here. I want to know what's behind this huge door. Of course you do, troublemaker. Let's check it out, guys. Come on. We're probably going to need a stick of dynamite to open this thing. How are we going to open it? Well, we opened it, Molly. Uh, this looks kind of sketchy. This kind of looks like a secret lair. Oh, um, gee, is that the evil snowman? What's he doing here? I don't know, Wednesday, but holy guacamole. He Ooh. looks evil. Wait, Wednesday? Did you just spontaneously combust? Ah! Is, is that the evil snowman? Wait, is she talking after she's dead? Is she a ghost? Uh, Molly, she died and she's still talking. That's so like Wednesday. I think we're in the monster's secret lair. We need to go tell Riley. Uh, Tom, I just want to let you know that Riley is the monster. Wait, what? No, she's not. She might be. What the? What the? Ah! Molly, where, where were we? We fell down a hole and, 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 oh boy, there's a lot of skulls down here. This is not good. I told you we shouldn't come down into the basement. 
I know. I had no clue we were going to fall through a trap door, though. Well, Tom, you should listen to me more often. I'm always right, you know. Yeah, always right, I bet. Let's see if this tunnel has an exit. Let's move before we end up like them. Yeah, I don't want to end up like them. We'll follow you, Tom. Not that you've been the best, but... Oh, no! I can't even talk. I'm so scared. Oh, my gosh! Don't give up on me now, warriors. Charge! Okay. Well, I'm about to die. There goes more of my Roblox. Uh, yep. I told you guys. I was definitely gonna die. 45 Robux! Holy guacamoles! See, I told you guys we're warriors. Well, Daisy, you are. Now let's keep moving. Hey, I'm a warrior. I had lots of Robux, so that makes me a warrior, right? What are you doing, Daisy? Eating my pizza, Molly. I'm starving. Fighting monsters is a lot of work. Looks like these planks are covering the, the, the way out. Wow, he is so smart, isn't he? Uh, yeah, okay, Molly. Let's try to break them off. All right, trusty bat, here goes nothing. Hey, look, it worked. That was probably more my unicorn sword. Looks like the only way out is over there. Well, Molly, let's get moving. Oh, no, an Abby. There goes 45 more of my Robux. We have to cross the moving stones first. Be careful, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try, but no promises. Moving stones. Okay, I don't really see where they're moving. Oh, uh, yes, they are, Molly. Oh, so far, so good. I don't want to die, not today. Yes! <laughs> you didn't get my Robux this time, Tom. Molly, where's Wednesday? I told you she died. That was just her ghost talking to us. Oh, that's so sad. I'm glad you two made it. Now let's keep moving. No, but what about Wednesday? We can't leave her ghost down here. Uh, Molly, you can't really move her ghost anywhere else. So I guess she's stuck underground forever. Whoa, where are we? It looks like we're in some kind of facility is that riley yeah who is that up there i told you she was gonna be evil i knew it kids is that you i've been looking everywhere for you guys uh-huh i bet you have riley thank goodness we found you we saw the store in the basement and 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 we found the monster's lair hold up how'd you get down here riley yeah riley good question so you guys saw everything huh uh, yeah, we pretty much knew that you were the one that was to blame the entire time. This was my secret lair, and you guys weren't supposed to see that. Uh-oh, Molly, I hope you have a lot of Robux left. Now I have to get rid of you guys. <laughs> Sorry about this, kids. What? You're not going to just get rid of us like that. No, 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 no. What's that gas filling up? Oh, sorry, I, uh, farted. No, 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 that's actual gas. We have to get through the vent, guys. It's your only hope. How am I going to get way up there? Come on, hurry. Um, Daisy, I, I don't know how we're going to get up there. Wait, what's this? Let's take a little, uh, I don't know what that is. But we have to fight for Tom. Tom, come on. You know you need us to fight for you. <coughs> Just promise me <coughs> that, that, that you'll keep fighting. Um, yeah, but really what I want to do is go get a donut. I'm starving. Wait, maybe can I go back down here? Oh my gosh, we can't even leave. Molly, hurry! Hurry, Molly, you're gonna die! Oh my god, Molly, you just died. Ooh. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, I just died! Molly, you spent all your money this week on Robux. Oh, um, gee, where are we, Daisy? Looks like some sort of control panel. Maybe if we click a few buttons, it'll open the door. All right, let's go see if we can... You start on that side, I'll start on this side. Uh, Molly! I accidentally pushed the self-destruct countdown. What? Oh, my God. Hurry. We have to get out of here. Wait, which way do we go? Um, I guess this way. Um, Daisy? Things are looking a little bit bad for us right now. <laughs> this is your last chance to obey. Hey, listen, drooly green mouth ooze. You'll pay for what you did to Tom. Uh, Molly, I think she's part zombie. Look at that gross drool. Well, you defeat me if you want to be free. No problem, evil. Uh, yeah, she's running right at me, Daisy. I'm kind of afraid right now. Ah, she's shooting like, like lava or something. Um, yeah, Daisy, jump up on that before you die. What is that? Looks like she went to the bathroom. Ew. I'm about to take out your kneecaps. Boom, 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 boom. All right, guys, I'm smacking her with all I got. Here she comes back with the lava. 
And, um, holy guacamole, Daisy. Jump up! Jump up! Molly, I see it. I see it. All right, wait for it. Wait for it. And get her! Come on, Molly. You take out that leg. I'll take out this one. I feel so sad for Wednesday and for Tom. Molly, run! Whoa, Daisy's good at defeating bosses. Look at her. Riley, you're getting one star. Your babysitting service stinks. Smackle, smackle. Okay, now I'm right in the front. Time to take this evil babysitter down. Why are you drooling, Riley? What's wrong with you? I think she might be rabid. <laughs> OMG, she looks angry. She's gonna be about a lot angrier when we take her down. Oh, we've got one more round, Molly. Try not to die. I'm on. No promises. Molly, come on. It's time to take her down. We can do Ooh. this. Goodbye, Riley. <laughs> Wait, how come she looks totally normal? Oh. All right, guys, you defeated me. I'm sorry for what I did to all of you. Too bad you're going to the police and you're going to live in jail forever. We all trusted you and you tried to kill us, you evil monster babysitter. I know, guys, and I'm sorry, but please don't leave me here to die. Well, I'm going to bring Riley, but then I'm going to give her right over to the police. Yeah, I agree. We can't be responsible for her dying here, but she belongs in jail. You do the crime, you do the time. Fine. I guess you can come with us, Riley, but don't don't try any uh, monkey business. We're turning you into the police. Where, where are we now? Oh, no. Oh, no. We shouldn't have trusted her. Did you really think I would let you kids out of here alive? <laughs> Ah, oh, you trusted me again. You're fools. No, we trusted you again. Please don't do this. <laughs> I'm not going to live my life in jail. Say goodbye to the world. <laughs> Molly, no. So I think it's probably safe to say that, um, we, well, we earned a hundred coins, but, um, I think we got the bad ending. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Molly, we definitely got the bad ending. <laughs> well, that was really fun. Oh, wait a minute. Now I've got this, like, thing following me around that looks like a, a, a flu bug or something. Yeah, me too, Molly. Maybe because we got the bad ending. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching today. We hope you liked this video, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye! <laughs>
Oh, you're totally welcome to stay here. Ella and Tommy, my name is Daisy, and I'm the most awesome sister in the world, aren't I, Molly? Uh, well, uh... Molly, say I'm awesome! I don't know, we don't want to get in the middle of your fight or anything. There's no fight because Molly's going to say I'm awesome. Uh, you're better. Molly, quit mumbling it under your breath. Uh, be better. Molly! Okay, you're awesome! All right, now we have to focus on Ella and Tommy. We have to find them a home. But first, we need to give them a bath. P.U. Come on, twins. Yeah, come on. Both of you, well, you can take turns. First, Ella, come in. You can take a shower and you could um put on some new clothes. I will go see if I can find something from my closet that I used to like have when I was a kid. Don't forget to wash your hair, okay? I don't think I've washed my hair in like a year. Oh, ew. Well... There's shampoo in there and also conditioner. Make sure you use both, okay, Ella? Okay, Molly, thanks for your help. No problem. Now I should call the adoption center and see if there's any eligible parents that want to adopt these twins. Hello, Brookhaven Adoption Center. How can I help you? Hi, uh, my name is Molly. I live at Brookhaven Lane, and I found two twins eating out of the dumpster. What? Are you serious? Where are they? Well, they're at my house right now, and they can stay here until you find them parents, okay? Just let me know if you have any available parents that would be good for them. Okay, well, thank you so much for letting us know. All right, no problem. Bye. Um, this outfit is super cool, but it should be cooler. Wait, what? Ella, why does your face look like that? No reason. It just does, okay? All right, Tommy, time for you to go to take a shower. Don't forget to wash your hair, okay? I'll think about it. Whoa, attitude all of a sudden. Maddie, can I see you over here for a minute? Sure, what's up? I'm sort of getting a bad feeling about Tommy and Ella. What? Why would you say that? They're just little kids. Why are you, why are you looking at them like that? I don't trust her, that's why. why are you, they're just little kids and they need, they need a place to live. But my gut is telling me something is very strange about them. Oh, nonsense, Daisy. Come on, let's watch some TV. Fine, Molly, but I'm telling you, you never listen. Oh, it's the cute puppy show. I love this show. I love this show. It's so adorable. That show's lame. I don't want to watch that. Ella, that's rude. We were watching that. That is very naughty. Do you need a timeout? I don't need a timeout, but I do have a poo-poo loading. Ew, did she just say she had a poo-poo loading? That's gross. You still wear diapers? Aren't you potty trained? Yeah, but I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> Ew, gross. Okay, you're gonna... That's not nice. You have to sit in time out. Come over here. Come over here. I'm gonna turn off the computer because you don't need to be watching that. Leave the computer off. Molly, she turned our show. Oh my god, breaking news. There looks like there's a fire in Brookhaven. Wait a minute, where's Tommy? Tommy! T Tommy, where are you? T Tommy, did you light a fire? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Tommy, no. You do not play with match. What are you wearing? This is just who I really am when I'm not poor and eating out of dumpsters. Um, okay. Where did you get that outfit? Um, I ordered it from Amazon. With what? Your mom's credit card. Tommy! Oh my gosh, my mom's gonna be so mad. Ella. <gasps> Ella, what are you doing? I'm stealing all their money in your bank account, duh. You and your sister are so, like, dumb. You don't even know. What? Daisy, I think you were right about Ella and Tommy. What do you mean, Molly? Why? Because they seem like really bad kids. They do, Molly? Why? I think they're okay. I might have changed my mind. Really? Because Ella's over there trying to take all the money out of our bank account, and Tommy's trying to light fires. <gasps> Molly, there's one explanation for this, and one explanation only. What is it? They must be demons. <laughs> demons! <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> My stomach hurts. There's no such thing as demons. Molly, yes, there is. I'm telling the truth. You never believe me. <laughs> no, stop. You're making my stomach hurt. <laughs> Molly, I really think they're demons. Why do you think they were living out in the street? Everyone else was like, no way. No demons living in my house. Whoa, maybe you're right, Daisy. Um, where did Tommy go? Tommy! Ooh, that ice cream looks good. Mm. And so doesn't this coffee. 
tummy. You don't you don't get to eat ice cream and coffee for dinner. That's what I want to eat, though, so I'm gonna. You can't tell me otherwise. Wait, where did Tommy go? Is it... He disappeared! Oh my god! He really is a demon! He disappeared into thin air! Holy guacamole. <laughs> ah! Ah! He's trying to run me over with the lawnmower! Daisy, help! Oh boy, Marley, why'd you bring these kids home? <laughs> oh, you ran me into that! Stop it! <laughs> We're in charge now, losers. What? No, you're not. Yes, we are. We're demons. Watch this. <laughs> ah! What did you do? Ye you used some magic and now, 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 now my house is gone. <laughs> now you know how it feels. Yeah, now you know how it feels. But, 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 but where's my sister Daisy? Where's Daisy? She got evaporated too. <laughs> you little demons are grounded! I don't think so. You're the one that's grounded. See? Told you you'd be grounded. I didn't think you actually meant you were gonna like make her lay on the ground. <laughs> I thought it was a funny joke, Tommy. <laughs> ah! Why did I bring these demon twins home? Daisy, put on your bathing suit. Come on, we can go in the hot tub. Ooh, that sounds fun, Molly. I'm putting it on right now. Do you have to sing about it, though? Yeah, because look how adorable I look. It's like this 1950s vintage look. Whatever, Daisy. Who cares about your bathing suit? Get in the hot tub. Ooh, the water is too hot. Too hot. Molly, you're being so dramatic. I go hot tub. I go too. No, baby Kira, you're too little. Stay out there. This is for the big kids. Ah, that feels awesome. I go in the hot tub, I go, I go. Ah, uh, you have to ask mom because you're not allowed in here without a grown-up. And we're not grown-ups yet. What's going on out here? I go hot tub with my Daisy. Sorry, I'm making lunch right now, baby Kara, so you can't because I can't watch you. But you are going with the big girls. I don't understand why. Well, because you're not a big girl, honey, so you can't go in right now. But maybe later we'll go in, okay? I go get a big girl. Um, baby Kira, newsflash, you're not a big girl. Ha! <laughs> ah, it starts to, like, make you sweat after a while because this hot tub is so hot. That's what it's supposed to be, Marty? A hot tub? Ay, ay, ay. Do you even pay attention in school? Ugh, being in the hot tub made me super hungry. Hmm, I wonder what kind of snacks we have. No, no. Ooh, pizza. What else do we have? Waffles. Ooh, sounds delicious. Hmm, that all looks good. Yeah, if you want a snack, you're going to have to ask mom. I'm busy right now eating my snack. Okay, I'm not sure that was English, baby Kira. Hmm, so good. Too short, can't wait, hungry. I go, I get bottle. I climb up, I get snack. I, I love snack. Oh, fell out. I, I climb up here. <gasps> I win, sir. I win, sir. I get snack too. <gasps> What's going on? Baby, baby Kira, what are you doing with that ladder? You're going to get hurt. Oh, if you need a snack, you have to ask. My Daisy don't ask. I know they don't ask because they're big girls and you're not. All right, get down from that ladder and I'll get you a snack. Ay, ay, ay. Keeping a toddler alive is the hardest job ever. Molly, what you doing? What you doing? OMG. Look at this new Roblox game. It looks so fun. Ooh, look, there's roller coasters in it. I definitely want to play too. Shove over, Molly. I want a turn. When I die, you can have a turn. But until then, nope. Well, that shouldn't take too long. That's it, Daisy. You are so rude about my Roblox playing. I'm totally going to get you for that. No, you're not, Molly, because you are so slow. Daisy, get back here! Ooh, I want to do fun things on computer because I'm big girl. And, ooh, shopping. Ooh, bank. I could get into bank, get money, and go shopping. Baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira, you're not allowed on the computer without supervision. I'm big girl, I can't. 
No, you can't. Oh my gosh. Ah, get off the computer, please. I can't do anything. Okay, that's it. You need a nap. But my Daisy told to take a nap. That's because they're big girls. You're not a big girl. I don't like it. Okay, into bed, please. You definitely need a nap. Fine. I hate my life. Oh my gosh, you hate your life and you're only two? Oh, you have a long way to go, baby Kira. I'll see you in a couple of hours. I don't see you ever. Because, because... I'm running away forever! Ah! Baby Kira, it's been two and a half hours, you sleepyhead. Baby Kira? Where, where's Baby Kira? Is that window broken? Oh my god! Baby Kira ran away! Molly, Daisy, I need your help! Mom, if you need my help doing more chores, I'm off duty. Oh, I'm so tired. Just need to watch this adorable puppy and relax. And maybe eat an extra piece of pizza. Mmm, pizza. Molly, help, help, help. What What are you freaking out about, Mom? What's wrong? Baby Kira, she, 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 she ran away. What? She, she ran away? Yes. I don't know what to do, but I'm going to call 911 and you and your sister should go look for her. Okay, I'll get right on that as soon as I finish my pizza. Molly, no! Okay, I'll take my pizza to go. Baby Kira, baby Kira, where are you? I'm flitting away for Wilfo. I don't need this. I don't need your to jump off. I'm a big girl. Baby Kira, baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira! Well, maybe she got a hotel room. Wait a minute, how would she do that? She, she doesn't have any money. <gasps> maybe she stole mom's credit card. I should go in and ask the person behind the desk. Hello? Is anybody here? Apparently, they're sleeping in one of the rooms because they're tired. <laughs> I'll just log in myself and see if she's checked in. Baby Kira. Okay, she didn't check into the motel. Hmm. She's sitting in the diner? <laughs> Good thing I ate that pizza because I'm doing a lot of running around. No, she's not in the diner. Baby Kira, where are you? We miss you so much. Wait a minute. If I was Baby Kira, where would I go? The ice cream shop. Although I think they're closed right now because it's already like 7.30 at night. No, no, Baby Kira. But they left the doors open. So I think I need a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm. Huh, why is my phone ringing? Hello? <laughs> Molly, are you at the ice cream shop right now? Um, uh, uh. How did you know that, Mom? Because I just had an idea that you'd have to stop for a snack. Your sister is more important than mint chocolate chip, right? Uh, yeah, sure, Mom, totally. I've been looking around for her, though, and I don't see her. Keep looking, Molly. I'm so worried. Yeah, me too. But I'm sure everything's gonna be okay. I hope so. I really hope so. Baby Kira? What? What are you... What are you doing? You put up a tent? Ew, what's that smell? I sandwich I got from the dumpster. Ew, don't eat dumpster sandwiches. What's going on? Baby Kira? Oh my god, we found her. Baby Kira, you have to come home. I'm never coming home. I don't want you. I stay here. Why? We're your family. Don't you love us? You don't love me. Baby Kira, that's not true. We love you more than anything. Why would you say that? Yeah, Baby Kira, why would you say that? Because... Because you guys are big girls said die, die. Oh, you're not a big girl? No, you're not. But you know what? Daisy and I were little girls like you once. You were? Yeah, we were. Huh, Daisy? Yeah, we were toddlers and we pooped our pants and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> we didn't have to tell her that detail. You did? You wore diapers? And you were big girls? Of course we weren't big girls. <laughs> you don't just come out this way. I mean, you have to grow. Pretty soon... You'll grow up, too. Really? Dad can do big good stuff? Of course you can, Baby Kira. It's only a matter of time before you grow up. Yeah, Baby Kira. And then you'll be able to do all the big kid stuff just like us. Wow, Flurry. How long? Um, just a few more years. Then you'll be a big girl. But you should enjoy being a toddler right now because 
It's pretty amazing to be a baby. You get lots of snuggles from mom. You get bottles. You get someone to change your diaper. Oh. Molly! Seems like I need someone to change my diaper. <laughs> Ew, dinky. <laughs> so will you come home with us? Yeah, I miss you guys. Oh, we missed you too, baby Kira. No more running away. Yeah, no more running away. I be good someday. That's right. Someday you're going to be a big girl. We'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys are listening to Molly. I don't know why you get to be in charge. You're the most immature of us all. Daisy, be quiet. I'm in charge and I'm telling you, shh. Girls, be nice to each other. Your mom and I don't get a date night very often and I don't want to get a call on my phone that you guys aren't getting along. We'll get along, Dad. Bye. I cannot believe what Brittany just said to Sadie. I know, right? Brookhaven High is getting crazy. Okay, well, we have to go and get her a diaper at some point. Yeah, in a minute. I want to watch this show. I got poo poo soon. I got poo poo. How about you go poopy in the potty? You know, like a big kid. No, I wear diaper forever. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, I'm going to eat some popcorn. Mmm, this is delicious. Ah, 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 popcorn and ah, uh, a snack too. Okay, you can have some too. Here you go. Oh, I got popcorn. Mmm, so good. <laughs> ah, I got hurt my dummy. OMG, having a baby sister is a lot of work. What was that? I didn't hear anything, Molly. Okay, I'm turning down the TV because I definitely heard something at the back door. There it is again! Whoa, I heard it that time too. It sounded really creepy. I wish mom and dad were home. I brave, I check what it is. No, baby Kara, we're... Baby Kara, no! We're all gonna go together. I wanna go. I think it sounds super creepy, Molly. Let baby Kira. And that's why I was left in charge. Because you're gonna send our little sister to see if there's somebody outside? Creepy! She's too little for that. Come on, we're gonna all go together. Fine, but I hope it's not like a burglar or something. They're going to rob all the money from our safe. And then we can't go on our trip to Florida. It's going to be fine, Daisy. It's probably just the wind. See, I told you guys, nobody there. Oh, boy. That was a little creepy. Whoa, the lights just went out. They're flickering. Oh, my gosh. It's definitely somebody breaking in. No, Daisy, it's... Daisy! It's not somebody breaking in. I think it's just the power's going to go out because it's really windy. Probably the trees are scratching against the house, making a really creepy sound. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm still going back upstairs. Yeah, I think we should, but I think everything's going to be fine. No one's breaking into the house or anything like that. Okay, well, let's just watch a movie. Or we can watch the rest of Brookhaven High. I heard the Brookhaven High! Yeah, let's watch the rest of Brookhaven High. This episode is crazy! Uh, baby Kara, did you eat all the popcorn? Yeah, I did. Ew, baby Kira! Don't you have to go poo poo? Uh, well, let me know when you do and we'll change your diaper. Yeah, baby Kira. Or you could go in the party too. No party! Okay, no party. There's that sound again. I know, Riley. I heard it too. But like you said, there's a storm that's going to happen outside, so the wind is really high. So it's probably just trees scratching against the house. Sounds like it's getting closer. Hmm, is it... At the front door? I don't... Wait a minute. What? What? Ah! Guys! There's a monster! It's at the, 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 the front door! What? What are you talking about? Don't prank me right now. Ah! She's not pranking! Everybody run to the panic room! Yeah, panic room! Good idea! <sighs> did you see that monster out there? I sure did, Molly. That was insane! Wait a minute. Where's baby Kira? Oh my god! She didn't make it into the panic room! What? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? I had to buy it. I had to buy it. Oh, baby Kira. I'm so glad to see you. I was so worried that the monster got you. Thank goodness Dad's a cop, so he is a bit paranoid about someone breaking into the house. Yeah, good thing he was. That monster would have gotten us if we hadn't had this t um, bunker to stay in. Yeah. Huh. This panic room is definitely worth it. 
<sighs> well, I don't know if there's any snacks in here, but there's a bathroom and beds. What? No snacks? Don't worry, I have a uh, Reese's in my pocket. Mm. Marty Seal! Everybody might be hungry, or better yet, save it in case we're in here for a long time. Well, eventually our parents will come home. They'll see the monster and... And get kidnapped by the monster! We have to call somebody! Um, that's just the thing. I forgot my cell phone on the couch. Oh, brother! And mom left you in charge! What was she thinking? I think I will buy you. I think I will buy you. So fire. What? Baby Kira, use your words. I'm not afraid because the monster can get us in here. Molly, do you hear that weird sound again? I do. What, what do you think it could be? I got that you're buying a monster. What? Ah! He's trying to break into the panic room. Okay, let's just go over here, guys. Let's go over here. Uh, Molly, we could use a taser gun on him. No, I'm not going to open the door. That would be silly. We're, we're safe in here, right? Oh, no, but I don't know. I think so. Monster, what do you want from us? Uh, something tells me he doesn't speak English. Um, do you speak any language besides monster? Nope. Okay, well, I guess we're stuck in here. What if mom and dad don't come home for a bit of time and the monster figures out how to get into our panic room? I don't think that can happen. This was built by the professionals, overseen by our dad, a police officer. He knows how to make a, pa a panic room safe. I just want mom and I have no way to tell her we're in here. Okay, DC, it's going to be fine. Dad's a cop. When he sees the monster, he'll know exactly what to do. I hope so, Molly. This is freaking me out. I like Mantos. Mantos nice. No! Monster is not nice, baby Kira. Monster's me! I am Manto nice. Okay, where is the monster? Is he still there? Oh my god, he's still... Baby Kira, do not open the door! <sighs> well, I locked it so she can't. Good thing, Molly, because she thinks monsters are nice. That's it! We're never getting out of here! We're gonna be stuck in the panic room forever! But eventually, Mom and Dad will come home from their date, right? Uh, I hope so. Why are you running in circles? Because I'm bored and I want to get out of here. I'm Michael. I'm Michael. We be friends. Baby Kira, I told you already. The monster can't come in here. No, I go out to monster. What? But I locked the door. Oh, Baby Kira, you scared me. Baby Kira, what? Baby Kira, don't go down the escape hatch. Oh, my God. Daisy, we have a problem. Huh. <sighs> Baby Kira just went down the escape hatch! What? Are you serious? That's a one-way exit! This means that... That... She's gonna be out there with the monster! Oh my gosh! This is so bad! No! Monster! You stay away from my baby sister! Hi, monster! I come see you! Bye! Bye, monster! <sighs> ah! Baby Kira, run! Oh my gosh! Babies are adorable, but not that smart when they're little. <laughs> they are constantly trying to get into harm's way. <laughs> Baby Kira! Okay, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to. Calling in the big dogs. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm freaking out! Ah! Daisy, I need your help! Okay, she's going to be useless. i got to unlock this door. i got to unlock it. Why can't I unlock the door? Okay, here we go. There we go. I'm going to tase you, monster! Whee! Monster fun! Get piggyback ride! Wait, what? Ha ha ha! Ha I babysit! Wait, what? You you just wanted to babysit? I like kids. They're nice. Wait, you look creepy though! Hold still, I still gotta tase you! Da! Da! Tase my friend! Monster nice! Monster not doing anything wrong! Okay, I'm totally confused right now. Why do you make all those weird sounds? Because he's a monster, we can't help it. I put my hands out to arrest. I'm not going to arrest you, baby Kira. But I may arrest this monster just because he's real creepy. What's going on out here? Why is baby Kira hanging out with the monster? Well, if you had paid attention, uh, instead of having your little moment of scaredy catness. Is that even a word, scaredy catness? No, it's not a word. Um, you would know that baby Kira has befriended the monster. 
Uh, this seems bad, Molly. Really bad. I like Manto Manto Nights. Whee! I'm not mean. I just love me. Don't judge book by its cover. Oh, well, um, uh, I'll have to ask Mom and Dad if you can babysit. I'll be right back. I've got to get my cell phone. Well, it never fails, Molly. We always get a call on our date night. What is it? Ah, this time it's really important. Um, Molly, there's more popcorn in the pantry. No, uh, it's really important, Dad. The diapers are in baby Kira's, uh, her and her nursery. Honey, come on. Let's go play this game next. Are you guys at the arcade without us? Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. What? You went to Dave and Buster's without us? That's so not fair. Marty, tell him what's going on. Okay, um, there was a monster at the door, and he seemed really mean, so we went into the, um, panic room. Baby Kira escaped, you know, I'm sorry, I did my best, but she's kind of a troublemaker. What? What are you talking about, a monster? We're gonna come home immediately. Oh, but I wanted to play this game. Laura, the kids are in trouble. No, no, not necessarily. Uh, baby Kira got out and found out that the monster is actually really nice. He'd like to know if he could babysit us. Well, I mean, we could stay, stay at Dave and Buster's if he's trustworthy, that is. Yeah, that's true. And I didn't play this new Star Wars game yet. Ooh, it looks so fun. Dad! Um, I don't know. A monster babysitting you seems like a bad idea. You're still in charge, Molly, and we'll be home in about 15 minutes. Okay. Sorry, my parents said no. What? Why does everyone judge me? Don't worry, Mato. You can come for dinner. Yeah, you can still come for dinner. My parents just have to be there to meet you first because, well, you're a monster and we have to make sure you're not a mean monster, but a nice monster. Okay. When's dinner? Tomorrow, four o'clock. Yeah, we'll make pizza. Wait, do monsters eat pizza? Of course. Delicious. <laughs> See you then. Why is this math homework so hard? Well, Molly, maybe it's so hard because you're busy kind of watching Brooke High instead of paying attention. Yeah, Molly, you can't watch TV and study at the same time. Um, yes I can. It's called multitasking. Yeah, and you're going to do two things terribly. Ay, ay, ay. Just pay attention, Molly. Seriously, turn off the TV. Oh, this homework really is so hard. I have to admit, it is pretty challenging, Daisy. Why you guys say it's so hard? It's not so hard being a big kid. What? Yes, it is. What do you know about it? You're just a baby. But I think being a big kid is super easy. Yep, yep, yep. Well, baby Kira, we think being, being a baby is pretty easy. Yeah, what's so hard about being a baby? Uh, I see. Learning how to eat. Learning how to natural, learning how to crawl, learning how to walk, learning how to poo-poo on the party is very challenging. <laughs> All of that stuff is baby stuff. That's not even difficult. Try doing this math homework. You just forget what it's like to be a baby. It's harder than it looks. I dare you and all of Brookhaven to be babies for 24 hours. Then maybe you'll remember. 24 hours? Easy peasy. It's going to be the easiest 24 hours of my life. I take the dare. Yeah, I think I'll take the dare too. It's been a long time since I've been a baby. Well, not that long. You were just crying over your spilled makeup yesterday. That was pretty babyish. Molly, stop teasing me. It's annoying, okay? <laughs> ah, I'm just being a good sister and driving you crazy. I think that it's time for you all to be babies. <coughs> no, Molly, not that real. You're a newborn. You have to be about a year older. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Is this better? Yeah, you are a little baby like me. And now you have to live your life for the next 24 hours in my world. Good luck. Hmm, I'm kind of hungry. Let me go see what's in the refrigerator. You're not allowed to eat anything out of the fridge away your mom said. Okay, Daisy. Okay, Brookie. Come on, we have to go to the diner. I'm hungry. Also, you're a big crybaby. Take that back. You're going to get a timeout. No way. You can't give me 
you talking about? You're not my mommy. Is it just me or is this table like really tall? I can't even see over the top of it. How am I going to eat my food? Well, Molly, that's because we're a lot smaller because we're babies. So we can't see over the table anymore. Well, they should make baby tables at the diner. It's just rude that they don't have baby tables. They do, Molly. It's called a high chill. Duh. Whatever, Daisy. You're so rude. You think you're so smart. Oh, well, you're just a baby like the rest of us. What? Why is a baby waiting on us? Because, Molly, remember, everybody in Brookhaven is a baby for 24 hours. Holy guacamole. Well, I guess she's our waitress. Hi, I'll be taking your order today. Sorry, I'm still working on my speech and everything, but what can I get for you? I'll have a Happy Meal. Sorry, this isn't McDonald's, duh. But I wanted a Happy Meal. Ah! Molly, stop being such a baby. She can't help it. She actually is a baby. Um, we could get you a kid's meal, though, if you want or something. Yeah, I guess a kid's meal will be good. Yeah, I'll have a kid's meal, too. Three kid's meals, please. Hey, wait, aren't you going to write down what we want? No, I'll have right. I'm just a baby. <laughs> I got to remember it. Well, we did only order three kid's meals. Yeah, but we still need drinks. I want... Hey, wait, I'm not done ordering. My, don't be rude. Couldn't get us kicked out. Okay, well, I wanted something to drink. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. Being a baby is making me kind of cranky. Oh, no, she pooped her pants, didn't you, Molly? No, but Daisy, I can't even see your face. Here, stand up. You're so short. Don't tease me, okay? I'm not. I just, I can't even talk to you because you're so short. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to stand on the table. I'm coming over there to sit next to you guys. No, you can't sit here. You're too big. What? No, I want to sit with you guys. What's taking our food so long? Hey, what are you doing up there? Oh, sorry. I forgot to put in your order because I got busy watching Coco Melon. You ever see this Halloween special? Hey, it's not even Halloween. Oh, my gosh. This baby waitress is annoying. Where are all the grown-ups? There weren't any, Molly. We're all babies. Oh, my stomach's really starting to growl. I'm going to start getting hangry. Uh, here you go. Order's up. What? A bottle? Wait, why are we... Ugh, fine. I guess I'll just drink this bottle. Sorry, the cook is a baby and he doesn't know how to make the kids meals. It's all right. I'm a baby, so I like baby bottles. Blech. Yeah, Molly, see, excuse me. Nah, I'm a baby. I don't have to. That bottle was good, but I'm still hungry. Well, we could go to the grocery store and we could get um some food there. Oh, that's exactly what a parent would do. All right, let's go. We can get some, we can get some, um, we can get some candy. We can get some popcorn. That doesn't sound very healthy, Molly. Of course it doesn't. We're babies. We want to eat anything we want. And a cheeseburger, and Molly, the grocery store doesn't have a made cheeseburger. Okay, well, they might. They might. I want to get in the car, Molly. Me too. I want to ride in the car too. Na, 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 na. Um, apparently we can't ride in the car because, hey, I wanted to ride in the car. Oh, you're too fat. I can't push you. I am fat. I'm just tiny baby, and you are too, and that's why you can't push me because you're not strong enough. Okay, fine, whatever. Just get out of the cart so I can put Doritos in there. Okay, I'll put Doritos in the cart. Okay, is, it's not letting me put Doritos in the cart. All right, I'll just, I'll put them in my hands. That, that'll that that'll work. Okay, I got some Doritos. You guys get, you guys get some soda and Daisy, you, you get, um, you get a candy bar. Boy, she's a boss baby if I ever saw one. Come on, guys, I'm hungry. I want to check out. Wait, there's, there's no cashier. Yeah, there is a cashier. I'm just down here. What? A baby cashier? And it's a boy. What? It's a boy? <laughs> it's a boy. Um, you you have to have money to buy that. Money? Is that how our parents get all this cool stuff? Glug, 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 glug. I don't know. I'm just drinking this Coca-Cola. I didn't know I had to pay for it. 
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna call the police. You're gonna end up in jail. Okay, here you go. Here's your Doritos back. It's okay, we'll go get some money. We just gotta go to the bank. All right, let's go to the bank, guys. Guys, come on. Daisy, don't steal the candy bar. What are you doing? I'll pay for it when we get back. No, leave it here. We're gonna get arrested. And then we'll be in baby jail. I've heard horrible stories about baby jail. They don't even come in to change our diaper. Um, guys, what are we waiting for? We're not allowed to cross the street without a grown-up to hold our hands. Yeah, everybody knows that. That is so wrong when you're a baby to cross the street without your parents. You could get hit by a car. I don't see a car anywhere, guys. Well, we still can't cross the street without a grown-up. Then we're just going to be standing here forever. I nominate Molly to be the grown-up. Okay, Molly, you look both ways. No cars. Okay, we can go. Excuse me, cash machine. I would like to get some cash. Um, Molly, I don't think that's how it works. I think you have to have, like, this card thing. Card thing? Well, I don't have one of those. I thought it was just, like, it could just, like, hear what we wanted and give us money. Molly, did you ever really pay attention when Mom came to the ATM? Not really, but where are we going to get one of these cards? We're not, Molly. Just face it. We're terrible as babies. Oh, baby Kira was right. Being a baby is harder than I thought. And squishier. What do you mean, squishier, Molly? What do you mean by that? Yeah, Molly, did you step in some slime or bubble gum on the way over here? No! I made a doo-doo in my diaper and it's super squishy! Ew, gross, Molly! Is that what that smell is? It smells like cow poo! Ew, Molly! Somebody change my diaper! Not me, I'm out of here. Me too, gross. Ugh. Hey, I thought you were my best friend. Well, you're my sister. You're going to help me, right? Absolutely not. Goodbye, squishy butt. Mm. Daisy, there's only one thing I love more than pizza. Molly... Why are you eating again? Get that away from the keyboard. You're going to get pizza crumbs on the keyboard. And you know that I won't be able to type anymore. And I have a lot of homework to do. Mm. No can do, Daisy. Mm. Hey, get that pizza off of the keyboard. Oh, great. You dripped some cheese on it. Well, like I said, Daisy, there's only thing, one thing I like more than pizza. What, Molly? Cupcakes. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Molly, um, did you hear the news about today? What? What news? We've got a new babysitter coming. <laughs> what? A new babysitter? Are you serious? Yeah. Mom says she's pretty nice. Uh, she was working at the grocery store, and then she decided to be a babysitter instead. Ugh. I don't need a babysitter. I'm not little anymore. Hello? Is anyone home? Oh, there's the new babysitter now, Molly. Let her in. Okay, before I let you in, are you a stranger? Well, sort of, but I was hired to babysit you, so let me in, you little brat. Whoa, I don't think so. You're rude. You have to stay out there so you can be nice. Molly, that's a new babysitter win. No, nope, she's rude. Gotta stay outside. I have a key. I'm just gonna come in on my own, and then you're gonna sit in timeout. Ow, you hit me with the door. Go sit on that stool and sit in timeout. By the way, I'm Brittany. Um, yeah, hi, Brittany. My sister is so rude, and I'm sorry about that, but I'm a good kid. I'm not sitting. I am standing. I am jumping. Oh, I can tell you're going to be a handful. Ugh, fine, whatever. Don't sit in timeout, but don't irritate me, okay? Um, okay. Daisy, this babysitter seems rude. Let's get out of here. You mean, like, run away from my babysitter? What are you, nuts? Absolutely not. Oh, I don't want to be stuck with her. Now, everybody be quiet. There's a new episode of Brooke High on, and I really want to watch it. Ooh, I love this show. I could watch it with you. I didn't give you an invite, brat. Hey, don't talk to my sister that way. It's rude. Did I say that I was nice? My mom said that you seemed nice. Well, that was her mistake. Daisy, can I please see you in the kitchen? Ow, I ran into that. <laughs> Molly... <laughs> You're always running into things. You're so clumsy. What do you want, Marley? Mm, I want to eat the snack before I talk to you. Marley, why are you always eating snacks? Always. Oh, my gosh. Just tell me what you want for me, please. I will. 
As soon as I get done eating this banana and that apple. Molly! Okay, fine. But can I finish my pizza? No, Molly! Oh, my gosh. Ay, ay, ay. Deep breath, Daisy. Deep breath. Now, what do you want? You little brats better not be, like, coming up with a plan to be more annoying than you already are. This Brittany babysitter is rude. I don't like her. I know, Molly. She is rude. I have to agree with you for once in my life. Daisy, why do you think she got so rude? I don't know. Maybe we should ask her. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, she'll ever tell us. Well, I'm going to ask her because maybe once she gets it off her chest, she'll feel better. She won't be so rude and mean anymore. Oh, Daisy, wait. I think this is a bad idea. Daisy! Okay. What do you want? Well, I'd like a snack. Mommy, you don't need a snack. You've had 50 snacks. Brittany, we have a question for you. It's a serious one. Okay, what? I'm listening, but only because I'm being paid to listen. Um, my sister and I noticed you're grumpy and miserable and sort of a Karen. Okay, like a lad of Karen. I'm not a Karen. My name is Brittany. No, that's what they call people that are like you. Grumpy and miserable Karens. Oh, yeah, whatever. What do you want? We were wondering what happened to you that, that made you so grumpy and, and were miserable. Yeah. Can you tell us the story of your life, please? You want to know about me? Really? Yeah. Tell us. Tell us all about you. Okay. Well, it all started when... Well, I better go check on Mrs. Smith and see how she's doing after her new baby was born. Well, hello, little Ella. Hi. My mommy got me this because she had a new baby. She didn't want me to think she forgot about me. Oh, that's nice, Ella. Well, Mrs. Smith, how are you doing? Well, I'd be a lot better if this baby wasn't so gross. Gross? What do you mean? Is she feeling sick? No, she's just not as cute as my little Ella. Wait, what? Yeah, she's just ugly. I don't like her. I want to have a different baby. But but this is your baby, Brittany. I, I know, but I just... Ugh, why can't you be more like Ella? Ella was so cute. I, uh, I was the perfect baby. I really was. I bet, Ella. Um, but your mom needs to learn to love both of her children equally. What? What are you talking about? Of course I do. I just wish she was as cute as Ella. Daddy, do you think you could brush my hair? It's it's kind of messy and I have to go to school soon. Ugh, your hair is so annoying. Why can't it be more like your big sister Ella's? Her hair is not annoying. I hardly ever have to brush it. I'm sorry, I was born with this hair and I can't help it. Dad! Dad! Um, the latest iPhone just came out and I was wondering, can I have it? Of course you can! You're my favorite, Ella. Oh, you're so cute. Dad, she gets a new iPhone. Can I have it too? No, no way. You're too little. But, but, okay, okay but you won't even brush my hair? Oh, fine. See how perfect your sister's hair is? Why can't your hair be like that? I don't know. Um, I... Thanks, Dad. I can't wait to get the new iPhone. Bye! Oh, get over here and I'll brush your hair, I guess. Whoa, no wonder you're so grumpy and miserable. It seems like you were the hated child. Oh my gosh, Brittany, that's terrible. Whatever, I've learned to live with it. But anyway. Oh, it sounds like you used to be really sweet. Just because your parents and sister weren't very nice to you doesn't mean that everybody on the planet will be mean. Yeah, we're not all mean and evil. Whatever. I choose to be the way I am, and you'll just have to deal with it because I'm your babysitter. Look, I've seen into your past, and I can see into your future. If you don't change your ways, Brittany, this is how it's gonna go. Well, it looks like I need to give patient in 1A some very bad news. <sighs> this is the worst part about my job. Hello, Brittany. How are you feeling? I'm feeling like I, I, I'm dying. What's wrong with me? Well, that's because you are. What? What are you talking about? You have a rare disease, and it's caused from being grumpy too much. What? That's not even a real thing. Yes, stress can do this for you. Your heart is just giving out, and you've caught this very rare disease in it. There's a rare disease in my heart? Yes. This happens when your heart is just, well, made of stone. It's called Stone's disease. What? Are you sure it's not Crohn's? I could live with that. Um, no. It's not Crohn's disease. It's Stone's disease. Ugh! I can't believe I'm dying! This is so annoying! I know. 
I'm sorry to give you this bad news. Is there anyone that I could call for you? No! I don't have any friends! What are you talking about? Oh, well, would you like me to sit with you until you die so you're not alone? No! I'll just die by myself! I don't care! Okay, Brittany, well, it was, um... Okay, knowing you, I guess? Okay, bye! Uh, uh... Seriously? The only person that came to my funeral was a... A zombie? So, you see, Brittany, if you don't change your evil ways, well, you're going to die alone and a zombie's going to get you. Oh, I'm going to change. I'm going to be nice. But this is too much to handle. I can't think of it. I can't think of my future this way. I need some air. I need some air. Whoa, but babysitter's freaking out by that future. Well, better to freak out now than to, you know, die all alone. <sighs> Finally, some fresh hair. I never thought that I could die alone and a zombie would try to attack me. Oh, oh I can't believe it. Oh. What just happened to our babysitter? Molly, I think her life is over because she got ran over by that city bus. What? Brittany, no! You just changed your evil ways. Oh my gosh, she just was right out in the middle of the road. OMG! Molly, I'm so sorry that I was mean to you. Ugh, I was the worst babysitter ever. No, Brittany, you, were, you weren't a bad babysitter. Okay, in the beginning, you were a horrible one. Hey, she's dying. Don't say that to her. But now I, I hope that I've made up for it. Oh. Brittany, don't die. D Brittany? Okay, she died. Whoops, that stinks. Really? Are you not sadder? Well, I'm sad for her because she never got to change her evil ways. But... I guess she intended to. Yeah, Marty, at least you and I will be at a funeral now. Well, it's better than a zombie. <laughs> yeah, true, Marty. Very true. Baby Kira, move over. You're hogging the couch. How could she hug the couch, Marley? She's only like a tiny little thing. She's like 30 pounds. And you're like a giant monster. Daisy, are you trying to say I'm fat? Rude! Now I'm just saying you're much bigger than baby Kira, so she couldn't be hogging the couch. Why don't you mind your own beeswax? Nobody says that anymore, Molly. What are you, three years old? You're annoying, Daisy. Ditto, Molly. You're annoying, too. Girls, can you just stop fighting for, like, five minutes? No, Mom. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> it's a part of being sisters. I know, I know. Your Aunt Dora and I used to fight all the time. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That's probably because Aunt Dora drove you crazy. She really did, Molly. She totally did. Um, girls, so I have to tell you something. Ah, oh, we're going to Disney! This is going to be the best day ever! Uh, no. Sorry, Molly. It's actually that I have to go back to work tonight. Oh, well, whatever, Mom. Did you leave us something delicious to eat? Like pizza? Um, yeah, you can, um get a pizza maybe some other night but not tonight what that's that that's so disappointing right Miley I thought she was gonna say we could have a pizza then she's like nah maybe some other time well what I want to tell you girls is is that I hired a new babysitter a new babysitter is she crazy right now I'm way too old for a babysitter Molly I'm gonna be out super late I have so much to do with the office and I know you can stay here alone during the day, but I just don't think it's a good idea for you to be here alone at night. And besides that, who's going to take care of baby Kira? I change your diapers. I'm not going to change your diapers. She's on her own there. <laughs> well, I would, Mom, so it's cool. We don't need a babysitter. I've already called Brittany, and I think you guys are going to really like her. She'll be here in about 15, 20 minutes, but I need to get to work now. Mom, you cannot give us a babysitter. We're way too old for this. We, we look ridiculous. It's humiliating. Molly, you need a babysitter to stay here at late at night, and you're going to need help with baby Kira. Well, I don't need a babysitter. Get a babysitter for baby... Mom! Sorry, Molly. I have to get ready for work. Ugh, can you believe this? Molly, it's not so bad. Maybe this Britney person will be really nice, and maybe she'll be psycho. Mom's not going to hire a psycho babysitter. Why are you drooling, Molly? That's gross. My drool can get baby like me. I'm not a baby like you. Well, Molly, correction. You need a babysitter, so I think you are a baby. I don't want 
to talk to either of you. I'm going into the kitchen and I'm going to get a snack. I'm going to be grumpy if I want to. Ew, Reese cups. That'll make me feel better. Mm, these are good, but I still feel grumpy. Oh, look, the new babysitter's here. She could be nice, Molly. Just be cool, okay? <gasps> she has big tails just like me. I love her already. Oh, my sister is so easily won over. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'll be your babysitter tonight. Oh, whatever. Ooh, this one's a little grumpy. Is it because you're hungry? She's probably not hungry because she just ate Reese cups. I'm hungry, okay? All right, well, uh, it's nice to meet you guys. What's your name? My name's Daisy. My name's Bob. Molly, tell you your name. Okay, fine. My name's Bob Molly. Molly! I'm assuming your name is Molly. Am I correct? Yeah, you're correct. Okay, and who's the little baby over there? That's baby Kiwa. Aw, aren't you the cutest? Oh, she's pretending to read. She's not pretending. She can already read some words. Whoa, super baby. Okay, well, I'm going to go into the kitchen and make you guys a delicious and nutritious dinner. I'm all into working out and stuff. Oh, great. You know what I'm into? Being a slug on the couch. <laughs> Molly, why are you being so rude to Brittany? What did she ever do to you? She exists. I did not know about me. I'm not mean. I'm just irritated I have to have a babysitter. Okay, girls, come and get it. Time for dinner. Wow. <laughs> We're probably going to have seaweed for dinner. Well, where is it, Brittany? Ooh, that was kind of mean. Do you want to say you're sorry, Molly? No, not really. Molly! It's in the oven, staying nice and warm for you guys, so you can get it out yourself, since you guys are big girls. Yeah, so big we don't need a babysitter, but here we are, still having one. So, Molly, um, do you want me to serve you, or are you going to get it? Yeah, give me some! I already said that! Uh, could you please say please? No, I don't say please. Um, well, then maybe you should get it for yourself. I'm fine with getting my own. Thank you so much, Brittany. It looks delicious. Oh, what is this? Thanksgiving dinner? Molly, you love Thanksgiving dinner. What's wrong with you? I just don't like this babysitter, okay? Hmm. This is, um... It's super good, Brittany. Thank you. It's fine, I guess. I mean, it's all right. Wow, you're so crumpy. What's her deal, Daisy? She just doesn't want to have a babysitter. Be quiet, Daisy! I'm going to eat this food and I'm going to go, I don't know, chill out in the other room. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> By chill out, I mean jump up and down on the couch. Whee! Molly, are you jumping up and down on the couch? Molly? No, not me. I'm actually jumping up and down on top of the back of the couch. <laughs> Molly, you know that's against the rules. Your mom left me a list, and it said no jumping on the couch. So please stop. No way. You're not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. Okay, Molly, this is terrible behavior. Why don't you go do your chore, please? What's that? Sit on the couch? No, the laundry, Molly. Your mom said you have to do the laundry, and you're stressed to do the dishes? Fine, whatever. I'll show her the laundry. Molly's going to put food in the washing machine. Baby Kira, I'm rude. <laughs> this ought to make a real mess for the babysitter to clean up. Molly, just behave yourself already. <laughs> oh, nine, nine, Molly. Molly, did you put Thanksgiving dinner in the washing machine? No, it was baby Kira. Oh, that's it, Molly. You're you're in timeout. Go to your room. What? You can't give me timeout. Yes, she can, Molly. She's in charge. Oh, this is this is this is terrible. I don't. Oh, you know what? I hate you, Molly. Oh, that was so rude. Well, it's true. I don't need a babysitter. I don't need one. You know what? I don't even need to be in this house. I'm gonna open this window. And I'm gonna sneak out and run away. Molly, Molly, your timeout's over. Molly, where where'd she go? <gasps> Is the window open? Oh my God, Molly, 
Molly ran away! I have to try to find her! All I have to do is climb over this wall and to my freedom! <laughs> what? Brittany? I know all the tricks, Molly. I've been a babysitter a very long time. What? I, I didn't want you to catch me! I know you didn't, but that's why I'm a good babysitter. Because I can keep you safe. And also, Molly, if you'd give me a chance, we could be friends. Friends? No, we can't. You're the babysitter that I don't want. Well, I know that, Molly, but your mom was just looking out for you to make sure you were safe. And, of course, baby Kara's still little, so she's really the one that needs the babysitter, not you. You and I could just be friends, and I could be baby Kira's babysitter. What? Really? Yeah. If you'd let me into your heart. Wow, I, I never thought about it like that. Well, you're just not as old and wise as I am. I mean, <laughs> I'm 17 now, so I pretty much know everything about life. Whoa, I can't wait till I'm 17. That means I'll know everything too. Yeah, it's pretty much a rite of passage. Once you turn 17, the whole world opens up to you. Wow. Well, I mean, you seem pretty nice and everything, but you're not my babysitter. No, <laughs> definitely not, but you still have to listen to what I say. Okay, fine, but only because you're wiser than me and you're 17. All right, but you're baby Kara's babysitter. That's right, Molly. I'm just your friend. Wait a minute. Wait, I have another question. Wait. Okay, what is it? Can you be Daisy's babysitter? Of course. She's totally immature. <laughs> Brittany, I think we're going to get along as friends just fine. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I can babysit, I mean, be your friend again soon because... I really like hanging out with you, Molly. I like hanging out with you too, Brittany. What's that smell? Ooh, it smells awful. I could poop where I die pool. Oh, not it. I'm not the babysitter. Okay, baby Kira, come on, let's go. <sighs> Turns out I made a new friend today. <laughs> She's not my babysitter. Don't you forget it. I love this show. It is amazing. The brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. Do 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 do. Brightly colored unicorn. That's nice, Molly. I like this show too. Yeah, but I'm starving, Daisy. When's dinner? Molly, we have to make it. What? Make dinner? Are you crazy? No, Mom. Molly, Mom went to the grocery store and she left me in charge. No, she didn't, Daisy. Mom would not leave you in charge. She said I'm the re respa respa what's that word? Responsible? Yeah, right. You're not more responsible than me. Jumping on the couch, jumping on the couch. Molly, get off the couch. Well, who said you're in charge? Mom said I'm in charge. Now, come on, we have to go into the kitchen and make dinner. Yeah, okay, Daisy. I'm gonna watch, though. I'm not gonna help. Molly, don't be lazy. And don't eat that apple. You'll ruin your dinner. Yeah, right. Yum, 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 yum. That was delicious. Okay, let's see. What should I make for dinner? I don't really know how to make a lot, but I think that I have all the ingredients for hot dogs. Yeah, Daisy, because all you need is, like, hot dogs and buns. <laughs> Molly, that's funny. Okay, I have to turn on the stove. No, Daisy, don't, don't. Molly, it'll be fine. Relax. Yeah, okay. Can't believe Mom left you in charge. Yeah, Molly, I'm the babysitter. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My world is ending. My sister's my babysitter. No! Yes, Molly, I am. Yup, yup, yup. Wow. Well, you made some pretty good hot dogs. Come on, Molly. We'll sit at the table and eat them. Yeah, okay. Here you go, Molly. Ooh, these look delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, Molly, these are great hot dogs. Yeah, I want another one. That was so good. Me too. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. 
Okay, Miley. Who's getting the last one? Me! I'm taking it! Miley, you're so rude. Okay, I'm gonna eat it. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, Miley, go take your shower. Me? You're the one that's got a stink cloud around you. Miley, I do not have a stink cloud. Yeah, you do. No, I don't see. Okay, well, you must have ran in and put in some, put on some deodorant. I'm bored. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go play the piano. Molly, no, it's so much time for bed. Nah, I'm gonna play piano. Okay, let's see. What do I wanna play? I wanna play. When you wish upon a star, Molly, seriously, what? Do 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 do. Daisy, I smell your stink cloud. Go take a bath. Molly, I'm the babysitter, not you. But I guess you're right. I'll go take my shower first. But then you have to take one, Molly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hide on my sister while while she's gone <laughs> in the shower. It's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Whoa, it's raining outside. Okay, where can I hide? Got to be really quiet about it. I know. <laughs> I'm going to go over here and see if my neighbor has a pool. <laughs> I need to go swimming. It's going to be awesome. Davies is not going to even know where I am. <laughs> the pool's open. Splash. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at me. I can swim underwater. Woo. <laughs> Daisy will never catch me in here. <laughs> All you can see is like my eyes and my hair. <laughs> I don't see Daisy anywhere. <laughs> this is amazing. She's never gonna find me. She's never gonna find me. She's a terrible babysitter. She lost she lost the kid. Woo swimming underwater. I wish that I was a mermaid. I wish with all my heart that I could be a mermaid. <laughs> ah! Daisy, you scared me. You were standing right there. Molly, you're being very naughty. Oh, whatever, Daisy. You're not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. No, no, no. You're not the boss of me. Molly, I am the boss of you. But I'll dance along to your song. Yeah, Daisy, do it. You're not the boss of me, did it do? You're not the boss of me. <laughs> All right, Molly, enough funny business. Well, I don't need a shower now. I got in the pool. Ew, Molly, you still need a shower. Why? I was in the water. I don't need a shower. Molly, come back here. I'm running the long way, Daisy. I just, I need some alone time. Molly, I'm your babysitter. You don't get alone time. Get in the house! Yeah, okay. Jeez, this babysitter's bossy. <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to close the door, but I couldn't get there in time. <laughs> you mean you wanted to close the door on me, Molly? Yeah, kind of. Molly, take a shower, you're stinky. Yeah, okay. La 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 Oh, washing my hair. Do 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 do. Molly, be quiet. The babysitter needs to think. Yeah, okay, Daisy. I'm all clean. I can't get out of the shower. Let me out. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Molly, why are you closing the door? Because I gotta brush my teeth, Daisy. And I, the door was in the way. Do 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 do. Brushing my teeth before bed. You don't want to have funky teeth. <laughs> ah, that's much better. I'm all clean and I brush my teeth. Okay, Molly, you need to get into bed. No, Daisy, I want to read a story first. Okay, which one do I want to read? This one looks pretty good. 
Yes! I got some more intelligence! That's good, Molly. Now, you have to go to bed. No, no, no. I don't want to go to bed. I want to jump on the couch. Wee, wee, wee. Molly, very naughty. Very naughty. <laughs> You're like jumping around, Daisy. That was crazy. Daisy, could I have a glass of water before bed? Yes, Molly. I will get you something to drink. Okay, Daisy. Thanks. Time for bed! Time for bed! Where's all my pajamas? I need some pajamas. Uh, I guess it's time for bed already. I can't even believe it. Okay, Molly, I brought you a glass of water. Here you go. Oh, thanks, Daisy. You're the best mom ever. I mean, babysitter. <laughs> Molly, that's hilarious. I have to go to sleep too because tomorrow's a school day. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Daisy, turn off the light on your side. Okay, night, Molly. Oh my gosh, Daisy! You didn't put us to bed until 2.20 in the morning! You're a horrible babysitter. Molly, I tried my best. You're like the naughtiest kid on the planet. Okay, Daisy. See you in the morning. Night, Molly. <laughs> now that my sister's asleep... I can get out of here. Have some fun. I'm a night owl. I know. I could go drive mom's car. <laughs> That'll be fun. Whoa! I ran into the wall. Kind of tired, I guess. Okay, I just want to say that I have never... I have never, um, driven a car before, so... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh no! I ran into the neighbor's mailbox! That's not good. Okay. Let's see if I can go this way. Whoa! Whoa! Watch out for that tree! Ah, I'm a terrible driver! Whoa! 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 Uh, uh, it's raining. That's, that's why I'm such a terrible driver. Ah! <laughs> I keep driving in circles. Yeah! Oh, no. I ran into that tree right there. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to get the car back into the house before Daisy finds out. Here I go. Ah, I keep running into trees! Oh, no! Ah! 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 Why didn't my mom teach me how to drive yet? I don't understand why. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Okay, I guess I'm going to have to leave my car here. I have to run back home now. I'm gonna dance while I run. <laughs> that was funny. Wait, how do I get home? I'm so tired, I can't remember. Oh my gosh, is that Daisy outside? <gasps> I better hide behind this tree. She's gonna know. She's gonna know! Oh my gosh! Hopefully she doesn't come over here. Oh my gosh, did she see me? I don't think she saw me, guys. I think I'm still good. Molly, where were you? You're so naughty. Where were you, Molly? She can't see me. She can't see me. <laughs> She's going to run right by me. Oh, my gosh. She sees me. Run. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. She's after me. Mean babysitter. Mean babysitter. Where's the car? I bet I can make a getaway in the car. Okay, maybe not because I'm like the worst driver ever. Oh, my God. Daisy's in the car. Ah. <laughs> oh no, Daisy! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm so sorry, Daisy! I didn't mean it! I'm gonna jump into the water. She won't do that. I know she won't. <laughs> she won't find me down here. <laughs> I'm swimming away! Ah, she's driving our car under the water! <laughs> Daisy! You're a crazy babysitter! Miley, get back in the house right now! Oh man, I've been caught. She sunk our car! Oh my gosh, Daisy! You sunk our car! <laughs> oh, that is hilarious, Daisy! Holy cow! Well, she can't get out, so I guess I'm home free. Hope I can run faster than the car. 
Because if she gets out of the water, then she'll beat me back there. And I kind of want to make her think that she just dreamt this whole thing. <laughs> I think I can do it. I just have to get back to my house faster than her. Well, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh my gosh, this is awesome, guys. She's she, I'm going to just be like, what are you talking about, Daisy? You're sleepwalking. I didn't leave the house. She left the door open, too. I can't get in the, in the house. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No. Ah. Daisy, what is wrong with you? Oh, I've been sleeping the whole time. What? What? You you have been? But but. Oh no, Daisy! You've been sleepwalking again. Oh man, I almost set my alarm. Hold on. Molly, I knew I wasn't sleepwalking. Yeah, you were, Daisy. You better go back to sleep. We have to wake up in a half an hour for school. But Molly, I swear that you you were running around and and also you you were you were <laughs> Wow, that was a close one. Oh my gosh. I thought my sister was gonna catch me, but she didn't. <laughs> I only have a half an hour before I get to, to get up for school. I better go to sleep. <laughs> Toy Hero fans, if you liked this Roblox video with me and Daisy, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes main channel and the Toy Heroes games, where you can see more of these awesome Roblox role plays. Right, Daisy? Uh, yeah, Marley. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>
good. <laughs> Ew, Molly, I heard that. Try not to eat so many beans. Well, I guess I better brush my teeth. I don't want to have stinky breath. Okay, let's see. Where is my toothbrush? Where, where? Okay, there it is. Molly, come on. The school bus is here. Uh, well, I got to brush my teeth a little bit. Guess I don't even have time for breakfast. Oh, well. My stomach hurts anyway. Molly, did you seriously just jump over the railing again? Mom told you not to do that. Look, I know you think you're in charge this morning, but I'm not in the mood, Daisy. Don't be rude to me, Molly. I don't care. I I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Molly, where's your backpack? Oh, yeah, I forgot my backpack. All right, let me grab it. Got it. Molly, that's not your backpack. I know. My backpack's in the washer. All I have is a suitcase, and it feels so heavy. Molly, get on the school bus. We don't want to be late. Daisy, you're always so worried we're going to be late. We're not going to be late, I promise. Yeah, because I annoy you all the time and tell you, come on, let's go. Molly, why are you driving the school bus? What is going on? Molly, you cannot drive a school bus. Well, the school bus driver quit last week, so it's my job to drive us to school. Oh, my God, we're all going to die. Daisy, seriously, quit being so dramatic. Molly... Molly, that's not a road. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. My sister is so dramatic, I swear. Molly, quit driving on the sidewalk. Oh, boy. This isn't going to be good. You're going to crash into the school. Well, I got us here on time, though. Oh, brother. Look at this. It's, it's, the bus is in the, okay, just back the bus up. Okay, fine. I thought my park job was just fine. Molly, you parked inside the school. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's just get school over with. Ugh, I'm really not feeling too good. My stomach hurts. Ugh. Oh, hey, Molly. Good morning. Whoa, Molly. You look like a zombie. I'm not really a zombie. I don't crave brains or anything. But my stomach is really upset. Oh, Molly, you look like maybe you have a flu bug or something. Uh, you're my best friend and I love you and stuff, but could you sit over there? Because I don't want it. Yeah, okay, fine. I wonder where the teacher is. She should be here any minute. There's the teacher. Man, she's late. She should get detention. I heard that, Molly. Good morning. Traffic was terrible and the school bus driver was driving insane. Um, I don't know who the school bus driver is. Me either, but they should get fired. I agree. I totally agree. Hey, I got us here on time, didn't I? Okay, Molly, since you're so talkative today, why don't you come up to the board and solve this problem? Oh, man, do I have to? Yes, Molly, please. Okay, fine. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to this. I also don't feel so good. I don't I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel so good. Molly? Molly, are you okay? Molly, say something. She's just faking it because she doesn't want to have to do the problem on the board. Molly, should I do CPR? No, no, I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh my gosh. Molly, what's wrong? I think I might have the flu or something. I don't feel so good. Okay, Molly. Well, let me help you up. Come on. There you go. Okay, why don't you head right to the school nurse? Okay. She's faking it. Um, Daisy, uh, she's actually green. She feels so sick. She's definitely not faking it. She probably just painted herself that way with makeup. Daisy, do you want to find out by me coughing on you? No, don't cough on me. You have some sort of weird disease. See, I guess I'm not faking it anymore. Am I, Daisy? Ugh, off to the school nurse. Uh, uh, n nurse Susie? Oh, Molly, what brings you into the nurse's office today? Nurse Susie, I, I, do, I don't f feel very good. I passed out in my math class. Oh my gosh, Molly! Okay, come right in and lay down on the magic cot. Okay. Why is it called magic? Well, because when you lay on it, sometimes you feel better and you can go back to class. Would you like to try that? Yeah, oh, oh, okay, I'll lay here for a few minutes. Okay, I'll be back to check on you. Bye. Ugh, I still don't feel good. 
<laughs> Molly, how are you feeling? The magic cot didn't work! The magic cot didn't work! Oh my goodness, Molly. Hmm. This sandwich is delicious. Oh, that's gonna make me throw up. Get out of here with that sandwich! Ooh, you're a little grumpy. Okay, I'm gonna take you into the x-ray room and just take a quick look at your lungs, okay? Fine. Ugh. Okay, Molly, hop right into the x-ray machine. This won't hurt a bit. Okay. Ugh. I think maybe, um, I'm dying! You're not dying, Molly. Trust me. Oh, my. It looks as if your lungs are congested. I think you definitely have the flu. We're going to have to call your mom and you're going to go home. Now, tell me why exactly you came into school today. You could pass this disease to lots of other people. Well, it's not a disease, but you could pass this virus to a lot of other people. Um, because my sister said I was faking it. And my mom left her in charge. She had to go to work early. Well, viruses are not anything to take lightly. You definitely have a fever and congestion in your lungs. You need to be home in bed resting. Now, what's your mom's phone number? It's one, two, seven, three, six, five, four. All right, I'll ring her right now. Hello? Hi, this is the school nurse, Nurse Susie. Oh no, which one of them are in trouble now? No, no, it's the school nurse. How many months does Molly have detention for? No, no, no. <laughs> um, Molly is actually sick. What? She is? Is she okay? She appears to have some lung congestion and a fever. It's just a typical virus, but I need you to come pick her up. Absolutely. Tell Molly I'll be right there. Okay, thanks so much. Molly, your mom says she'll be right here. Come on, you can go lay back down on the magic cot until she gets here. Are you going to make me go back to class? Absolutely not, Molly. You're probably contagious. And you need to be home in your own comfortable bed. Even the magic cot can't work this time. Now just close your eyes and rest till your mom gets here. Thank you. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Nurse Susie. <coughs> oh my, Daisy. Are you okay? Wow, you look just like your sister. I'm not a zombie, I swear. I just feel so sick. I look terrible. Oh, she infected me with her disease. Actually, correction. She infected you with a virus. Ah, come on. I'll give you an x-ray and see if you have the same lung congestion. If you do, I'll send you home and you can rest. Ah, oh, that would be good. Please call my mom right away. <coughs> This won't hurt a bit, Daisy. Okay, if you say so. Oh, but my stomach hurts. Just as I suspected. Lung congestion, just like Molly. Okay, and you have a fever. I'm going to call your mom. Hello? Hi, um, I'm so sorry to do this again, but it's Nurse Susie. Oh no, did Molly forget her backpack? I just got her into bed. No, no, no. Molly didn't forget anything, but you're going to have to come back down to the school. Wait, what? D did you forget to tell me she has attention? No, it's Daisy. She has the same virus as Molly. Oh, no, Daisy. Okay, well, tell Daisy I'll be there in like five minutes to pick her up. Will do. Thank you. Daisy, your mom says she's coming soon. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm gonna go home so bad I don't feel good. Oh, Daisy, it's all right. Your mom said she'll be here in like five minutes. So everything's gonna be all right, okay? I feel bad because I told my sister she was faking it. And I made her come to school because my mom left me in charge. Oh, Daisy. Well, in your defense, Molly does fake being sick sometimes and gets detention. I know, but now that I've caught this virus, I know exactly how she feels. It's horrible! Oh, Daisy, everything will be fine, I promise. You'll be over this virus in no time. Now, come on, you can lay on the magic cot until your mom gets here. What's so magic about it? It did make me feel better. Why does everybody call it the magic cot? Don't worry, Brookie. Now that you're at the school nurse, everything will be fine because they have a magic cot here. 
I don't know about that magic cot, Brittany. I don't think it really works. Especially not if you hurt your leg like I did. Everything's gonna be fine, Brookie, trust me. Although I'm not really sure how you did that crazy thing at the playground. I... I know. It just it hurts so bad. The school nurse will help you, I promise. I just keep thinking about my accident. It was horrible. Hey, Brittany, want to see me backflip? I've been working on this in gymnastics. Um, Brookie, I don't think that's a really good idea. That's a really high ladder. And and I don't, I don't, I don't know. What? I can't hear you. Watch this. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Ah! Brookie? Brookie, are you okay? No, my leg! I think it's broken! Oh my gosh! It just keeps playing over and over in my mind, like in slow motion. Oh, Brookie, I'm so sorry you got hurt. It's, it's, it's horrible. It is horrible. Hey, girls, what brings you? Whoa! What happened to you, Brookie? Um, she fell on the playground. Well, actually, she was doing a backflip off the tallest slide ladder that we have in the playground. What? Why were you doing that? Oh, I'm getting so tired. I've seen so many students today. Well, you better wake up because Brookie here needs your help, Nurse Susie. Okay, Brookie, come on into the x-ray room and we'll take a look at what's going on inside your leg. Oh, okay, I'm really nervous. Don't be nervous, Brookie. An x-ray doesn't hurt. One time I fell and hurt my arm and I had to have an x-ray. It didn't hurt at all. Okay, I'll wait out here for you. Just as I suspected, you definitely have a broken ankle. I'm going to have to call your mom and she'll have to take you to the hospital. Oh, no. This is the worst news ever! And just hang tight, Brookie. I'm gonna call your mom now. Hello? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, mom's on her way, Brookie. Okay. Yeah, Brookie got hurt at school today. I'm so sorry to tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I think she's broken her ankle. Yes, you'll have to take her to the hospital. I'll call ahead for you. Okay, see you in 15 minutes. Goodbye. Your mom's on her way, Brookie, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm just scared. Everything's going to be all right, I promise. Oh, this was the longest day in the history of days. Oh, I can't wait to go home. Oh. Oh, that was such a long day, but my favorite show is on Survivor. OMG, I love this show so much. I wonder what's going to happen to Matt. And, and did Judy survive? Oh. In this Brookhaven mini movie, Sarah is bullying Brookie. Now Brookie just wants to hide and not be seen. But Molly and Daisy tell Brookie it's always been her dream to try out for theater. And she can't let her hater keep her from her dream. But will Sarah ruin Brookie's tryout? Or will she finally confront her hater? Watch to the end of this video to find out. And guys, don't forget to like this video and comment below. La 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 I'm so excited because it's school time. Molly, you don't look like you're ready at all. Daisy, why? Why are you singing so happy? Because it's time for school. Come on, let's go. Sorry, can't watching this funny dog video. <laughs> Actually, they're twin dogs. Aren't they adorable? Molly, you're gonna be late for school again. Sorry, Daisy, I can't. I'm still eating breakfast. Ew, Molly, that's totally unhealthy. Why are you eating that frosted donut? Um, I don't know. Let me think about it. Because it's delicious! Whoa, grumpy. Well, when I have to go to school, it makes me kind of grumpy. I think I'll just stay here. Did you forget that Bookie's getting a ride with us today? She'll be here any minute. Now you want to make your friend late for school? Ugh, <sighs> okay, I guess not. Turn off the TV and eat an apple, Molly Jeepers. I'll turn off the TV, but I'm not eating an apple. This donut's too delicious. Mmm, yummy. 
Oh, Brookie's here already. Hey, Brookie, come on in. Ow, you kind of opened the door in my face, Molly. Sorry. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, now you're just hitting yourself with the door. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm having a kind of a crazy morning. Good morning, Brookie. It's time for school. Um, does anyone know why Daisy's singing? She thinks that our life is a musical. I live in a musical. And I'm going to school. Enough, Daisy. Seriously. You're making me crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah, I have to admit, our life is not a musical, Daisy. Okay, suit yourself, Grumpus. But I'm super excited about school. Um, I was thinking instead of going to school today, we could go to the beach. What? That's a great idea. Uh, Pookie, I don't know about this. Okay, I need my bathing suit and my sunglasses. Perfect. Oh, wow, Molly, I love your bathing suit. Whoa, Molly, that's actually pretty awesome. And look at your glasses. <laughs> they are so cute. Yeah, this is going to be so much fun to go to the beach. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Before we get too carried away here, we have school. And we're still students, you know. We have to go to school. It's the law. Well, today... <coughs> I'm feeling very sick. Can't go. Can't go. Oh, need day trip. Need day trip. Molly, quit thinking that you're sick. We're going to school. Daisy, stop doing CPR. Ah, Daisy, no. I'm going to pretend I'm sick. I'm going to pretend. She's definitely faking it. But, you know, I do think we need a beach day. Uh-huh. Me too. We should eat donuts while we're there. Molly, get up right now. Wow. Am I the only responsible one here? Ugh. Do we have to go to school? I vote no. I vote yes. Now, seriously, Molly, get up. Here's nothing more than a party pooper. What? What did you say, Molly? Oh, sorry. I was still eating my donut. You are a party pooper. Molly, go get dressed for school. You know we have to go. Ugh. Okay, guys. I guess... I guess we can go to school. Fine. All right, let's go. Uh, Molly, Daisy already went out to get the car, but are you sure we can't go to the beach instead? No, she's probably right. We don't want detention for missing school. Yeah, I guess you're right. What? Daisy, what are you doing? My car's in the shop, peeps. We gotta take Dad's monster truck. Oh, boy, how embarrassing. Okay. Rookie, I think you might have to sit on the roof. There's not another seat for you. Oh, man. Okay. I can't get in the car. Daisy, unlock the door. I'm trying to, Molly. This isn't my car, remember? This is so embarrassing. Look at this vehicle. I think it's kind of cool, actually. Um, guys, okay. Uh, okay, I'm finally in. Perfect. Let's go to school. It's gonna be super amazing. Daisy, again. Don't sing about school. We're here. Come on, everybody. Time for school. Oh, boy. Come on, Brookie. Um, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Oh, wait. I forgot to sign in. La, 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 la. Ah, uh, gotta go to my locker and get all of my books out. Always want me to carry like a thousand books. And now I have to cram some studying in. You didn't study for your test last night? Oh, wait. This is Molly we're talking about. Of course you didn't. Uh, I hope nobody sees me. I don't want anyone to see me. So, uh, did you study for your test? Silly question, Molly. Of course I did. Uh, well, I guess I'm the only one that didn't. Uh, I've got to get some practice in before cheerleading tonight. Oh, no. It's Sarah. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. B-E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. -S -S -E. Oh, yeah. I'm the best. Oh, I have to try to sneak out of here before Sarah sees me. Okay. Um, maybe while her back's turned, I can I can do this. All right. Okay, just got to be really, really quiet. Uh, I am the best there ever was. <laughs> no one is as good at cheer captain as me. <laughs> almost there. Almost there. Oh, phew, I made it. Why do I need to know all this stuff anyway? Seriously. Ugh, this seems like a lot of stuff to cram into my brain. Hey, what? Was that Brookie just sneaking by? Oh my gosh. She wants to play hide and seek. Perfect. All right, where am I going to hide? Daisy, we're playing hide and seek. You're it. Molly, wait, what? What's going on? Brookie's hiding from everybody. <laughs> hide and seek time. <laughs> She'll never find me here. Molly, where are you? We, we got to talk about something. Molly. <laughs> Uh, she's terrible at hide and seek, and I'm amazing at it. It's definitely going to be her that's it again, or maybe Brookie. Molly! Molly, where are you? Molly, seriously, come out here. Molly, I see you. No, you don't. I'm not Molly. Molly! I win. Come out here. Not till you catch me. <laughs> Molly! Oh, my gosh. My sister's so immature right now. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm running around in circles. Oh, wow. I'm outside the school now. <laughs> I better go back in. Molly, what? get back here, Molly. Oh, I've got you trapped now. Uh, Daisy, did you do your homework? I know you're not the teacher when I caught you. Oh, fine. I guess I'm it. No, Molly, you don't understand. Bookie's not playing a game right now. Wait, what? We're playing hide and seek. No, Molly. <sighs> Don't you know anything? Uh, apparently not. Can you explain to me what I'm supposed to be knowing? Um, okay, so Bookie is obviously hiding from someone or something. Wait, she is? Like, for real? Yeah, she's upset about something. That's why she didn't want to come to school. She never misses school. Well, you do have a point there. I mean, I'm the one that always gets attention. You and Brookie are great students. Yeah, she didn't want to come to school today. And when she got here, she was hiding. Something's bothering her. We have to find her and figure out what it is. I know where she's hiding. You do? Yeah, it's where she hides if she gets a bad grade on her test. Come on, follow me. She's in the bathroom? Don't tell me she's in the boys' room. Of course not. She gets attention. Okay, let's go in here. I'm sure she's in here. Brookie? 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 Okay, she's not in that one. Molly? Uh, sorry. That's okay. I'm just using the toilet as a seat anyway. Oh, okay, because... That would be gross if it was stinky in here. Molly! <laughs> uh, Brookie, can you come out here? We need to talk to you for a minute. Ah, <sighs> yeah, sure. Brookie, what's going on with you today? What? What do you mean? Well, first you want to go to the beach instead of going to school? Weird. Hey, everyone just needs some time off once in a while, okay? I just needed to go to the beach. Yeah, right. You wouldn't miss the test for anything. You like school anyway. Besides, we were having pizza for lunch. Your favorite. Yeah, um, okay, well... Uh, it's okay. You can tell us. We're your best friends. You're hiding in the bathroom for a reason. Well, uh, it all started when... <sighs> I've been practicing so hard for the school musical. I think I actually have what it takes this year. La, 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 la. I think my singing is good and my dancing. What? You are going to try out for the school musical? <laughs> What's so funny, Sarah? <laughs> you wouldn't make it into the school musical if you were the last student, like, in the school. Actually, the last student on earth. What? 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 It's not very nice to say. I've been working on this for months. My my audition's got to be good. Well, <laughs> if that was your audition, I can tell you right now, pff, you're not gonna make it on the on the what is it even called? I don't know. I don't know what you losers in the musical call it. We're not losers. We're, we're, we're creative and not like the cheer squad. We're amazing. <laughs> Sarah, that's really mean. Well. I just speak the truth, okay? But my dream is to be in theater someday, and, 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 and if I don't make it onto this, I don't make this audition and, and, and get the part, then my dreams will never come true. Well, maybe you could get a job like, I don't know, working at the ice cream shop or something. I mean, you'd be pretty good scooping ice cream. <laughs> Seriously, stop crying. It's annoying. And that's why I didn't want to come to school today. Or ever again. Oh my gosh, Brookie. That is a terrible thing that happened to you. Don't listen to anything she says. She's just a rude bully. Who, me? No, Molly. I was... Oh my gosh, Molly. Of course you're not. You're her friend. I was talking about Sarah. <laughs> I didn't think you were saying I was a rude bully. Neither one of you are rude bullies. But Sarah's just so mean to me and... I'm not even going to go to tryouts. I, I, I don't want to be in theater anymore. But Brookie, you love theater. You're amazing. You're an amazing actor and, and singer and dancer. And you're going to be amazing at your tryout. Do you really believe that, Molly? I sure do. So don't I, Brookie. We could sit in the audience and cheer you on. Yeah, uh, isn't tryouts today? Yeah, but... I don't know, guys. I just feel like you're saying that because you're my friend. No, we're saying that because you're amazing. Well, um, and we probably wouldn't be mean to you if you won't. See? Now, how do I know if I'm really good or if I'm really bad? Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. Uh, I'm saying you're my friend, so you're trying to be nice. You wouldn't tell me if I was bad at it. No, but we'd just be like, Brookie, maybe not this year or something. I don't know. We'd be nice about it. Yeah, we'd be nice about it. Um, okay. Well, I guess I can do the tryout then. Hooray! Okay, let's go. Wait, we have to try out right now? 
Yep. La 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 la. Bookie's gonna try out. Oh, whoa. I think Sarah's trying out. I thought theater was for losers. Whatever. I'm gonna be the best at this school play ever. Watch my tryout and wish you were as good as me. That was the most amazing tryout ever. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, um, next. What? You don't tell me right now? No, Sarah. The sign-up's on the board. You can see it at the end of the day. Next for tryouts is Brookie. Go, Brookie! Go, Brookie! Go, Brookie! You can do this, Brookie! We think you're amazing! <laughs> Those are my best friends. Okay, Brookie. Let's see what you got. Okay, um, I'll, I'll post the people who've made it on to the theater group on the board at the end of the day. Yay! See, Brookie, I knew you could do it. La, 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 la. I'm coming backstage with you because I've never been back here before. Ugh, great. It's you losers. You think your friend is ever going to make it? Um, yeah, I do. Oh, don't worry about it, Molly. Let's just go. Brookie, you have to stand up to this hater. I don't want to, Molly. She's just rude. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. What are you two losers whispering about? Hey, quit being rude to me. Oh, good job, Brookie. If you don't stop being rude to me, I, I, I'm going to tell the principal. Yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever. What do you think the principal's going to do? Um, ground you? Oh, Molly, no. That's a parent that could ground you. She'd get detention because, well, <laughs> this is school. Well, whatever. I think you're the biggest loser ever and you're never going to make it. Stop saying that about my friend. Yeah, stop talking to me like that, Sarah. I don't have to listen to anything you losers say. Her audition was terrible, just like she's terrible at everything. Brookie. Are you okay? No, Mr. Principal, Sarah's being so mean to me. I asked her to stop bullying me, but she won't. Whatever. Not whatever, Sarah. You have detention for two weeks. What? But my cheerleading competition. Sorry, but you can't participate. What? Oh. Gee. What? No! I should be able to participate! Maybe you shouldn't bully people anymore, Sarah. You've been bullying me all week. I didn't even want to come to school anymore. What? Sarah, this is unacceptable. Three weeks of detention. What? Oh my gosh! This is terrible! Oh, well, maybe next time you won't bully. Whoa, did, did she just jump over our heads? That was like magic. I saw that too. I think she was just so upset. She just like, she's out of here. Well, girls, I hope you have a much better day. Thanks, Mr. Principal. You're really nice. Thanks for sticking up for me when someone's bullying me. See, Brookie, you stood up for yourself. Now let's go to the cafeteria and eat all the pizza. <laughs> okay, Molly. Well, aren't you glad you came to school today? It is pizza day. Yeah. Having a friend like you and Daisy makes it so much easier to come to school. I couldn't agree more. You're my bestest friend ever. Now let's go get some pizza. Laura, roll over. You're snoring so loud. Huh? What? Uh, sorry. Laura, seriously, why are you snoring so loud? Ugh, I never met a girl who could snore as loud as you can. Uh, sorry. Ugh, my stomach is just really hurting. Oh, you probably have to fart. Just go back to sleep. Oh, I think I have to go to the bathroom. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I hope you're gonna be okay. Thanks, Dan. Ugh. Ugh, I'm definitely gonna throw up. Ugh. Blech. Oh, gross! I hate throwing up! Oh, I don't feel so good. Laura, are you okay in there? Are you throwing up? Oh, she definitely got the stomach bug. Gross! Laura, it's okay! I'll bring you the Pepto-Bismol! Poor thing. Aw, I'll be right there. I mixed it with some ice cream so it tastes better, because Pepto-Bismol tastes awful. Laura, can I come in? Okay, you didn't answer. Here I come. <laughs> Laura? Oh my gosh, what happened? Laura? Are you alive? Uh, okay, 
yeah, she's alive. She's moaning. Oh my gosh, she fainted. Okay, I'm calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? My wife, she was puking a lot and I went to make her an ice cream pe Pepto Bismol smoothie and when I came back she was laying on the floor she had passed out I thought she was dead but no she moaned so she's not dead okay first of all you should never feed someone ice cream and Pepto Bismol when they don't feel good okay yeah but who cares about that second of all I have dispatched a ambulance to your house we know exactly where your cell phone location is. <laughs> it's so crazy, right? Technology. Are you going to be here soon? I'm really worried. Yes, we'll be there soon. Laura, everything's going to be okay, I promise. The paramedics are on their way. Uh, 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 I think she may have thrown up way too many times. I'm not really sure, though, what's going on. I hope she doesn't die. I love her a whole lot. Except for when she snores so bad in bed. Okay, sir. Everything's going to be fine. Hello, paramedic! Oh my gosh! You guys got here so quick! Oh my! Okay, let's see what the trouble is. Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am? Oh, I can hear you. My stomach just hurts and then I got really dizzy. Oh, wow, ma'am. Well, I'm going to put you on the stretcher and take you in the ambulance to the hospital, okay? Do you remember your name? Yeah, it's Laura. Okay, Laura. Everything's going to be okay. All right, sir. Uh, you might want to get off the stretcher. Sorry, I'm just really nervous and kind of tired. I'll go out here and wait. Dan, why are you getting on my stretcher? Sorry. <laughs> Oops. All right, Laura. I'm just going to put you on the stretcher now. Everything's going to be okay. You're the nicest paramedic ever. Thank you so much. No problem, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Let's go get you into the ambulance. Would you like to come along, husband? Absolutely. Uh, I'll even go in my pajamas. I don't care. I don't know what happened. I, I was fine. I was sleeping and my husband woke me up and said, you're snoring too loud. And my stomach got upset and I ran into the bathroom to throw up and I fainted. It's okay, ma'am. We're going to take you to the hospital and they'll find out what's going on. We, we didn't pick up my husband. He'll have to meet us there. This is an emergency. Laura, are you still with me? Yeah, I'm just feeling really faint again. Oh, and my stomach really hurts. It's going to be okay, honey. I'm going to take good care of you. Come on. Let's get you, get you into a room so a doctor can see you. Hi there, Laura, is it? Yeah, I, I, I don't feel very good. Well, I'm Dr. Nickenbacher, and I will be taking care of you today. I just want my husband. Is he here yet? Uh, he should be on his way. I'm right here, honey. Sorry, you guys left without me. I just had to get my slippers. I came as soon as I could. I ran the whole way. You didn't take the car? Well, I mean, I ran to the car, and then I ran from the car to the emergency room door. That's what I bet. <laughs> I'm way too lazy to run all the way to the hospital. You know that. Yeah, I know. Oh, my stomach. Well, the first thing I think we should do with your wife is get an x-ray of her entire body because we have no idea what's going on most especially her brain and her stomach since she fainted and her stomach hurts that sounds like a good plan i'm so worried about her all right i'll send in a stretcher for you and i'll meet you in the x-ray room oh this won't hurt will it no x-rays are painless although they can be a little noisy how long will this take um, well, if I don't hit myself at the door, <laughs> about till right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, wow. Um, that's an interesting find. What? What is it? Am I dying? I'm going to send in the nurse to bring you back on the stretcher, and we'll have this conversation with your husband. Really? Really? I'm going to die, aren't I? That's why he needs to be there. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'll see you back in your room, Laura. What is it? What's happening? Let's wait for your wife to get back. This is the type of news I want to tell you together. Oh my god, she's dying! I knew it! Just calm down, Mr. Smith. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I reviewed your wife's x-rays, and this is going to come as a bit of a shock to you. I knew it! She's dying! I don't know how I'll ever say goodbye to you, Dan. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Dramatic, she's not dying. She's actually, well... Pregnant. Wait, what? Pregnant? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! This is a little shocking and crazy. 
Yeah, and the crazy part is, is you guys are having, um, triplets. Triplets? What? <sighs> Mr. Smith? Now you're the one that fainted. Mr. Smith, are you okay? Okay. I just need a minute here on the floor to just catch my breath. Okay. Are you okay, Mrs. Smith? I... I can't believe it. Pregnant with triplets? When... When am I due? When am I going to have my baby? Babies! <laughs> I mean, I still have to have, like, a baby shower and get cribs and... Well, that's just the thing. I've never seen this before in my career as a doctor, but... You're going to give birth any minute. Wait, what? Okay, I'm just going to stay down here on the floor because I can't move. I... <sighs> Dan, I need your support! I can't believe it. I'm going to... Ah, my stomach hurts! Ah! Okay, honey. We got this. I mean, right? We do have this, right? You guys totally got it. Let me go put my iPad down. Sounds like I'm going to deliver three little babies. I've never seen this in my career before. This is going to be crazy. All right, let me change into my scrubs. What an amazing day this is going to be. Okay, let's do this. Wait, you, you already had one of the babies? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. Oh, you didn't wait for me. Oh, I wanted to deliver the baby. Okay, well, she had one. What do you want me to say? Oh, but here comes another. Here, Dan, hold the first baby. What am I supposed to do with it? Just be nice to her while I deliver baby number two. Okay, Laura, deep breath. Doctor, why are you laying down? Sorry, it's been a long shift. I didn't mean to lay down. Are you sleeping standing up? I don't know if I really am okay with you delivering these babies right now. You're being a little crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just lay down for a minute. Okay, I'm good. I took a one-minute nap, so I'm fine. All right, let's deliver that second baby. Great job, Laura. She's beautiful. Okay, choose enough. We don't need the third one. She, can, she doesn't have to come. She can stay. Sorry, that's not the way it works, Mr. Smith. You're having three babies. Oh, she's adorable. Hi, sweet little girl. I know. Mine's adorable, too. They're both adorable, and we still have one more. I'm going to be poor. I'm totally going to be poor. Three girls? Trips to the malls? Oh, my gosh. I'm done for. Hi, Dr. Nickenbacker. What can I do for you? Whoa! You have twins? No, identical triplets. Oh. My. Gosh. Okay, take the second baby because Laura's about to have the third. Okay, no problem. All right, Laura, deep breath. Are you seriously laying down again? Sorry, I'm just really tired. This is, like, a lot of excitement. I am a really good doctor, though, I promise. Well, then stand up and help me give birth to this baby. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. All right, you're doing great, Laura. Oh, my gosh, honey. You had three babies! Get out of my bed, Dr. Knickerbocker! <sighs> okay, well, my shift's just about over, and these babies look adorable and healthy. Congratulations! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Today has been the craziest day of my entire existence. Tell me about it, but look at our adorable babies. Oh, so sweet! Now all we have to decide is what we're going to name them. Hey guys, if you have names that would be perfect for our trip list, let us know in the comment section below because Laura and I have to come up with three adorable names for our sweet little girls. And we want to know what you guys would name your triplets. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye guys! Oh, it's been such a long day. But look at the beautiful babies I got out of it. <laughs> I'm so happy. Ah, I hope there's a huge pot of coffee this morning. Good morning, Molly. Daisy, you are too happy in the morning. Take down your happiness level until I've had my coffee. Wow, grumpy much? Daisy, don't talk to me until I've had my ah, coffee. So tired still. Mmm, that's delicious. I need another cup. 
still asleep. And bing! I'm awake for the day! <laughs> Just like that. Coffee has magical powers, you know. Magical powers! Daisy, what on earth are you doing? Why are you standing in all the corners? I'm making a checklist, Molly, of all the different outlets, light switches, and things like that. Okay, my sister has lost her mind. What, did they put crazy in your coffee today? No, Molly, I have to do these repairs and things. I have to make everything baby-proof. Baby-proof? Wait a minute, why? Are you adopting a baby? <laughs> At my age? Absolutely not. I have a lot of goals, you know, and being a famous scientist is one of them before I have kids. Uh, so why are you doing this? Because, Molly, I've started a babysitting service. I'm like guacamole, are you serious? That sounds like tons of work. Yeah, but you get $100 for watching a kid for a few hours while its parents have date night. A hundred bucks? Are you serious right now? That's tons of money. Yeah, Molly, and if you're willing to help me split the, the load of all the work of taking care of a kid, I'll give you 50 bucks. What? You'll give me half? Yeah, if you do half the work, half the diapers. Whoa, 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 I don't do diapers. Then you don't make 50 bucks. All right, fine, I'll do diapers. Then it's agreed upon. Oh, look, it looks like somebody's already calling me to babysit. Hello, Daisy's babysitting service. Hello, my name is Morticia Adams, and I'm looking for a babysitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is Daisy, how can I help you? My husband Gomez and I would like to have a date night through the cemetery. A date night through the cemetery? Um, okay. Uh, will I charge $100 per date night? Uh, I guess whatever floats your boat as far as the cemetery goes. Great. I'll bring my sweet little Wednesday by at 6 p.m. sharp. But don't feed her scorpion soup. She'll be having that for lunch. Goodbye. Scorpion soup? <laughs> she must be pranking me. Well, our first babysitting job, Molly. This is going to be amazing. Oh, Wednesday, you're only a year old and you're already learning how to drive the family hearse. I'm so proud of you. Now remember, be on your worst behavior. <laughs> um, okay, Mom, I'll try my best. Look, it's my first babysitting job. Hi, come on in. Hi, I'm Morticia. Hi, I'm Daisy. I'm so sorry, darling, but you're going to have to stay with her. What? No way, Mom. I'm not staying here. Wednesday, just remember who you are and don't let this cheery babysitter bring you down. What would you say? I said, if you have any problems, make sure you don't call me. Gomez, I'm coming, honey. I can't wait for our walk in the cemetery. Hi, Wednesday. I'm Daisy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even want to be here, but I have to be because I still need a babysitter. Oh, well, I have lots of games we can play. Everything has been safety proofed. What? That sounds so boring. Oh my gosh. Do you still um poop your pants? Do you need like a diaper change? No, I've been potty trained since six months old. Whoa, that's amazing. You must be super smart, Wednesday. Hey, the cool babysitter is here. What do you mean the cool babysitter? The one that gives you Doritos and stuff. Whatever, I'd rather eat scorpions. Huh? What? Did she just say scorpions? Yeah, but it's some sort of prank. Her mom and her think it's hilarious. No, seriously. Scorpions are my favorite thing to eat. Well, try these Doritos instead. You're going to love them. Mm, these are pretty good. You are the cooler babysitter. Hey, this is Daisy's babysitting service. Molly's just naughtier than me, that's all. Yeah, exactly. And we Adams, we like to be naughty. <laughs> Well, then you'll love this activity. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, we're supposed to be the mature one. Stop that. Oh, my gosh. Hanging out at your house is fun. What did you say your name was? Molly, and you can basically call me the coolest babysitter ever. Let's ditch that Daisy babysitter and get out of here. My mom will give you the hundred bucks all by yourself. 
Uh, sorry, Daisy, but I'm stealing your client. Molly, you better not! Molly! Let's go down to town. I'm sure there's something fun to do down there. Don't you want to drive? Drive? You're one years old. How are you going to drive? My mom lets me drive her hers. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I know, right? How come you talk so sweet sometimes and other times you talk like a demon? Well, <laughs> I am part demon. Whoa, Wednesday. Um, can I have the angel part of you back? Oh, no. There's no angel part of me. There's only demon. And then there's this part of me that I use just to trick people to think that I'm a sweet little human child. Whoa. <laughs> Wednesday, um, you're kind of weird, but I like you. Let's go eat ice cream. Ooh, ice cream sounds delicious. This is the sweetest ice cream in Brookhaven. Whoa, delicious. Oh, man, she's got the angel voice on again. Wait a minute. Is she trying to trick me? Nah, she wouldn't do that. Where is everybody? They're supposed to be working and there's nobody back there. Okay, fine. I'll just scoop my own ice cream then. I want a scoop of mint chocolate chip. I want a scoop of bubble gum. Pretty much I want a scoop of everything. Mm. Okay, Wednesday. Where are... Wednesday? Where are you? Is she in the bathroom? Wednesday? Wednesday? Oh my gosh. Uh, I lost my, my kid that I'm babysitting. I should have known when she was talking like that angel that she was up to no good. That's how she was talking to Daisy. Oh, no. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Molly, wh where's Wednesday? Um, so, um, I went and got some ice cream and... Molly, stop eating the ice cream and tell me where Wednesday is. Stop sticking the ice cream in my face, Molly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I lost Wednesday. What? Why are you still eating ice cream then? Um, I eat when I get nervous. Molly! Where is she? She's my responsibility. I don't know, but let's finish this ice cream and then we can go find her. Molly, put down the ice cream. Fine, okay. I thought you'd understand I eat when I'm nervous. Not a chance, Molly. Come on, let's go find her. Well, be careful when she talks like a sweet little angel and not a demon because it means she's trying to trick you. What? She can talk in two different voices? Yeah, one sounds like this. Hi, I'm Wednesday. That one is her, like, depressed demon voice. And then when she talks like, hi, I'm Wednesday. That's the one where she's trying to convince you she's all good and, and happy and stuff. And then she does something crazy. Don't worry, Molly. We'll find Wednesday Adams. If it's the last thing we do. Wednesday, where are you? Something tells me she doesn't actually want to be found. She's kind of naughty. Something tells me that she already got arrested. Arrested? Wait, no, no, wait. There she is. Come back here. What do you want? We're your babysitters. What are you doing? Hey, don't climb that ladder. You naughty little kid. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this was worth the $100. Are she getting in the helicopter? Aw, uh, Daisy, we might have a problem. Uh, I've never flown a helicopter before. You're one years old. You don't know how to fly a helicopter. Come on out of there. I'll give you some ice cream. Please, please. Uh-oh. Um, She fell down through and crashed it already. Uh, that's probably not good, Wednesday. It's okay. I'll just spawn another helicopter, and then I'll fly it around. You will not. You're going to have a timeout. Get back here, you little brat. Molly, we don't use those words with our clients. Hey, you're a brat. And I think that you need a timeout. Mega bad. Mega bad, baby. You scared Daisy and I half to death. I thought you were going to be good. Good? You were encouraging her to jump on the couch. Okay, maybe I'm not the best influence, but Wednesday... Timeout chair, now. What? I don't need the timeout chair. Don't use your angel voice with me, Wednesday. Time out chair, now. Fine. This is the lamest babysitting ever. Well, I guess you have to learn your lesson. No more running away from your babysitters. The parents are going to be here any minute, Molly. I don't know if they'll like that we gave her a timeout. She deserved it. Naughty, naughty baby. Hello, I'm back. What are you doing? Where's my daughter? I'm exhausted. Your daughter is exhausting. She's very naughty. She tried to run away, so my sister Molly gave her a timeout. What? She got a timeout? Yeah, Mom, I'm so sorry. I won't ever let this happen again. I cannot believe you got caught. If you're going to be naughty, then you should see it all the way through and not get caught and put in timeout. Wait, what? You actually wanted her to run away and do crazy stuff? 
Yeah, it's how we atoms do things. You lot of bonkers! Don't call me again to babysit. Some people just aren't your customers. Really? Because I was going to give you a thousand dollars. What? Okay, well, you're kind of my customer, I guess. So, will you watch my daughter every Saturday? I can make it rain. Whoa, the Adams are rich. Yeah, Wednesday can come stay any time. But my rules are my rules. Fine, it'll be good practice for her to try to be a criminal, won't it, Wednesday? Do I have to come back here, Mom? Oh, don't try the angel voice with Morticia. She knows better. <laughs> Where do you think she learned it from? <laughs> <laughs>